Hi friends, myself Durga. I am working as a Java trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Soft. So I worked more than 5 years as a software engineer in IBM Sun. Now I want to introduce my new course, sir, String, String Buffer, String Builder for Java Certification. String, String Buffer and String Builder for Java Certification. The most valuable concept, the most important concept for interviews, for Java Certification, for day-to-day -day programming. So this String, String Buffer, String Builder, especially this string concept is the most most helpful that's why i want to perform post mortem related to this string what i did at the part of this course okay so in this course what syllabus sir what i covered here observe that difference between string and string buffer if you go to any java interview the first question that people are going to ask what is the difference between string and string buffer most commonly asked question crores of times asked question in the interview room sir string and string buffer okay then immediately you are going to tell mutability immutability sir why what is the meaning of mutability immutability can you explain with an example next why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable like you should be in a position to answer all those things i covered at the part of this course remember next uh, equals method yes there is one more difference other than mutability and immutability difference between string and string buffer equals method right in string class equals method meant for content comparison but in string buffer class equals method meant for reference comparison remember this one because in string buffer equals method is not overridden so all those things i clearly explained right next term um, sir string object creation heap and scp regarding string objects creation heap and scp sometimes object will be created in the heap area sometimes object will be created in the string constant pool when the object will be created in the heap when the object will be created in the scp i explained almost around four to five examples so that you will get much perfection right sir after the importance of string constant pool sir what is the need why scp like concept is applicable only for string what advantage we are going to get what problems are there with the scp this concept i explained very clearly right sir next uh, important faqs on string and string buffer there are three faqs i discussed especially based on this string constant pool so very very clear right that's something like scp concept is available only for string but not for string buffer next why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why why immutability is required for the string sir similar to string objects any other objects are immutable in java that part also i explained right okay well sir next the uh, important constructors of string class regarding what are various constructors are available in the string class with examples i explained next uh, important methods of string class almost around uh, 13 methods i explained sir most commonly used methods do you know char get concat equals method equals ignore case method next uh, is empty length uh, replace substring next uh, index of last index of two lower case two upper case uh, trim are you getting so almost around uh, 13 methods most commonly used methods i explained sir trim especially trim almost uh, 25 minutes i explained with a beautiful case study about this uh, trim method compulsory you should aware clearly right next uh, important conclusions about the uh, string immutability sir strictly speaking what is the meaning of immutability okay internally what things are happening i explain very clear conclusions right next after this the most beautiful question for the entire room is it possible to create our own immutable class or not yes we can create our own immutable class also sir explain the way how to create our own immutable class sir creation of our own immutable class i covered right okay this next uh, final versus immutability 
final versus immutability. What is the difference between final and immutability? By declaring a reference variable as the final, can I get immutability in nature or not? Okay, you should aware that thing I explain very clearly, right? Sir, up to this, so almost a uh, uh, minimum around uh, 18 videos I did only for string and string, string concept, right? Next, after that, sir, already string is there. What is the need of going for string buffer? Why, why we should go for string buffer concept? Sir, like I explained. Next, what constructors are there in the string buffer? Next, uh, important methods of string buffer. Okay? Length method is there. Capacity method is there. Care get method. Set care get method. Append method. Insert method. Delete. Delete care get. Next, uh, reverse, set length, ensure capacity, trim to size. Are you getting? All these methods, uh, almost around, uh, do you know, 12 methods I explained very clearly, sir. Very important method. Especially last three, set length, ensure capacity, trim to size, like uh, these methods I explained very clearly, right? Next, uh, need a uh, string builder. Why we should go for string builder concept? Next, uh, Differences between string buffer and the string builder. Sir, why? What the, what the difference? One is synchronized version. The second one is non-synchronized version. All differences in the table form I explained very clearly, sir. Next, uh, string versus string buffer versus string builder. When we should go for string, when we should go for string buffer, when we should go for string builder, we covered very clearly. Next, uh, method chaining concept. Okay? So, is it possible? on applying a method sir on the result another method another method another method chaining of method is it possible or not how to use i explain very clear the example right i hope all the people are in a position to understand almost these are 16 topics i explain you people can expect uh, around uh, 30 plus videos only on this concept are you getting 10 practice questions i explain line to line 10 practice questions, I explain line to line code why is very important for Java certification also. Okay, be ready, sir, take care, sir, very understand very clearly these things and give left and right to the interview person. Are you getting that? Sir, all the best. Thanks, sir. Next topic related to our certification string string buffer and string builder the most valuable concept for the interview room for certification right sir what is the topic name can you please tell string string buffer and then string builder these are things we have to discuss a string related terminology we require to evade but here related to our ocja there is one small twist is there what is that twist is Officially in the syllabus, they mention string and string builder. Are you getting in the syllabus, they mention only string and string builder. But, but the problem with the string builder is, string builder if you want to understand, compulsory you should aware string buffer. Are you getting, if you aware string buffer, then only you have to understand, you can able to, you can, you can understand string builder. That's why, first we have to discuss string concept and then we have to go for string buffer next we should go for string builder okay well sir now sir first first let me talk about this string concept right sir there is one biggest speciality is there for the string concept what is that speciality is in any application if you consider any java based project whether it is a small project big project any project sir the most commonly used object is the string object only. Remember this one. The most commonly used object is the string, string object only. Remember. Sir, you know, here if you create 1000 objects, assume that 1000 objects I am using in my project. 1000 objects I am using in my project. Can you please tell how many string objects will be there? How many non-string non objects are there? More than 900 more than 900 objects are string objects. Uh, lesser than 100 objects are 
non string object sir remember the sir in any project it is the most commonly required terminology so it is that's why in day to day programming sir without a string you can't do anything are you getting it's very important for our day to day programming so clear for all of you right first important sir second importance very very important point sir second second point is if you go to the entry room java for as a fresher or 2 plus or 3 plus years of experience anywhere if you go to the entry room compulsory question for the entry room is uh, what is the difference between string and string buffer explain mutability immutability with an example okay so without uh, asking about string and string buffer you can't expect any java entry room man that much important concept that much important concept is a uh, okay this uh, this a uh, string uh, string uh, string concept right so for the interview room it is a very important are you getting for interview room it is a very important next uh, for the day to day coding it is very important next and after that for certification also very important there are almost around 20 questions minimum you can expect uh, from string and string buffer either directly or indirectly that's why so please uh, take special care about this concept because which is compulsory required concept for us is it clear for love right so the most valuable concept the most worthy concept which is required for our certification which is required for our interview room which is required for our day to day coding we are discussing take a bit very special care about this concept right clear right okay well now related to this string and the string of buffer multiple cases i want to discuss sir every case itself is an important question for the interview room every case is a gun gunshot point that's why you should have clear clarity right sir if you go to the interview room interview room sir maybe a chance to ask what is the difference between string and string of buffer can you please tell are respond can you please tell what is the difference between string and string buffer? Yes, if I can ask this question in my offline session, out of 100, 90% of the people, minimum they are going to tell, sir, string objects are immutable, string buffer objects are mutable. Are you getting string objects are immutable, string buffer objects are mutable. Maybe somewhere in the intro FAQs, they remembered, ah, string is immutable, string buffer is mutable, that's all. Then immediately, entry person may ask, what is uh, immutability immutability can you explain with an example then automatically 90 percent of the wickets are down okay remember this one that's why compulsory you people should have clear clarity about this one so the first question for the entry room what is the difference between string and string buffer so string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable remember that string objects are immutable string buffer objects are mutable mutable like then immediately entry person may ask what is mutability what is immutability can you please explain with an example okay like sir what is immutable what is the meaning of immutable can you please tell Hmm. Immutable. Immutable means non-changeable. You can't change. You can't change. But what about the mutable? Changeable. Happily, you are allowed to modify. No problem at all. Once we create string object, we can't change its content. That's why string objects are always what? Immutable. Once we create string buffer object, happily we can perform required changes in that object, no problem at all. That's why string buffer objects are mutable. Clear for all of you, right? Sir, now can you explain with an example so that you will get much clarity right here? Just observe. Here I am taking string s is equal to new, new string of Durga. String s is equal to new string of Durga. Yes, sir, dot, concat. Yes, sir, dot, concat of software. I'm taking, sir. Yes, dot, concat of software. System dot out dot print ln of yes. Are you getting yes, dot, concat of software? Yes, OP of yes, yes, like this I'm taking, sir. Okay, well, now my next question is string buffer, string buffer SB. 
एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर स्ट्रिंग बफर एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर आफ दुर्गा अम टेक दुर्गा दुर्गा अम टेक एस बी डाट अपेड अपेड आफ साफ्टवेर एस बी डाट अपेड आफ साफ्टवेर सिस्टम डाट औ प्रिंट आफ एस कैन यू प्लीज अबर्व फर द स्ट्रिंग वी हाव कंकेट मेथड कंकेट मेथड बट फर द स्ट्रिंग बफर वी हाव अपेड मेथड रिमेबर दट here you can't use append here you can't use concat okay so append method is applicable for string buffer next the concat method is applicable for string anyway right sir can you please confirm what is the output you can we can get in the first case what is the output we are going to get in the second case ayyo respond what is the output in the first case what is the output in the second case if you can answer this question wow well, you are the king you are the expert in immutable mutable concept okay so can you please tell in the first case can i get a durga or durga software yes rat can get up software yes rat can get up software durga or durga software i don't know sir in this case durga or durga software what the output you are going to get can i get a durga or durga software okay remember that so what is the difference between string and string buffer what is the difference between immutability mutability can you please explain with an example best example you have to explain in the interview room this one only now let me analyze here see this one here string s is equal to new string of durga now s is pointing to durga s is pointing to durga observe carefully sir string s is equal to new string of durga s is pointing to durga like so if the string is mutable or immutable you respond if the string is mutable or immutable yes the string is ah uh, immutable immutable once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object remember once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object by mistake if any person trying to perform the change with those changes a new object will be created in the existing object no changes will be there are you getting let me repeat again so once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes a new object will be created in the existing object we can't perform any changes this non changeable behavior is nothing but immutability concept are you getting now yes rat can get up software so now software will be added to durga now it will become durga software with those changes a new object will be created sir sir now durga now durga software durga software that's all now do you know this new object you are not assigning with any reference variable once you are not using any reference variable automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection remember this one automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection still my s is pointing to durga only sir now what is the output by default we are going to get durga that's it are getting sir very important point once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes any object will be created now because of this any object got created but very the i'm not assigning this new object with any reference variable eligible for garbage collection so this non changeable behavior is nothing but immutability any doubt are you in the position to understand sir let me execute this code so that you will get much clarity observe that here i'm taking a small chota point here i'm taking sir string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga i'm taking yes sir dot concat yes sir dot concat yes sir concat of software like this i'm taking sir yes dot concat of software software like 
sir system dot out dot print ln of yes i am taking sir system dot out dot print ln of yes let me take uh, let me compile sir i saved already let me compile this code java c test dot java have you observed right java c test dot java happily the code compiles fine java test what answer still durga only so even though we added even though we added software but still s is point into durga only because it is a new object got created and for that we are not using any reference variable clear for all of you right that's what uh, what is the meaning of immutability non changeability clear so now let me talk about string buffer so that you will get much clarity what is the mutability with an example string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga are getting this is durga sb is the reference variable for that string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga durga like sir sb dot append sb dot append of software do you know once we create string buffer in that string buffer object you can perform any changes no problem at all because string buffer is mutable changeable are you getting once we create string buffer object you can perform any changes in that object no problem at all that's why it is mutable changeable now sp dot append of software software will be added here only are you getting no new object no new object software will be added here only system dot out dot print ln of sb means uh, durga software by default we are going to get durga software itself we are going to get sir so this uh, non this uh, changeable behavior is nothing but what mutability remember sir once we create single buffer object can i perform any changes in that object or not yes that's why this uh, changeable behavior is uh, nothing but mutability so string buffer is mutable or immutable ha ah, mutable or immutable immutable remember let me execute this code have a look once sir sir instead of string yes sir, let me take string buffer yes sir, b string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer yes sir, b dot uh, append have you have you remember right sp dot uh, append append of sp dot append of so sop of sp same code whatever there on the board is the same code i'm trying to execute sir what output by default we are going to get happily the code compiles fine happily the code compiles fine the answer we are going to get durga software that's all so this is the most valuable important point sir so what is the difference between string and string buffer string objects are immutable string buffer is mutable once we create string object we can't perform any changes in that object if any person trying to perform the change with those changes a new object by default will be created this non changeable behavior is nothing but sir immutability once we create string buffer object we can perform any changes in that object no problem at all so this changeable behavior is nothing but mutability are you getting right so in the interview room you can able to answer two or three questions very confidently what is the difference between string and string buffer point number 1 what is immutability immutability explain immutability immutability with an example yes for all these questions you should be in a position to answer to give left and right clear last video i explained very clearly what is immutability and immutability sir what is the next topic i have to discuss i mean what is the next case i have to discuss very important very dangerous case observe carefully here i am taking string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga durga like now system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s2 s1 double equal to s2 system dot out dot print ln s1 dot equals of s2 
S1 that equals of S2. Like we have, this is the one, one, one part. Now the second part, take very special care, sir. String buffer, string buffer S of B is equal to, string buffer S B is equal to, new string buffer, string buffer S B is equal to, new string buffer of Durga, Durga S B 1. Now, string buffer S B 2 is equal to, new string buffer of Durga. New string of buffer of Durga, like this I am taking. Sir, so there are two string buffer objects are there. System dot out dot print ln, SB1 double equal to SB2. System dot out dot print ln, SB1 dot equals a SB2, like this I am taking. How beautiful it is. Can you please observe that? What is the output we are going to get? What the, what, the, what the output we are going to get, sir? The most valuable, important question for the interview room, compulsory for day-to-day -day coding also, you should aware this is a difference. Please tell what output we are going to get. String S1 is equal to new string of Durga. String S3 is equal to new string of Durga. S1 double equal to S2. S1 dot equals of S2. Regarding S1 dot equals of S2. Sir, now string of buffer, SP1 is equal to new string buffer of Durga. SB2, new string buffer of Durga, SP1, double equal to SP2, SP1 dot equals of SP2. Please, if you can able to answer this one, I'm sure you are the expert in Java, especially double equal dot equals. The most worthy important question for the entire room. Okay, what is the difference between double equal operator and the dot equals method? Are you getting difference between double equal operator and the dot equals method? In the case of string, what is the behavior? In string buffer, what is the behavior you should aware? So, do you know, double equal operator always meant for reference comparison. Are you getting double equal operator always meant for reference comparison? Reference comparison means uh, if both the references point into the same object, then only it is going to return so true. Are you getting? So double equal operator always meant of a reference comparison, address comparison. If both the references point into the same object, then only returns so true. Sir, not to point into the same object. References point into different objects, then automatically returns false. Okay? Make sure. Sir, now string S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, now take S1 pointing to Durga. Durga. String S2 is equal to new string of Durga. Sir, new, new, another object will be created. S2 is the reference variable for that. So, S1 and S2. Sir, now S1 double equal to S2. Sir, both are not pointing to the same object. Both are not pointing to the same object. Double equal operator always meant for reference comparison only. Both are not pointing to the same object. That's why what is the answer we are going to get, sir? False is the answer. Don't keep any doubt at all. Okay, like, sir, even in this case also, string buffer, SP1 is equal to new string buffer of Durga. SP1 is pointing to Durga and SP2 pointing to Durga. SB2 pointing to Durga. So, both the references pointing to two different objects. That's why double equal operator always going to return false. False. Remember this one. So, when double equal operator returns true, can you please tell? If both the references pointing to the same object means, uh, suppose R1 double equal to R2. Then it's going to return so true, sir. If R1 and R2 point into the same object. If both are not point into the same object, then obviously false is the answer. Okay? Double equal operator case. No difference at all in the case of string and string buffer. What about dot equals method? Huh? What about dot equals method? Big story is there. Take very special care. Do you know? It's a, it's a very common question in the entire room. What is the difference between double equal operator and dot equals method? So, if I can ask this question to 1000 members, 
minimum 9999 members are going to tell double equal operator meant for reference comparison dot equals method meant for content comparison no strictly speaking that statement is the wrong statement what is the reason now you can able to see the example here do you know we have object class is there you know object class is there for this object class there are child classes are there string is one child class string buffer is another child class next uh, this object class contain 12 methods are there which are commonly required for everything of course one method is the private that's why we never going to give that much important by default 11 methods are there object class contain 11 method which are required for every class for every object which are required in the so two string method hash code method equals method like multiple methods are there in that do you know here equals method what is this method sir equals method is already available inside object class object class equals method meant for object class equals method meant for reference comparison or address comparison very very important sir object class equals method meant for reference comparison or address comparison if both the references point into the same object then only double equal operator i mean equals method returns true otherwise returns false so it is exactly same as double equal operator okay well so by default equals method present inside object class meant for reference comparison or contain comparison reference comparison not for contain comparison man but now in the child classes equals method is overridden for contain comparison in the child classes it is overridden for contain comparison in the string class equals method is overridden equals method is overridden for content comparison content comparison observe very carefully sir so in string class if i can apply equals method on the string object it is always meant for content comparison only because in in string class equals method is overridden for content comparison so even though objects are different content is the same equals method is always going to return so true because the reason for that is it is meant for content comparison but what about string buffer what about string buffer sir it is very clear in string buffer equals method is not overridden if it is not overridden if any person calling sir on the string buffer object equals method on the string buffer object equals method which equals method will be called object class equals method will be called object class equals method is always meant for what reference comparison are you getting right so most of the people don't know about this small point they are always going to feel the equals method meant for contain comparison double equal operator meant for reference comparison like that no so the equals method present inside object class also meant for reference comparison only but not for content comparison we have to override equals method in our class for content comparison purpose clear this knowledge must be required now come to our example come to our example sir s1 dot equals of s2 we are calling equals method on s1 s1 is string type string type string class equals method will be called string class equals method meant for content comparison or reference comparison content content in string class equals method is overridden for content comparison now durga durga are you getting both contents are same if the contents are same then simply we are going to get true is the answer remember this one so the string case double equal operator false that equals method true true right but what you born string buffer what you about string buffer sir in string buffer sp1 that equals of s2 sir you are calling equals method on sp1 sp1 is string buffer type sp1 is the string buffer type buffer type in the string buffer equals method he is not overridden object class equals method will execute which is a meant for reference comparison that's why both the references are pointing to different objects not pointing to the same object 
that's why here we are going to get false at the answer are you getting the point how beautiful this is so the conclusion here is in the case of string equals method always meant for what contain comparison but in string buffer equals method meant for reference comparison okay like of course i will execute this one have a look once sir have a look sir here i am taking same example same same example i am taking here see string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga sir now s1 s1 double equal to s2 next uh, s1 dot equals of s2 sir are you getting s1 dot equals of s2 like this i am taking sir what is the answer if both are string objects if both are string objects what is the answer we are going to get double equal operator reference comparison but dot equals method in string class meant for contain comparison false followed by true is the answer now have a look once what output by default you are going to get the code compiles fine next the, the answer false followed by true itself is the answer we are going to get sir okay well sir now what is the next thing i have to i have to take uh, instead of string let me take string buffer are you getting string buffer sb1 is equal to new string buffer string buffer sb1 is equal to new string buffer string buffer sb2 is equal to like this okay now here just uh, observe carefully sir sb1 sb1 double equal to sb2 sp1 dot equal to sb2 like this i am taking sir that's all can you please tell what is the answer double equal always meant for reference comparison dot equals method in string buffer meant for reference comparison only because in string buffer dot equals method may is not overridden object class equals method will be executed that's why what output we are going to get false false is the output now have a look once the output we are going to get false followed by false itself is the answer sir yes 100% pakka correct what is the answer we are going to get false followed by false sir. so the very very important question sir for the in the case of string and string buffer with respect to equals method sometimes entry person may ask are what the difference between string and string buffer everyone is going to tell immutable mutable no 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 other than immutability and immutability can you please tell any other difference between string and string buffer happily you can able to tell string in string class equals method meant for content comparison but in string buffer equals method meant for reference comparison there is a difference clear last two videos we covered about immutability mutability equals method what is the difference between string and string buffer okay up to that clear now the next case very important case right sir if i can take string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to new string of durga next string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things can you please tell the most dangerous point string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga what is the difference between these two things friends the most dangerous concept next uh, almost half an hour discussion based on this example only you require to listen very very carefully sir can you please tell what is the difference between these two things string s is equal to new string of durga string s is equal to durga remember that in the first case okay in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created remember that in the first case two objects will be created but in the second case only one object will be created sir how where is the where is the difference sir like do you know whenever we are using new operator whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area okay with the content of durga and the yes is the reference variable for this are you getting with the content durga yes is the reference variable for this 
ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದುರ್ಗ ನ್ಯೂ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದುರ್ಗ ಸರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲೆಟರಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಪೂಲ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಸರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಪೂಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಎ ನ್ಯೂ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಸರ್ ವೆದ್ ದ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ನೋ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಜೆ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಟೆನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ದ ನೀಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ರೀಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹೀಪ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಹಿಪ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಪಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಸರ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಎವೆ ರಿಯೂಸಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಇನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಓಕೆ ವೆಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಮಾಸ್ಕ್ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಾರ್ಬೆ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ನೋ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ಲಿ ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ಲಿ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ಜೆ ಬಿ ಎಂ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ ಲೆಟರಲ್ 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 ಇಂಪ್ಲಸಿಟ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ವೇರಿಯಬಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೇಂಟೈನ್ ಬೈ ಜೆ ಬಿ ಎಂ ದಿಸ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಾರ್ಬೆ ಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಯು ಮೇ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಸರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ವೇರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಈಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಒನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಈ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಈ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ರೈಟ್ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆದಡ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಮ ಜನ್ ಓಕೆ ಲೈಟ್ but uh, from 1.7 version onwards for efficient memory utilization sir scp area is moved to heap only okay in the heap area some part uh, reserved for scp okay in the in the permagen do you know mother area scp is always fixed size but uh, if once it is moved to the heap uh, now my scp can be expandable are you getting so just because of memory utilization okay just from 1.7 version onward this scp is moved to okay heap area only remember but old version it is a part of method area but not inside heap area okay well sir this is uh, just for internal sake but anyway you are not required to worry so here how many objects got created two objects got created one is in the heap area second one in the scp s is always point into the heap area right sir why this object placed uh, this object for future purpose what is that future purpose i will explain in the future don't worry about that okay well but in this case string s is equal to durga is it a lateral or not yes it's a lateral it's a lateral sir do you know in this case in this case only one object will be created in the scp area in this case only one object will be created in scp area remember this one sir in the scp only one object will be created you see the reference point into that but anyway first jvm will check is there any object with the content with this content already available in the scp or not if it is already there if it is already there then only then only sir then it is going to reuse the same object if the object is not already there then only a new object will be created and yes is point into that but anyway object creation in the heap area is always mandatory whenever we are using new operator compulsory new object will be created but uh, if you are going to create like this so object creation is not mandatory first jvm will check in the scp area do you have any object with this content or not if the object is already there reuse the same object so if the object is not already there then only create a new object that's all so what is the difference between this one and this one in this case total how many objects you are created two objects will be created and in this case how many objects will be created sir only one object that in the scp area 
that's all now sir why it is a second object placed in sap because the reason is for future purpose for user usability purpose okay this object not having any reference is it eligible for garbage collection or not sorry it is not eligible for garbage collection because internal reference will be maintained by jvm itself clear sir in the last example just we had a discussion about the heap and scp object creation let me continue some more example so that you people can get much clarity right here observe i'm taking string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s1 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga next uh, string s3 is equal to durga string s3 is equal to durga string s4 is equal to durga string s4 is equal to durga that's all can you please tell just because of this line how many objects we got created hey you respond just because of this line how many objects got created how many are there in the general heap how many are there in the scp area please confirm total how many objects got created is it only one object or two object or three or four r5 <laughs> are you getting r5 r6 how many how many will be there in the heap area how many will be there in the scp area yes everyone should have some guess in your mind so that you can able to understand the answer very clearly if i start explaining can you please guess how many are there in the heap area two how many are there in the scp area huh <laughs> remember okay just uh, let me start explanation so that you people can feel more comfortable right here do you know observe first line heap area scp area now legend legend there are some conclusions also i want to talk string s1 is equal to new string of durga whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area remember compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area that's why durga durga s1 is point into heap next uh, it is a literal literal right for the future purpose one copy will be maintained in scp area scp area right okay well sir just because of first line how many objects got created two objects got created one is in the heap area second one in the scp area now string s2 is equal to new string of durga string s2 is equal to new string of durga sir now whenever we are using new operator compulsory new object will be created sir in the heap area a new object will be created s2 next uh, this uh, copy has to place in the scp but in scp with this durga content already object is available or not yes if it is already there we are not required to place remember this one already there we are not required to place okay second line also completed string s3 is equal to durga where i required to create this object i told already in the last example where i required to create this object in the scp area but in scp area object creation is always optional first jvm will check is there any object already already point already huh, having the same content or not if any object already having the same content then existing object will be reused it won't create new object that's why string s3 s3 is also pointing to durga string s4 is equal to durga s4 is also pointing to durga are getting s4 is also pointing to durga only now can you please confirm total total sir how many objects got created only three objects got created one is in the scp area two objects in the heap area right so the conclusion is whenever we are using new operator compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area that's why there may be a chance of existing two objects 
with the same content in the heap area. Yes, this is Durga Durga, same content, but there is no chance of existing two objects with the same content in the SAP area. Remember this one, sir, in the SAP area, with the same content, only one object will be there, same object will be reused uh, multiple times. So, internally, memory will be saved, uh, memory utilization will be improved, right? Clear? Now, your knowledge about SAP and HIP uh, from 0 to 20 percent raised. I'm sure if I will go for two more, two or three more example, then you will get much clarity. Don't require to worry. Up to this clear? Sir, the next example related to HIP and SAP, I will look once. String S is equal to new string of Durga. String S is equal to new string of Durga. Yes, dot concatap software. Yes, is equal to yes dot concatap solutions. Okay, well, can you please tell total how many objects will be created? In the heap area, how many there? SAP area, how many there? Can you please? Yes, friends. Can you please tell total how many objects will be created? How many present in the heap area? How many present in SCP area? Yes? Okay? Well, so compulsory you people should have some answer in your mind. Okay, maybe 3, 4, 2, 4 or 6, 4, something like you should have some clarity. Okay? Now, have a look once. Heap area, general heap and the SCP area. First line String S is equal to new string of Durga. Wow. This one, not required to keep any explanation. Even in the last two examples also we covered. Yes, is equal to new string of Durga. One copy will be created in the heap area. For the future purpose, another copy will be created in SCP area. Okay, well, Durga, like this. Yes, sir, dot, concat of software. Yes, sir, dot, concat of software, software, like this I am taking. Sir, do you know, yes sir, dot concat of software, here observe, software is a string literal, software is a string literal, literal, for every string literal, one copy will be created in the string constant pool, because the name have you observed, string constant pool, it is a string constant, string literal means a string constant, for every string constant, one copy will be created in the SCP area. That's why first uh, software will be created in the SCP area. Okay? Software got created in SCP area. Okay, well. Next, yes sir, dot concat of software. Do you know? So, yes sir, dot concat of software. Already, what is yes? Yes, it Durga. Concat of software. Durga software. Do you know? So, string is immutable, you can't change the content. If you are trying to perform the change, compulsory new object will be created. Do you know? Because of runtime operation, maybe method of call, because of runtime operation, if an object is required to create, that object is always going to create only in the heap area, but not in SAP. Remember this one, sir. Sir, I call concat. Because of that, a new object will be created. Runtime operation, if an object got created, that new object will be created only in the heap area, but not in SCP. SCP meant for string constants, string literals, not because of runtime operation created objects. Sir, now, yes, dot concat of software, S is already Durga, Durga software, a new object got created. Are you getting? Durga software, a new object got created, right? Okay. For this new object, do you have any reference variable? No, no, no. We are not assigning to any reference variable. That's why this object eligible for garbage collection. Okay. Anyway, it is eligible for GC. Next, uh, S is equal to S dot concata solution C there. S dot concata solution, solution. Solutions uh, is a constant, string constant, compulsory, one copy will be there in the SCP area. 
ಓಕೆ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಒನ್ ಕಾಪಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಏರಿಯಾ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ಒನ್ ಕಾಪಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಪಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ರಿಯೂಸಬಲ್ ಟಿ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಂಕೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಎಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದುರ್ಗಾ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಡಾಟ್ ಕಂಕೆಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ನೌ ದುರ್ಗಾ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಎನಿ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ because of run time operation if an object is required to create that object is always going to be placed only in the heap area next this result we are assigning to s we are assigning to s now one word this s is pointing to this object are you getting now one word this s is pointing to this object if you print s happily you are going to get durga solutions that's all can you please tell total how many objects got created how many there in the heap area how many there in the scp six objects got created because of this code three present in the heap area three present in the scp and uh, these are two objects eligible for garbage collection only this object not eligible for garbage collection in the heap anyway these are not eligible for gc because implicit reference variables will be maintained by jvm now are you getting clarity okay i hope just to take a bit special care so for every example you are going to learn some new thing maybe after one or two example yes all the things are going to be completed then you will get much clarity about this concept clear for all of you right but keep on listening very important sir the next example related to heap area and scp for the string observe that string s1 is equal to new string of springs string s1 is equal to new string of spring spring sir s1 dot concat of fall string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter next s2 dot concat of summer sop of s1 sop of s2 can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get under total how many objects will be created beautiful example so i'm sure you are not required to learn any new point already your existing knowledge is more enough to answer this one so can you please confirm how many objects got created and uh, what is the output we are going to get if you can answer this you are the perfect i'm sure okay sir let me explain sir how many objects got created here just uh, i'm taking sir this is the heap area and this is scp area now observe string s1 is equal to new string of spring sir one object will be created in the heap area with the content of spring s1 is the reference variable next uh, for every string a literal one copy will be created in the scp area for the future purpose that's why here compulsory one copy will be created in scp area okay well sir because of first line how many objects got created two objects we know already we discussed multiple times the same point s1 dot concat of fall s1 dot concat of fall 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 is a string literal that's why compulsory fall will be created here fall will be created here s1 dot concat of fall means uh, because of run time operation if an object is required to create compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area that's why uh, spring of fall will be created in the heap area spring of fall will be created but for this no reference variable that's why this object eligible for garbage collection right okay well next a string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter winter like this right now do you know it is a literal it's a literal for every string a literal one object will be created in the scp area winter got created next s1 dot concat of winter s1 dot concat of winter s1 is a spring spring of winter spring of winter 
will be created in the heap area spring winter will be created in the heap area heap area for this new object s2 a new reference variable we are assigning that's why s2 is the reference variable okay well next s2 dot concat of summer s2 dot concat of summer do you know summer is a literal that's why let me create sir here summer like like i'm taking sir here summer summer like i'm taking assume it is a capital here also w capital summer like now so two dot concat of summer already s2 means what spring winter spring winter so for this concatenation summer means uh, spring winter spring winter summer spring winter summer a new object got created in the heap area but for this no reference variable eligible for garbage collection okay well sir now sop of s1 what is the answer sir sop of s1 means uh, spring itself is the answer sop of s2 s2 means uh, spring winter is the answer are you getting spring winter itself is the answer are you everyone in the position to understand right so please make sure you people should aware very clearly about this terminology right any doubt friends are you in the position to understand right so total how many objects got created four objects in the heap area four objects in the scp total eight objects got created and this object this object eligible for garbage collection and these are not eligible for garbage collection right okay sir sop of s1 means spring sop of s2 means spring winter like this we are going to get the output sir let me execute this code and let me confirm have a look once have a look once is it the same example or not string s1 is equal to new string of spring s1 dot concat of fall string s2 is equal to s1 dot concat of winter s2 dot concat of summer like this right same example what output we are going to get sir here the code compiles fine compiles fine the output we are going to get sir spring followed by spring winter okay now i hope everyone got clarity when the objects will be created in the heap area when the objects will be created in scp area for every new operator one object will be created in the heap next uh, for every string literal one copy will be created in the scp next uh, because of runtime operation like a method call if a new string object is required to create compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area clear up to this sir up to this we covered multiple examples where the object will be created in a scp area or in the heap area like that but now i never explained i never show any proof but now let me go for a full fledged example even i want to execute and i will show the proof up to certain level that's why please take a bit special care the most dangerous thing you people may get uh, some new things also first have a look once on on the code here just have a look once sir just on the screen first you can see so that uh, it will be it will be more clearer sir here string s1 is equal to new string of you can't change me string s2 is equal to new string of you can't change me sop of s1 double equal to s2 okay like next uh, string s3 is equal to you cannot change me s1 double equal to s3 string s4 is equal to you cannot change me s3 double equal to s4 string s5 is equal to you cannot plus change me okay now s4 double equal to s5 string s6 is equal to you cannot plus you string s7 is equal to s6 plus change me s4 double equal to s7 sir final string s8 you cannot string s9 is equal to s8 plus change me like sir this is the example even i want to execute this code also so that you people can get much clarity okay sir take very special care compulsory you require to practice this this bit sir especially this code here have a look once total how many objects will be created where the objects will be created which reference variable point into which object sir compulsory clarity must be required huge number of lines of the code is there okay now i'm taking here just the heap area heap area scp area 
I'm taking sir. Now first first string s1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me. Are you getting string s1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me because of first line. Are you getting that? So what is the content? You cannot change me. Okay. Just for the example sake only you have to tell man don't use any your real time. You can't change me. You should be more flexible based on the requirement. You should be changeable. You should be adaptable. Suppose you have smoking habit. Your girlfriend is asking. So do you have smoking habit? Like uh, no, 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 no. Just I have. If you, if you, if you don't want, then I will leave. So whether you really going to leave or not, forget about that. But you have to convey like that. Otherwise, your girlfriend won't be there with you. Okay, that's why. Please. Uh, so you should be changeable based on the time to time. Don't be immutable. You should be flexible to change. Eh? It is always highly recommended. Good programming practice. Okay. Well. So don't use this type of terminology in our real life. Uh, just uh, for the string concept, it is applicable. You cannot change me. Listen. So string S1 is equal to new string of you cannot change me. Okay. Because of this first line, how many objects will be created? Sir, one object. One object in the heap area. Okay. Here, you cannot, cannot change me. Okay. Like this. Okay. Short words I'm taking. Yes, sir. One is the reference variable. Next, for the future purpose, and as it is the string literal, one copy will be maintained in SCP area. You cannot change me. Like this line. So because of first line, how many objects got created, sir? Sir, two, one, two objects. One is in the heap area. The second one in the SCP area. Now, string S2 is equal to new string of you cannot change me. Regarding you cannot. So compulsory new object will be created in the heap area. You cannot change me. Yes, to either reference variable. And for the future purpose, one copy required to place in SAP, but it's already there. That's why not required to place. Sir, now system dot out dot println yes one double equal to yes two. Sir, yes one and yes two both are point into the same object. No. Because it is pointing to this object, it is pointing to this object. That's why what answer by default you are going to get here? A false is the answer. Any doubt? Any doubt? Sir, it's a very clear. Sir, up to this, how many objects created? Three. Sir, two in the heap area, one. S1 and S2 both are pointing to different objects. That's why double equal operator return false. Let me execute up to this right. Have a look once. Here. All the remaining SOPs, let me comment. All the remaining SOPs, just I'm commenting. So just observe that only this code I'm trying to execute. You cannot change me. You cannot change me. SOP of S1 double equal to S2. Sir, what is the output we are going to get? The code compiles fine. The code compiles fine. What is the answer we are getting, sir? What is the answer we are going to get? Simple false is the answer we are getting. Perfectly, it is the valid. Yes, are you able to understand? Now, let me go for next level, sir. String S3 is equal to, you cannot change me. String S3 is equal to, you cannot change me. Where this object is required to create? In a CP area. In a CP area, this object is required to create. But in a CP area, you cannot change me already there. That's why, yes, sir, 3 pointing to same object. S3 point into already existing object in the SCP because it's the literal right now S1 double equal to S3 S1 and S3 both are pointing to different objects that's why the answer we are going to get false is the answer second one also okay let me show this one have a look once string S3 is equal to you cannot change me you cannot change me S1 double equal to S3, SOP S1 double equal to S3. Now the code compiles fine. Now the code compiles fine. What is the answer we are getting? It is very clear, false is the answer. Okay, up to this clear. Now the next possibility, have a look. String S4 is equal to you cannot change me. String S4 is equal to you cannot, you cannot change me. Where this object is required to create? SCP. But in SCP, already object is there. 
that's why s of 4 is also point into the same object present inside yeah, scp area now s of 3 and s of 4 pointing to same object right now sir sop of s3 double equal to s4 what answer you are going to get sir true itself is the answer first time sir true we are going to get because s3 and s4 point into the same object present inside scp area now have a look once sir string s4 is equal to like this now string s4 is equal to you cannot change me sop of s3 double equal to s4 what is the answer we are going to get sir here simple sir true true itself is the answer okay are you getting last one is the true sir now the next one observe carefully string s5 is equal to you cannot plus change me sir dangerous thing dangerous thing you cannot plus change me sir like can you please tell because of this line how many objects will be created yes friends because of this line how many objects will be created ah, make sure very very important point sir it is one lateral it is another lateral and a plus operator is there two objects will be created in the scp area result object will be created in the heap area like some people are going to feel now if both are constants suppose if i if i want to print the system dot out dot print then 10 plus 20 do you know these both are constants are constant 10 plus 20 if both the arguments are constant, compiler itself is going to perform this addition, sir. Sir, do you know after compilation, this code looks like 30 like this. Are you getting it? Compile time only, it will be replaced with 30, 30. So the JVM is the responsible just to print the value 30 directly. Remember this one, JVM is the responsible just to print the value directly 30. So if everything is a constant, that operation will be performed only at compile time, but not required to wait until runtime. Now have a look once. So string S5 is equal to you cannot plus change me. You cannot plus change me. It is one constant. It is another constant. So both are constant. Sir, this one addition is going to be happen. Concatenation is going to be happen at the compile time only. It is exactly same as string S3 is equal to S4. String S4 is equal to like, sir, you cannot change me. You cannot change me. Here also you cannot change me only at runtime. So at runtime, this content will become you cannot change me like a literal. So JVM is always going to search in SCP area only. That's why S5 is also pointing to same SCP object. Remember, this operation will be performed at compile time or runtime? Compile time. Because, because both the arguments are constants. Remember this one. That's why. So, in this case, new object won't be created. Existing SCP object, S5 point in that. Sir, SOP of S sub 4 double equal to S5. S4, S5 both are pointing to the same object. That's why true, true itself is the answer we have to get. Observe carefully, right? Now have a look once. Have a, have a look once. Sir, string S5 is equal to you cannot plus change me. SOP of S4 double equal to S5. Like this I am taking, sir. Observe. Yes, friends, what the answer we are going to get? Sir, this is S of 4 double equal to S5. S4 double equal to S5. What the answer we have to get, sir? Let me, let me execute again. Let me execute again. Now the answer we are going to get. False, false, true followed by true, sir. Please make sure false, false, true, true is the answer we are going to get. Okay, well. Sir, now the next scenario. Dangerous point, take special care. String s6 is equal to you cannot string s6 is equal to you cannot can you please tell where this you cannot will be created scp area scp area now you cannot you cannot will be created scp area what is the reference variable for this s6 is the reference variable now string s7 is equal to s6 plus change me now 
एस एस एक्स इज ए नार्मल वेरिएबल एस एक्स इज ए नार्मल वेरिएबल नार्मल वेरिएबल प्लस कॉन्स्टेंट इफ एटीस्ट वन आर्ग्युमेंट इज द वेरिएबल नार्मल वेरिएबल This operation will be performed at a runtime only. If both are constants are like this, then only the operation will be performed at compile time. But at least one variable is there. Variable plus constant. This operation will be performed at a runtime only. That's why because of this, first change me constant will be created in the in the change me constant will be created in the SCP area. Yes, a six plus a change me. Now this operation will be performed at the runtime. Now a new object will be created, right? You cannot change me. Okay? What is the reference variable for this? Yes, a seven is the reference variable. Okay, like so, this operation will be performed at the runtime because S is the normal variable. If it is the normal variable, at least one argument is the variable. The other argument is the constant. This operation will be performed at the runtime only. Now, S of four double equal to S seven. S of four is pointing to S C P object. S seven is pointing to heap object. Both are not pointing to the same object. That's why what is the output by default we are going to get, sir? False is the answer. Let me cross check. Have a look once. Here string S six is equal to you cannot. String S seven is equal to S six plus change me. Now system dot out dot print elan. S four double equal to S seven. Have you observed? What is the answer? What answer we are going to get, sir? The simple answer is uh, false. False itself is the answer. Any doubt? Are you getting, sir? What is the next uh, thing? Observe carefully, sir. Final string s8 is equal to you cannot. Sir, what is this variable? Final string s8 is equal to you cannot. You cannot. Is it a constant? It's a constant. Of course, it will be created in SAP. SAP already you cannot is there. Now, yes, sir. Eight uh, is also pointing to you cannot in S C P. Next, yes, sir. Eight uh, is the final variable or not? Yes, it is the final variable. Every final variable will be replaced by the value at compile time only. Do you know it is not normal variable? Final, final means constant. Uh, every final variable will be replaced by compiler only. Okay, at compile time only. It is a constant. It is a constant. Now this plus operation will be performed at the at the compile time only. Now it is exactly same as line number five. I mean string as five. You cannot plus change me. Now this total operation will be performed at the compile time only. At run time, this total thing will be replaced with the, you cannot change me a single literal. That's why JVM is always going to search in the SCP area. Yes, a nine is a pointing to. Yes, a nine is pointing to a SCP object. Sir, Abjad, first step one. If the final variable will be replaced by the value by compiler only. If both are constants, this operation will be performed at the compile time only. Now this total thing will be replaced with the you cannot plus change me. This total thing will be replaced with the you cannot change me. That's why this object is required to create in SCP. But in SCP already object is there. S9 point into SCP object. Now system dot out dot printer and yes a four double equal to yes a nine yes a four double equal to yes a nine. Are you getting what is the output we are going to get, sir? I'm sure the output is the true. Have a look once. Last one. Have a look once. Last, sir. It is the final. It is the final. Final. That's why what output you are going to get, sir? Here have a look once. True. True itself is the answer. All the people in a position to understand right. Okay, this is what you should have clear clarity, sir. Several things uh, I explain, especially this one. If both are constants, that operation will be performed yet compile time only. Remember that.
if at least one runtime variable if at least one normal variable that operation will be performed at the runtime only sir ever this just take the note and then practice then you will get much clarity where the objects will be created in the heap area or in the scp area like that clear for all of friend beautiful example but how extend you are getting that is the very important compulsory write on the paper type type and execute then you people can get much clarity next uh, some more example similar examples better to practice so you will get much perfection in this heap area scp area with respect to string concept right clear the last videos we covered where the object will be created in the heap area scp area when the object will be created in the heap when the object will be created in scp like all the things very clearly i explained sir sir now the next thing what i have to take sir what is the advantage of string constant pool what is the importance of string constant pool this part we have to discuss have you observed right what is the advantage advantage or importance importance of scp what is the advantage or importance of string constant pool this concept we have to discuss okay well just uh, do you know why this scp concept is applicable only for string but not for string buffer why immutability concept applicable only for the string but not for string buffer like uh, such a type of sir questions you can able to answer very easily if you can aware this concept sir that's why take very special care here do you know in an e programming language the most commonly used object is a java is a string object remember this one in any programming language in any application whether it is the java based or whether it is the python based in any application the most commonly used object is string object right sir very simple if i can take water water registration form if i can take water registration form i'm taking just a water registration form just for your basic idea purpose i'm taking this one just observe in the which fields will be there can you please spell out sir this is the form usually which fields are there name will be there next one after the father name will be there next uh, mother name these days uh, in our certificates everywhere the people are making mother name is also mandatory mother name is there assume next uh, address address in the what is the house number next uh, what is the street number street street number next uh, is it uh, village or city village village or city or mandal like uh, next uh, what is the mandal what is the what is the mandal what is the district district next uh, what is the state what is the state like uh, do you know what is the pin pin code like next uh, sometimes maybe a chance uh, identification mark 1 identification marks marks 1 1 identification marks 2 identification marks 2 and at last the submit button assume that sir assume in your 10th class do you know a mole on the right hand side a mole on the left eyebrow something like uh, maybe a chance we have we have something like so the same identification marks assume that sir it is a simple water registration form in this how many string objects are there have you observed how many how many string objects are available sir name is one string object okay next uh, father name and uh, mother name next house number street number village mandal district state sir pin number pin code pin code anyway it is not uh, string it is the number only identification marks one identification marks two sir assume almost uh, out of 12 or 13 almost uh, 10 to 11 are string objects only that's what sir so in our application if you consider any application most of the things are always string objects only like this you people should aware are you are you getting right so string object is the most commonly used object in any application or not yes obviously right from this example you can consider any example where most of the times do you know string objects only student application 
स्टूडेंट कॉलेज 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 बेस्ड एप्लीकेशन कॉलेज ऑटोमेशन एप्लीकेशन कॉलेज नेम इज द स्ट्रिंग डायरेक्टर नेम इज द स्ट्रिंग प्रिंसिपल नेम इज द स्ट्रिंग नेक्स्ट सब्जेक्ट नेम एवरी सब्जेक्ट नेम इट्स सेल्फ इज द स्ट्रिंग हॉल टिकट नंबर इट्स सेल्फ इज द स्ट्रिंग आर यू गेटिंग ओनली मार्क्स मे बी इन टू वैल्यूज ओके सो मेक श्योर एवरी वेयर स्ट्रिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन ओके सर नाउ हियर जस्ट अ टेक ए बिट वेरी स्पेशल केयर I want to make. Uh, I want. I want to fill. I want to fill my details for voter registration. Okay, sir. In the just observe for V one, voter one is coming, sir. Voter one is coming. He entered city name as Hyderabad. He entered city name as Hyderabad. Hyderabad like. Okay. First voter came. He entered city name as Hyderabad. For the sir, one string object got created. Well, sir. Now my question is: Within Hyderabad, how many waters are there? Within Hyderabad, how many waters are there? Almost around the one crore waters are there within Hyderabad. Are you getting within Hyderabad? One crore waters are there. Next, uh, do you know if I create separate Hyderabad object for every water? separately ha ah, water one city name hyderabad one object water two city name hyderabad another object for water three city name hyderabad there one crore string objects are required to create unnecessary performance is going to be down memory problem by default will be there are you getting so anyway for all waters in hyderabad city name is always same city name is always same so why you require to create hyderabad 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 like one crore times unnecessary performance is going to be down because object creation is a very costly next turn after the memory is going to be wasted like so if any string object repeatedly required never recommended to create separate object for every requirement okay so how you can able to take how you can solve this problem very simple sir create only one object create only one object and the share the same object for all one crore members share the same object for all one crore members in java it is possible because a scp concept are you getting string constant pool how many objects will be created with hyderabad only one object if any other person is asking if any other person is asking boss my city also hyderabad are just now hyderabad object created you can reuse the same object you are not required to create new object v1 v2 v3 and so on v1 crore for all these one crore references same hyderabad object by default is going to be reused are getting right so this is possible just because of scp concept in the last uh, examples i cover sir same object in scp will be referenced with the multiple references are getting memory utilization by default will be improved so first point sir in scp single object can be referenced with multiple references same object can be referenced with multiple references clear what is the advantage of scp what are the, what are the advantage what are various advantages of scp string constant pool very simple now you can able to tell sir in scp area same object can be reused with multiple references so instead of creating one crore objects one object with one crore references is possible so obviously performance is going to be improved memory utilization by default will be improved this is the biggest advantage of okay scp concept like that you can able to tell okay well but what is the problem with scp what is the problem with scp because there is one universal rule is there if you get something if you are going to get something definitely we have to miss something okay because of scp the biggest advantage what we are going to get performance will be improved next the memory utilization will be it will be improved because we are not required to create one crore hyderabad objects one object is enough the same object can be reused with the multiple references clear but what is the problem with the scp concept very simple assume assume how many hyderabad objects are there can you please confirm ha huh? respond how many hyderabad objects are there only one object but this object can be reused with the how many references how many references are there 
one crore references are there how many one crore now suppose assume we three person v3 what are three what are three want to change is a city name what are three want to change its city name from hyderabad to vijayawada are you getting another city because he got transferred he want to change his city name now observe if this what are three opened is online online application or otherwise database and uh, he is uh, trying to edit his account information saying this uh, city name is vijayawada something like then automatically if he is allowed to change the content if it's allowed to change the content uh, to vijayawada okay how many references are going to be affected are you getting how many references are going to be affected one crore references will be affected because if multiple references point into the same object by using one reference if we are trying to perform any changes with those if you are trying to perform any change automatically that change will be reflected for all so sir forget about memory problem forget about memory benefit or performance benefit now the application start behaving abnormally sir after 5 minutes so another person want to change his city name so today morning i checked my city name is hyderabad after 10 minutes i checked suddenly my city name became vijayawada after another 10 minutes i checked suddenly my city name became delhi are you getting it's always a bigger problem abnormal behavior then how you can solve this problem Hmm. how you can solve this problem some people java people analyzed uh, very clearly they came up with beautiful concept immutability concept are you know what is that concept they came up with beautiful concept what is that concept immutability concept clear right sir what is the immune so once we create string object we are not allowed to change its content we are not allowed to change its content because in java string object can be referenced with multiple references so that's why if one person changing all the remaining people will be affected so if any person want to change its content with those changes a new object by default will be created are you getting v j a v3 want to change the city name from hyderabad to vijayawada like with that change a new object will be created only this particular reference will be reassigned only this particular reference will be reassigned but still all the remaining references pointing to the same object only are you getting right so what is this behavior once we create string object we are not allowed to change the content by mistake if you are trying to change the content with the two changes a new object will be created under that reference point into that new object this concept is a nothing but immutability concept are you getting why immutability is required just because of scp concept only if scp concept is not there if reusing the same object concept is not there immutability not required is it clear right friends everyone can able to understand right sir what is the importance what is the advantage of string constant pool next what is the problem with the string constant pool sir if any person is asking what is the advantage of string constant pool sir same object can be reused multiple times instead of creating new object same object can be reused memory will be saved performance will be improved are you getting these are the positive sides of scp concept but what is the problem with scp by re one reference if any person trying to change then so all the remaining references will be affected to prevent that java people introduced immutability concept so why string objects are immutable just because of scp concept just because of reusing the same object if scp is not there reusing the same object is not there then automatically immutability concept is not required clear friends advantage 
problem why string objects are immutable just aware this knowledge anyway just to get basic idea okay what advantage is there just to get the basic idea i hope in the entry room if any entry person is asking why a cp concept is required what is the advantage of a cp concept just take water registration form and explain this concept then entry person definitely will be convinced clear are you able to understand videos we covered very clearly what is advantage of scp string constant pool what are problems right why string objects are immutable now i hope you are getting some basic idea from this concept maybe a chance to ask in the entry room a small one or two important questions observe that what kind of, what what important questions you can you can expect for the exam just uh, the first question observe that why scp concept is available only for string object but not for string buffer sir string constant pool such type of concept is available only for string but not for string buffer why what is the speciality for the string why why this concept is only for string okay like next uh, why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why immutability is required okay you may have some basic idea now i will explain in detail next in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java sir in addition to string objects any other objects are immutable in java sir like uh, these are the three important question sometimes we may go beyond our limit but still sir very important for the entire room region what the first question observe that why scp concept is available only for string object but not for string buffer do you know assume you are regular customer to the bar <laughs> i don't know whether you have drinking habit or not assume that you are regular customer to the bar every day evening you will go to the bar hey one knockout or otherwise one royal challenge like you will ask then they will provide and then so happily you can drink and then come to the home it is a regular activity every day sir every day by mistake one day you forgot the wallet sir money is not there are getting money you forgot money still bar people are going to provide support or not are he the regular customer sir today if you are not having the money no problem tomorrow can you please give tomorrow can you please give okay like uh, they are going to offer normally even you are not having the money also one or two days yes no problem sir yet uh, month ending one time only you can give no issue at all like uh, they are going to offer suppose yearly once uh, you are going to the bar sir today if i will go next after one year only i will go then i will go there are i forgot money i forgot money can you please give some item then the bar wala the bar person is going to see from top to bottom are getting he won't because i am not regular customer so special privileges are required special privileges are available only for regular customers if you are not regular customer you may not have special privileges special offers like that right are you able to understand now i am telling this word now you can able to understand yes sir here one is a string concept the other one is a string buffer are getting one is the string the other one is string buffer now do you know scp like concept string constant pool such a type of concept applicable only for string but not for string buffer why why this special memory management defined for the string simple answer string e regular customer are getting string is what regular customer means uh, the most commonly used object in java is the string object are getting the most commonly used object in java is the string object string object right? that's why so it is uh, it is for the string uh, special privileges are there 
special memory management provided by Java people. But single buffer yearly ones uh, or otherwise. Uh, so for 20,000 lines of the code, one time you may use. You may use. You may not use also. There are several applications where we may not use string buffer. But there is no application without using string. That's why string is most commonly user object in Java. That's why Java people provided a special memory management for the string. But string buffer is very rarely user object. That's why special memory management not required for the string buffer. Any doubt? Are you able to understand the first question? Why a CP concept is available? Available for the string, but not for the string buffer. Yes, string is a regular customer to the bar, but string buffer is not regular customer. Only for regular customers, special privileges are there. Are you able to understand? Okay, well. Now, second one. Very dangerous. Observe carefully. Why string objects are immutable immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable sir why immutability concept is required for the string but not for string buffer string buffer immutability is not required why what is the reason sir very very simple in the case of string in the case of string just because of scp because of scp same object can be reused uh, multiple times. Correct or not? Same object uh, can be reused uh, multiple times. Because of which concept? SCP concept. String constant pull. By using one reference, if we are changing the content, the remaining references are going to be affected. That's why once we create string object, we are not allowed to change its content. Because this content can be shared with multiple references. If any person trying to change the content with those changes, a new object should be created. In the existing object, you are not allowed to change it. Because of SCP, immutability concept is required for the string object. Are you getting? So, can you please tell why string objects are immutable? SCP. SCP. Because of SCP, reusing reusing the same object is there by using one reference if we are allowed to change the content then the remaining references are going to be affected so to prevent that immutability concept is required for the string objects any doubt clear right next uh, what about string buffer in string buffer scp concept is not there if scp concept is not there reusing same object such a type of thing is not there Every time, sir, every time separate object is required to create. Every time separate object is required to create. Are you getting Durga? Sir, Durga. Like uh, Durga, reusing the same object is not there in the string buffer because SCP like concept is not there in string buffer, right? Now, by using S1, if I change the content, Durga to Ravi. Durga to Ravi. If I change the content in this object, is there any effect on remaining references? No. Because for every object, separate reference is there. If I perform change here, no effect on the remaining references. That's why immutability is not required for the string buffer. Remember, reusing same object is not there. Immutability concept is not required for the string buffer. But what about this one? Mutability concept. Sir, immutability concept must be compulsory required. So, if any person is asking why string objects are immutable, string buffer objects are mutable, sir, for the string object, SCP concept is available. Reusing the same object is there. Multiple references uh, point into the same object. By using one reference, if we are allowed to change the content, then the remaining references will be affected to prevent that immutability is required. But uh, here, for every a reference separate object is there because reusing the same object concept is not there because SCP concept is not there for string buffer that's why by using one reference if we are allowed to change the content there is no effect on the remaining references because for every reference separate object is there that's why immutability not required for the string buffer any doubt clear okay now observe the third question what is the third one is in addition to string objects, any other objects are immutable in Java. In addition to string objects, string objects are immutable. Any other objects are immutable in Java? 
yes friends all all wrapper class objects all wrapper class objects are getting all wrapper class object are also immutable okay in wrapper class objects also up to certain range same object will be reused remember this one reusing the same object such type of terminology there in the case of wrapper classes okay that's why all wrapper class objects are by default immutable byte class object short class object next integer class object long class object like you know long next up float class object double class object float class double class character class object are you getting boolean object boolean boolean object these things are all wrapper class objects are immutable okay not only string objects right so these questions are very very important for the interview room compulsory you should be in a position to answer clearly clear the last videos we covered very clearly what is scp what is a, what are various important terminologies related to string and string buffer when the object will be created in the heap scp all the things right now let me talk about api related to string or string api right sir at the part of that the first we have to talk important constructors of string class are you getting important constructors of string class sir if you want to create an empty string object empty zero length string is also valid sir how you can create by using constructor string s is equal to new new string are getting string s is equal to new string just the creates an empty creates an empty string object an empty an empty string object on the heap area okay empty string object will be created just the string s is equal to new string that's all sir now second constructor string s is equal to string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of okay string literal are you getting string literal literal like do you know it is called it is for the given string literal an equivalent object will be created in the heap area new operator means always object will be created in the heap area for the given string literal can you please create an object in the heap area this is the constructor right okay well now the third constructor very important sir sometimes after completing this string we require to talk about string buffer string builder sir string buffer and string builder are brothers brothers to string you are getting all these three are brothers only so all small small differences right for the given string of buffer i want to create an equivalent string object you are getting for the given string of buffer i want to create an equivalent string object what is the way okay string s is equal to new new string of new string of string buffer string buffer buffer s of b are getting string s is equal to new string of string buffer s b so for the given string object for the given string object an equivalent for the given string buffer object an equivalent string by default will be created equivalence between string buffer to string concept okay like sir fourth one i have string builder object is there string builder object is there i want to create an equivalent string object what is the way sir very simple string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of string builder are you getting string builder builder sp string builder sp for the given string builder can you please create an equivalent string object okay that's all this is uh, another constructor of course uh, these constructors once we know there there i will explain just observe that so to create an empty string object next for the given string literal how to create string object 
next for the given string of buffer how to create an equivalent string object for the given string of builder how to create an equivalent string object clear right okay now fifth one sir very very important sir can you please tell what is a string uh, what is a what is a string string is nothing but a sequence of characters a sequence of characters that's why here do you know string uh, yes is equal to new string of string s is equal to new string of char array ch so a sequence of characters right now char array a group of characters for the given char array you can able to create an equivalent string object no problem at all for the given char array we can create an equivalent string object what is the way is like sir let me put a small example then you will get much clarity here see this one i'm taking char array ch is equal to char array ch is equal to here j j a v a like this i took sir j a v a like char array char array sir array you can take in this style also shortcut form okay like now string s is equal to new string of ch string s is equal to new string of ch for the given char array can you please create string an equivalent string object yes system dot out dot print ln sop of yes what is the output by default you are going to get sir java like this this is the answer we will get clear friends any doubt so sop of yes is a string j a v a these characters will be grouped into string that's why for the given char array how to create an equivalent string object this is the constructor clear right okay well let me check this option right so that you people can feel more comfortable right observe that have a look once here string s is equal to new string of of course so ch i'm taking sir sir where is the ch are getting where is the where is the ch let me take char array ch is equal to okay j next and after that a next and after that v under then v under then a okay j a v a like this i'm taking char array string s is equal to like this sir sop of yes are getting sop of yes yes like this i'm taking sir now let me take let me let me take here let me compile this code sir java c test dot java happily the code compiles fine no problem at all java test are getting java test what answer by default we are going to get java like that we are going to get the answer sir any any doubt so this is the char array argument constructor and example same way another constructor is also there string s is equal to string s is equal to new new string of string s is equal to new string of byte array are you getting byte array b so for the given byte array we can create an equivalent string object for the given byte array we can create an equivalent string object it's also possible man sir can you please give an example for this just uh, have a look once i'm taking byte array b is equal to sir a group of byte values can you please tell what is the range of byte in java are respond man what is the range range of byte byte in java sir suddenly you should not ask this type of questions like don't feel <laughs> because this is a very common you should aware minimum basics what is the range of byte minus 128 to 127 minus 128 to plus 127 are you getting byte array b is equal to 97 98 9900 like this i'm taking yes it's the byte array byte array all these values within that range only now string s is equal to new string a b sir string s is equal to new string of b 
for the given byte array can you please create an equivalent string object can you please create an equivalent string object like system dot out dot print ln of s good for the given byte array we can create an equivalent string object can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get yeah what the what the output don't tell 9798991900 okay so these byte values will be converted into corresponding characters 97 ida unicode value of uh, unicode value of small a you know right small a means 97 capital a means 65 like you may give 97 means a a 98 b c d now the equivalent string is a b c d like this we are going to get any doubt i hope all the people are in a position to understand what is the what the output we are going to get sir a b c d this is the string we are going to get let me execute this code sir observe carefully now i don't want to take char array let me take byte array b is equal to 97 98 99 100 like string s is equal to new string of b sir string s is equal to new string of b system dot out dot print ln of s s like this right now sir here have a look once happily the code compiles fine what is the output by default you are going to get a b c d because these are the unicode values for a b c d that's why with those corresponding character a string will be created now terminology is very clear so what are various important constructors present in the string class these are six important constructors are there so how to create empty string object for the given string literal how to create equivalent string for the given string buffer how to create string for the given string builder how to create string next for the given char array i want to create string object for the byte array i want to create string object these are the important constructors of string class you people should aware clear last video we covered about constructors related to string class sir now let me explain about important methods related to string okay here the first method what i have to discuss public public char char is the return type the method name is char yet int index are getting char yet int index sir very simple not caret okay char yet character yet int index remember so at the specified index which character is there if you want to know then we should go for char yet method right sir very simple if i can take string s is equal to durga like this i am taking sir durga like do you know what is the character locating at zero index string follows zero based index remember at the zero index d is available because the first character index is the zero next one next two next three next four zero to four total five characters are there these are the corresponding indexes right sir now the target is system dot out dot print ln s dot s dot char yet char get of 3 i am taking yes sir dot char get of 3 so which character present yet third index which character present yet third third index okay like a third index which character is there g g is available right okay well sir now system dot out dot print ln yes sir dot char get of 30 i'm taking sir yes not carrot of 30 30 i'm taking if i can take yes not carrot of 30 30 sir do you know 30 index sir, is not there not there it is only 0 to 4 30 index is not there then immediately we are going to get string index out of bounds exception what is that exception sir runtime exception saying 
string index string index out of bounds exception string index out of bounds exception like this we are going to get remember what is that exception string index out of bounds exception by default we are going to get okay so now let me execute this code have a look once sir i'm taking string s is equal to string s is equal to just uh, durga string s is equal to just uh, i'm taking durga sir durga s dot s dot char get of 3 i'm taking s dot caret of 3 what is the output we are going to get sir just uh, have a look once happily the code compiles fine yet the character locating at third index is the g g is the answer sir okay well now yes sir dot caret of 30 i'm taking 30 30 i'm taking 30 index is not available immediately we are going to get okay immediately we will we will get sir if you observe what is the problem sir string index out of bounds exception string index out of range what is the value sir 30 remember this so this is the first method you people should be aware so which is the character locating yet the specified index clear okay now let me go for second method sir now my second method is concat concat concatenation method already you are expert in that area now public public string string concat public string concat concat of of string yes are getting public string concat of string yes yes like this right just uh, concatenation are you getting what is this one sir concatenation like sir let me go for a small example then you people can able to understand very clearly what is the what is the meaning of this here of the string s is equal to durga i'm taking string s is equal to durga durga i'm taking s is equal to s da concat of software yes sir da concat of software software like this i'm taking sir because of this what will happen is so a new object will be created with the name durga software with the with the durga software durga software okay just observe because in the existing object you can't perform any change string s is equal to durga s is equal to durga next yes sir dot concat of software a new object will be created now this one assigned with yes now yes is pointing to this one are you getting yes is pointing to that sir now system dot out dot print ln of yes if i can take this one what is the output by default you are going to get durga durga software because because yes is equal to now yes is assigned to this newly created object that's why durga software is the output we are going to get just observe this have a look once already we discussed this one in the in the last sessions i don't think you are going to get the doubt yes is equal to yes dot concat yes dot yes dot concat of software software system dot out dot print ln of yes what is the output we are going to get sir observe that the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what is the answer durga software we are going to get that's what you should aware but now have a look once very carefully sir what the point is sometimes you may use plus operator also do you know this line this line we can replace with this line we can replace with the yes is equal to yes plus yes plus software yes plus software okay for concatenation purpose we can use plus operator also in this case also durga software is the output we are going to get or instead of this line these two lines also yes plus is equal to are you getting so yes plus is equal to means yes is equal to s plus only here software like this we can able to do that so these are the alternatives instead of concat method concat is the runtime method instead of that if you want operator 
happily you can use plus operator also acceptable okay have a look once here i'm taking instead of this line instead of this line yes is equal to yes plus software i'm taking yes plus software sir sop of yes yes like this right sir what is the output we are going to get sir just observe carefully here the output is durga software here the output is durga software it is acceptable acceptable but instead of this line also yes yes plus is equal to software i'm taking yes plus is equal to software software i'm taking sir now what is the output we are going to get sir very simple the answer is durga software like this any doubt any doubt are you getting right so these are the the overloaded plus and plus equal operators also meant for concatenation only so first two methods are clear one is concat method what is the second method we covered char get what is the character locating at index concatenate already existing string with some more extra content is nothing but concat clear sir the next methods related to string observe that sir third method public public boolean public boolean equals method what the method name can you please spell out equals equals method if you can provide string object if you can provide string string object okay public boolean equals sir need not be string any object you can provide no problem at all public boolean equals of object sir now it is meant for content comparison have you remember right in string class equals method is overridden for content comparison okay like sir here to compare content to check equality to check equality equality of string objects to check equality of string objects okay like sir i have two string objects are there if the content is the same or not if you want to check then we require to go for equals method it is the overriding version of object class equals method remember this one in object class equals method is there it is the overriding version present inside string class now i have one small doubt here case will be considered or not either case is the important or not yes observe carefully if you if you consider string s is equal to string s is equal to here durga i'm taking sir durga durga i'm taking this is about my content system dot out dot print ln s dot equals equals of durga what is the answer what is the answer we are going to get can you please tell string s is equal to capital durga now sop of s dot equals of small durga what answer we will get content is the same or not same content is not same not same here upper case but here lower case that's why immediately we are going to get sir false false is the answer because content both is not same so equals method by default will consider content also let me execute this code have a look once sir sir i'm taking string s is equal to string s is equal to durga i'm taking sir durga like this i'm taking sir sop of s dot equals of s dot equals of here small durga small durga i'm taking now observe carefully sop of s s dot equals of durga what is the answer we are going to get sir false false itself is the answer sir content is not same because case is the different so by default equals method will check content content including case also okay like but sometimes our programming requirement hey don't consider case i don't want to worry about case don't consider case ignore case ignore case if you want to ignore case one special method is there specially designed method for the string equals ignore case what is the method name now second next method public public boolean public boolean equals ignore case equals ignore ignore case ignore can you please ignore case public boolean equals ignore case of string yes it is a specially designed method for string objects okay specially designed method for the string object 
it is not overriding version of object class method but this one is overriding version of object class method so to check uh, equality of string object where where case is ignored are you getting the name itself indicates where case is ignored equals ignore case now let me consider system dot out dot print ln s dot equals s dot equals ignore case ignore ignore case s dot equals ignore case of okay durga s dot equals ignore case of durga durga so yes means capital durga now i'm trying to compare with a small durga equals ignore case hey don't worry about case just only content you require to check what is the output you will get sir true itself is the answer any doubt any doubt are you in the position to understand right sir let me execute this code observe that yes sir dot yes sir dot what is the method name equals hey respond equals ignore case yes sir dot equals ignore case of durga first time false is the answer second time equals ignore case method true is the answer we are going to get okay now observe that sir true itself is the answer so how many equals methods are there in string class is there are two equals methods are available remember that one is equals method second one is equals ignore case method clear sir where these things are going to be useful best example sir best example username and password best example username and password mail id and then password do you know mail id you can use either lower case or upper case no problem at all case is not important in the mail id sir if you want you can check your mail gmail mail id you can specify either in upper case or lower case no problem but password but password compulsory case is the very important that's why so to validate username username where case is not important sir i want to check username is matched or not case is not important either lower case or upper case no problem at all for this we should require to use equals ignore case method are you getting equals ignore case method so to validate username mail id okay we require to use equals ignore case method where case is not important sir i want to validate password i want to validate password sir password case is important whenever you are trying to enter password so keyboard already upper case is enabled okay like sometimes error text also it's going to come because password is always case sensitive to validate password compulsory we require to use what equals method are you getting so how many equals methods are there one is uh, case is considered second one is case will be ignored these are the two methods what you people should aware any doubt clear next method related to string class here just observe so whether string is empty or not the length of the string is empty or not number of characters present in the string is empty or not i want to i want to check sir so for that public boolean public boolean is empty are you getting what is the what is the method name is empty public boolean is empty this is the method we have to take so to check whether the string is empty or not best example if i can take string s is equal to just a double quotes open and a close yes sir that's all no content huh? now let me check system dot out dot print ln yes sir da is empty or not yes that is empty or not yes obviously empty that's why true is the answer we have to get okay now if i can take string s is equal to durga durga it is not empty it is not empty system dot out dot print ln yes da yes dot is empty is empty what the answer we have to get sir false itself is the answer everyone can able to understand is empty to check whether the given string is empty or not whether the length of the string is zero or not number of characters is zero or not like for that we can use this one have a look once observe carefully here here i am taking 
string s is equal to empty empty sir now empty empty string s dot is empty like this i am taking string s is equal to empty double quotes just open and close is empty what is the output we are going to get sir just observe happy with the code compiles fine one minute one minute sir we are just a semicolon one minute here observe that happily the code compiles fine no problem what is the output we will get a true because it is it is empty it is empty it is the true sir empty string suppose if the string contain any any data any characters are there length is not zero then what is the output sir here false it is not empty that's why false is the answer right okay very important in the exam there is a possibility to to ask the bit from this method that's why intentionally i'm covering this method is empty observe that similarly suppose if the string is not empty how many characters are there if the string is not empty how many characters are there like uh, if you want to know the number of characters present in the string uh, then we require to go for length method what is the method name length method we have to use to check whether the given what is the number number of characters present in the given string sir just observe string s is equal to i am taking string s is equal to s is equal to some durga like this i am taking sir string s is equal to durga system dot out dot print ln s dot length s dot length length i am taking sir sir what is the output we are going to get 5 because how many characters are there sir 5 5 that's why so we can use a length method to find number of characters present in the given string now have a look once s is equal to durga s dot length method i am taking sir length length method i am trying to take now observe a bit very carefully about this one five itself is the answer sir okay sir now i have so i hope you people can aware what is the what is the is empty and what is the length method right but here one small thing you people should identify what the what that point is observe very very carefully sir do you know in java length variable is also there sometimes you can use length variable sometimes you can use length method length variable applicable for arrays arrays concept suppose if i have if i have int array x is equal to int array x is equal to 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 sir how many elements are there how many elements are there four elements are there if you want to know number of elements present inside array then we require to go for length variable sir sop of x dot length sop of x dot length what is the answer sir 4 itself is the answer so make sure length variable applicable for arrays concept length method applicable for string concept okay string object right sometimes in the in the exam there may be a chance to ask system dot out dot print ln yes sir dot length length variable for the string object length variable for the string object compiler will give left and right remember that because length variable applicable for applicable for arrays but not for string object that's why it is applicable for arrays that's why immediately compile method we are going to get okay sir let me let me cross check if i use length variable length variable variable for the string object yes or not length variable length variable let me compile let me compile immediately compile method we are going to get cannot find symbol yes or not length variable length cannot find symbol yes or not length variable length compile method we are going to get sir so please make sure very important point length variable applicable for arrays but not for string object length method applicable for string but not for arrays sometimes in our certification maybe a chance they may ask sop of x dot length method x dot length method they are trying to use length method for array immediately 
compare the method you are going to get. They are trying to use the length variable for string. Immediately compare the method you are going to get. Length method applicable for string. Length variable applicable for arrays concept. So please make sure this point also you have to keep in your mind. Very important for the exam sake. Clear? Now the next method related to strings. Sir, here observe. Public, public. String, public string, string is the return type of this method. What is the method and name is replace method. Replace, replace. Every character, replace with a new character, like that replace. Char, old character, comma, char, new character. Are you getting char, old character, comma, char, new character, right? Replace is the method. To replace every occurrence of this character, with this character every occurrence of this character with this character that is the purpose of replace method right okay well sir now observe that i have string s is equal to string s is equal to here just observe a b a b a b is there a b a b a b is there sir now system dot out dot print ln Yes, sir. Da replace. Yes, not replace. Replace. Ah, can you please replace, sir? A character with the B character. Can you please replace A character with the B character? Every A will be replaced with the B. Every A will be replaced with the B. Then obviously, what is the output by default? You are going to get sir B B B B B is the answer. Are you getting? So, what is the purpose of replace method? Every old character, can you please replace with the new character? Okay, this is here. Every A replace with the B, then what is the output we are going to get? All B, sir. Clear for all of right? What is the purpose of replace method? Let me execute, sir. Here, legend string S is equal to AB, 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 like this I am taking. Sir, yes, sir. Da, replace, yes, sir. Dot replace, replace I am taking. A car A can you can you please replace with the B car A can you please replace with the B B like this right sir now what is the output we are going to get just all B's by default will be there are you getting all B's by default will be there this is the output we are going to get sir are you getting all B's sir? so every A will be replaced with the B that is the purpose of replace method clear very easy nothing is there sir what is the next method is do you know Sir, substring. Sub substring method is there. Sir, now I want to find substring from third index to fifth index. Are you getting third index to fifth index? Or otherwise, from third index onwards until end of the string, I want a substring. Substring. Okay? For that, we require to go for substring method. Public, public. Okay? String, public string. What is the method name is sub substring? Are you getting substring of int begin? Okay, int begin, begin index, begin index. Observe that, sir. Sir, can you please tell? Is it valid or not? Ayo, whatever I wrote on the board, is this method is valid or not? What there, man? Sub S U B S T R I N G substring. Here you see the capital I am taking. Yeah, substring. Substring two words. Every inner word starts with uppercase. Camel case convention in Java. Is it valid or not? Uh, remember that. If you can take the method name like this, compiler will give left and right. Because substring method, substring method, yes, should be small. Okay? Yes, sir, should be small. Okay, total is single word only. Substring. Yes, sir, should be small. So, this method returns the string from, from begin index to, from begin index to end of the string. Are you getting from begin index to end of the string? End of the string. So, from begin index to end of the string, it is going to return substring like this, right? Sir, let me let me execute this code. Have a look once, or otherwise, let me go for a small example first. String s is equal to 
सर हम टेकिंग ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी हम टेकिंग सर वर्द स्ट्रिंग रेस्पॉन्ड वर्द स्ट्रिंग ए पी सी डी ई एफ जी इन इंडिया इन तेलुगु लांग्वेज देर इज वन मूवी देर वॉज वन मूवी सर नेम वित् बालू बालू लाइक टैग लाइन फर् दट मूवी इज ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी वट इज दट इज दिस वन फर् वन मूवी टाइटल देर इज वन मूवी मूवी टाइटल इज देर नेम वित् बालू द टैग लाइन इज ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी वट इज दट अयो एट सम पीपल मे बी फ्रम इंडिया सम पीपल मे नो तेलू ओके यू यू मे यू ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी ओके यू नो वाट इट मीन एस ए बॉय ए बॉय कैन डू एव्रीथिंग फर् ए गा आर गेटिंग ए बॉय कैन डू एव्रीथिंग फर् ए गा ओके इज इट करेक्ट ए बॉय कैन डू एव्रीथिंग फर् ए गा ओके वेन एवर दिस मूवी के then immediately so there are superiors like me they are going to create reverse reverse slogans also what they are going to do yes so at that time this tagline is very popular a boy can do everything for a girl like uh, then immediately some people girl forget everything did sir catch boy again ayo i don't know whether it is a reverse is the correct or whether original is the correct or not okay just you wait a b c d e f g is there sir now my requirement is from third index onwards until end of the string i want substring then system dot out dot print ln s dot substring s dot substring of 3 s dot substring of 3 3 like this right from third index onwards from third index to end of the string 0 1 2 3 So three means uh, D D D to end. So D E F G is the answer we are going to get. Are you getting right? So how the substring method is going to work? How many arguments are there? One argument from that index onwards until end of the string. It is going to return. Okay. Now let me cross check, sir. Here, yes, is equal to A B C D E F G. A B C D E F G. Sir, yes, sir. Dot substring, yes, dot substring of of three. Yes, dot substring of three substring. Sir, I see the small r capital by mistake. If I'm taking capital yes by mistake. If I'm taking capital yes, what will happen, sir? Have a sequence. Compiler will give left and right. Are you getting? So one minute, one minute. Here three by mistake. Here three substring of three. Here observe that compile time error. We are going to get saying. Cannot find symbol. Which is symbol, sir? Method substring of int. There is no such type of method like this, right? Now, yes, see the small. Okay, perfectly, it's going to work. Yes, see the small. Have a look once. Have a look once. What the answer? By default, we are going to get D E F G. This is the substring method, right? Okay, well, sir. Now, what is the next thing I have to discuss? So, substring method is very clear. But for substring method, yes, it is small. How many arguments are there? Only one argument. Only one argument in the begin. But now there is one more substring method is there. What is that method? Is yes, two arguments are available, sir? I don't want to consider until end of the string. I want to consider from third index to sixth index only, fifth index only. I want to. I want to specify. One one particular boundary, one particular region. How you can very simple, public public string, public string, substring, public string, substring of int int begin comma int end int begin comma int end. So returns the substring from from. Begin index to returns the substring from begin begin index to. Uh, can you please tell? Returns the substring from begin index to end minus one index. Returns the substring from begin index to end minus one. This is a very important word. Not end end minus one index. Okay. Now system dot out dot print ln yes dot substring. Of of 
3 to 6 I am taking. 3 comma 6. Can you please tell? It returns the substring from 3rd to 5 only. N minus 1. N minus 1. Itself is nothing but 6 minus 1. Itself is the 5. 3 to 5 only. So 0, 1, 2, 3. 3. Like this. 3, 4, 5. Then automatically D, E, F is the answer. Are you getting? D, E, F itself is the answer, sir. Now, have a look once. Observe. Sir, now, yes, sir, dot, substring, R, ah, 3, comma, 6, I am taking, 3, comma, 6. So, 3, comma, 6 means, uh, 3 to 5 only, 3 to 5 only. Observe that, what answer we are going to get, sir? Yes, second answer, this is D, E, F. So, how many substring methods are available? There are two substring methods are available. One is only one argument. Second one is two arguments, right? That's all. Replace under substring methods. Clear clarity is there? First methods related to string. Okay. Sir, index of. Okay. Public. Public. Int. Index of. Index of. Char C. What the meaning of this one is? It returns index of specified character. It returns index of specified character. Sir, this character present yet which index? Sir, very simple. Let me take string S is equal to Durga. String S is equal to Durga. Durga line. Sir, system dot out dot print ln. Yes, da index of G I am taking. Can you please tell at which index place G is available? At which index place G is available? 0, 1, 2, 3. 3 is the answer. Are you getting? If you know the character, this character present at what index? If you want to know, then we require to go for index of. Observe that. Have a look once. Have a look once. Here. String S is equal to Durga like this. I am taking system dot out dot print and yes, dot index of G G like this, right? Sir, what is the output we are going to get? Let me execute the code compiles fine, the code runs fine. What answer we are going to get? 3 itself is the answer, sir. Okay, well, sir. Now, my next point here take very special care about this one, sir. Suppose if the specified character not available, maybe, maybe the specified character may not available. Best example, system dot out dot print ln, yes dot index of, index of z I am asking, z I am asking, yes dot index of z, z I am asking. Can you please tell if the z is available? No, not available. If the z is not available, then simply we are going to get minus 1. Remember this one, sir. If the specified character not available, then we are going to get what? Minus 1. Have a look once. Yes, sir. Dot index of z I am taking. Instead of g, I am taking z. Sir, z is not available here. What output we are going to get, sir? Happily the code compiles fine. Now the answer is minus 1. Now the answer is minus 1. Like this we have. Okay, next uh, I have one small doubt. Next uh, doubt is if the specified character not available, minus 1. If the character available yet uh, multiple times, are you getting maybe a chance? Uh, if the character, same character available multiple times, uh, then which index is going to return? Simple, sir. It returns index of first occurrence. First time when this character is available, that index is going to return. Now, have a look once. System dot out dot print run. Sir, here best, best example. If I can take S is equal to, assume, assume, string S is equal to, B A B B A B like this I am taking. Sir, how many times A is available? Two times. Two times. Here one time, here also one time. Here one time, here also one time. First time A is available at which index place? 0, 0, 1. One th index place. Now system dot out dot print ln. Yes, sir, dot index of yes, sir, dot index of A. Yes, dot index of A. A is available. 
A is available. Yet the which index place right? First index place. That's why what is the output we are going to get? One. Even A is available multiple times, huh? but index of method is always going to return first occurrence index only. Remember, here let me cross check, let me show. A, sir, B, A, B, A, sir, here B, B, A, B is there, sir. Now, S dot index of A I am taking. S dot index, index of A, like this, right. Now, observe carefully what is the answer we are going to get, sir. One, one, only one index. Because it is available first time, A is available at one index. So, that's all. So, this is what, uh, what is the index of. Clear, right? Sir, what is the index of specified character? If the specified character not available, minus one. If the specified character available multiple times, uh, then first occurrence index is going to return. Next method, here legend. Sir, I don't want index of first occurrence. I want index of last occurrence. Again, last time when this character came, last time when this character came, like uh, public int, public int, last index of. Are you getting? Public int, last index of char ch. Are you getting? Public int, last index of char ch. Remember this one. So, last time when this character available, if you want to know, then last index of right. Now observe, now observe this string s is equal to b a. Here string s is equal to b a. Okay, b a b b a b. Sir, last time a is available where? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Last time a is available at fourth index. I want to know last index. Last index of. Are you getting what the name? Last index of A. Sir, A is available at the fourth index. Now we have a look once. Sir, what the output you are going to get? Fourth index, right. Okay. Sir, this is what is the meaning of, what is the, what the purpose of index of, last index of. Now immediately, some people may ask the doubt. Sir, I want to know. Second occurrence index, third occurrence index, fourth occurrence index. Sorry, API is available for, for general common cases only. If you are not going to satisfy happy with this API method, then you require to write the code explicitly. But as of now, API is available, first occurrence index, last occurrence index. Clear, right? So if you want third occurrence, fourth occurrence, you require to write the code explicitly for that, right? Okay, that's all. Next, uh, sir, there are some more methods are there, not required to keep any explanation, right? What is the next method is, two lower case. I want to convert total string. If anywhere uppercase character is there, please convert to two lower case, okay? Public, public, string, two lower case, two lower case. So, whatever uppercase characters are there in the given string, will be converted into lower case. Now the string contain only lower case alphabet symbols. Are you getting? So for this, not required to go for example. I hope you know. Next, uh, public, public, string, uh, two, uppercase. Public string, two, uppercase. Can you please convert two uppercase? The given string, if anywhere lower case characters are there, automatically will be converted into uppercase. Okay, please make sure you should aware these two methods also. Okay, so what is the meaning of index of, last index of, two lower case, two uppercase. Is it clear for all of you, right? Hello friends, in the last videos we covered very clearly about string class methods. Still, one more method is remaining, very important for day-to-day -day coding, even for exam also. Let me explain that method with a small case study, so that you people can get much clarity. So first, what is the need of that method? I will explain with an example. Observe that, a small, a small program I wrote, very interesting application, just observe that. Import java.util.star class test public static void main. Sir, scanner, sc is equal to new scanner arm system.in. Can you please tell what is the purpose of scanner? 
to read the dynamic input from the keyboard if you want to read some input from the end user from the keyboard then we require to use scanner okay system dot out dot print enter your city name boss can you please enter your city name now string name is equal to sc dot next line now whatever end user is going to enter the city name i am saving inside a variable name now if a name dot equals of hyderabad if a name dot equals of hyderabad hyderabad like so what is the output hello hello hyderabadi adab are you getting hello hyderabadi adab 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 means uh, namaskar something like uh, so wishing uh, wish in hyderabad style next uh, hello hyderabadi adab else if name dot equals of chennai if the city name is the chennai chennai for them hello madrasi vanakkam hello madrasi vanakkam because it is the chennai tamil terminology vanakkam okay like now else if name dot equals of bangalore system dot out dot print then hello kannadiga namaskara hello kannadiga namaskara like so if the name city name is the bangalore then what is the response what is the output i have to display hello kannadiga namaskar sir else else system dot out dot print elan please enter a valid city name okay my program is going to consider only three city names one is hyderabad second one is chennai and the third one is bangalore okay my product uh, is available only these three places that's why so i want to cover consider only these three places right so if any other city name we are entering and user entering so immediately he is going to tell please enter a valid city name are you getting right sir that's all a simple application just to wish to greet message for the end user like let me run up to this and then there is one small loopholes are there that part i will discuss have a look once observe very carefully sir the same example i'm taking import java dot util dot star class test main method sir scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot out dot print enter your city name string name is equal to sc dot next line sir name dot equals of hyderabad hello hyderabadi adam next if the city name is the chennai hello madrasi vanakkam if the city name is the bangalore hello kannadiga namaskar hello kannadiga kannadiga namaskar next uh, please enter your valid else please enter your valid city name that's what this is sir now code wise i don't think you people can able to understand very easily code wise there is no problem at all okay now let me run this code sir observe carefully here what i'm trying to take is let me compile yes the code compiles fine let me run okay i'm trying to enter hyderabad hyderabad yeah perfect hello hyderabadi adab okay i'm trying to enter city name yeah chennai chennai like this hello madrasi vanakkam i'm trying to enter bangalore bangalore okay like this right bangalore there hello kannadiga namaskar if i'm trying to enter okay just uh, mysore if i'm trying to enter mysore immediately please enter a valid city name because my program is going to work only for three city names right okay well now my doubt is there are some problems are there with this code if i can show this code to any real time expert or if i can move this code into the live definitely in the live there are some problems you are going to get what problems are there there are two issues the developer the programmer ignored ignored the bigger mistakes for the programmer point of view developer point of view right sir what mistakes are there just you people should be aware can you please guess yes friends are you seeing any mistakes in this code ha huh. this is the code my program requirement i require to cover only three city names no problem at all don't tell sir other city names you didn't cover it is not my program requirement only three city names in this there are some small mistakes are there sir logical mistakes not coding mistakes i mean not coding coding mistakes if coding mistakes are there then the program won't work problem number 1 problem number 1 who is the responsible to enter city name who is the responsible to enter city name and the user and the user don't know 
with a he may he may enter city name either in upper case or lower case or mixer case but your program always consider lower case letters only sir you compare only lower case are you getting you compare only lower case lower case city names only if the end user entered only lower case city name then only these things are going to work otherwise by mistake bangalore b capital or hyderabad h capital are full in 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 upper case i added then sir this program is not going to recognize so your program is always expecting case sensitive string from the end user by mistake end user entered upper case letter then your program is not going to work let me show this one let me let me show this here observe that same application same application now i'm taking now i'm taking here enter city name enter city name i'm trying to give h capital are getting hyderabad h capital immediately it's going to tell please enter your valid city name so your application is not going to consider this this city name because in our application our entered city name is hyderabad right so similarly if you entered if you entered chennai chennai okay c capital i'm taking sorry please enter the valid city name it is our application unable to recognize if i enter bangalore if i enter bangalore bangalore like only in upper case sorry it is not going to recognize our city name so the problem is our application is always expecting only lower case city name from the end user which is uh, never be good program in practice because end user is not a software engineer end user is not a software engineer end user don't know the difference between upper case and lower case that's why he may use lower case he may use upper case he may use both the mixed case also that's why in any case is going to provide yes our program should accept what is the way what is the solution is yes, i will suggest uh, two solutions for you solution one equals method can you please replace with the equals ignore case sir in the last videos i covered right equals method is there equals ignore case method is there so if you replace equals method with equals ignore case method then the problem by default will be solved correct right okay just observe if it is the case if it is the case how many places i have to replace how many places are required to replace here one equals second equals third equals right so instead of that anyway i will have some solution you hard coded only lower case only lower case letter only lower case right so what i will do is if end user entered city name i will convert into lower case and then i'm comparing lower case letters then our problem will be solved so second approach is very easy because we require to write only one line so sir string name is equal to sc dot next line now i will get uh, now i will get end user entered city name dot dot to lower case dot to lower case so end user provided city name i'm trying to convert into lower case and then in the rest of the program i'm always going to compare with the lower case city names only that's why the problem will be solved even end user entered either upper case lower case no problem at all happily the code is going to work clear for all of you right what the need of case sensitive now take a bit special care observe that here i'm trying to take string name is equal to sc dot next line dot uh, to lower case to lower case are you getting to lower case like this i'm taking sir so string name is equal to sc dot next line dot to to lower case like this i'm taking sir so let me execute this code execute this code now this one is always going to convert uh, into lower case even end user entered upper case mixer case and so on right now anyway we are comparing only with the lower case city names that's why happily the application is going to work no problem right okay enter city name let me run enter city name now sir i'm trying to enter h y d e r a hyderabad 
are you getting summer upper case summer lower case no problem hello hyderabadi adab it can able to recognize right now enter city name enter city name chennai are you getting enter city name hello madrasi wanna come like this right so enter city name bangalore okay bangalore b capital i took no problem happily it's going to work sir so one one solution we covered very clearly right so even end user can able to enter either lower case or upper case no problem at all first end user entered word i will convert into lower case and then happily i will execute this code okay well issue number one solution is also there but still another issue is there sir what is that other issue sir dangerous point take very special care very dangerous point second second one is very dangerous still do you have any problem with this code yes one more issue is there what is the what is the problem because while coding being a programmer you require to aware all these conditions don't expect any user is always software engineer are getting you require to aware you require to provide full flexibility to the end user one more flexibility i have to provide to the end user what is that flexibility is yes. end user entered city name converting into lower case and then you are trying to compare is it hyderabad or is it chennai or is it bangalore like this right suppose i am the end user now listen the problem enter enter your city name enter your city name city name like now i have to enter the city name if i enter city name yes hyderabad no problem acceptable now hyderabad city is there it's going to provide but the problem is by mistake there are some end users are there what they are always going to do they will enter city name not directly first they will keep one space one or two spaces one or two spaces and then they are going to enter city name yes hyderabad are getting one or two spaces and then they are entering as hyderabad like this now our application is going to check two spaces followed by hyderabad is there any city is there or not two spaces followed by hyderabad city is not there immediately please enter a valid city name are you addressing the problem right so by mistake if the end user entered space at the beginning sorry your application can't recognize that city name if you want you can observe that here have a look once sir i'm taking a small example here let me run this code let me run sir hyderabad directly i'm i'm trying to enter valid valid hello hyderabad like sir by mistake by mistake one space one space space and then hyderabad i am taking and then hyderabad i am taking one space and then hyderabad can you please observe please enter your valid city name are by mistake and user entered one space one space at the beginning sir is the problem is the problem sir not only not only at the beginning sir even at the end also suppose end user entered end user entered city name hyderabad hyderabad and then one or two spaces at the end one or two spaces at the end still is it a problem or not yes because hyderabad followed by two spaces either in a city is there or not no such type of city that's why please enter your valid city name like it's going to come so it is a space issue yeah, issue is going to come sir observe carefully now at the end at the end i want to take sir hyderabad hyderabad and the space 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 three spaces i am taking sir even whether one space or two space or three spaces no problem output is always please enter a valid city name are you getting a bit dangerous case dangerous case you have to take care sir now in this scenario can i blame end user or can i blame programmer which one which one is the correct can i blame end user or can i blame programmer you should not blame end user i told right you can't expect end user should be software engineer he don't know what is the importance of space he don't know what is the importance of lower case and upper case you how to take care everything being a programmer it is our mistake only that's why what i want to take care is sir before comparing before comparing with the city names 
if any spaces entered by end user either at the beginning or at the end if you remove those spaces if you remove those spaces then the problem by default will be solved correct right sir how to remove spaces present yet beginning of the string end of the string beginning of the string end of the string if any blank spaces are there remove those blank spaces only content i have to compare if you want to remove those blank spaces we require to go for what is the method is trim trim is the method are getting what is the method name trim trim is the method sir observe public public string public string trim trim is the method remember this one sir sir trimming have you remember that right? trim trim we are going to do trim means cut 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 extra things can you please cut trimming right same trimming here any blank spaces present yet beginning of the string end of the string can you please remove can you please remove that is the purpose of trim method right beautiful method the most commonly used method in real time compulsory you people should be aware sir now here have you observed hyderabad hyderabad if any spaces are there at the beginning or at the end will be removed will be removed only content will be considered that is the purpose of trim method if i use a trim method in this application that issue also by default will be solved where i require to use very simple sc dot next line city name we are going to get and the user entered city name dot to lower case dot to lower case converting into lower case so case is not going to be important dot dot <laughs> observe to lower case dot trim dot trim trim like this right dot trim if any spaces are there present again beginning of the string end of the string will be removed so end user you can enter any number of spaces no problem my program can able to handle like that you have to convey observe carefully sir here now have a look once here just this line is the very very important line this line is the very important line string name sc dot next line dot to lower case dot to lower case of trim dot to lower case of trim trim like this we have to take now abjan sir here here enter city name enter city name space 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 and then hyderabad okay space 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 no problem at all any number of spaces you can use hello hyderabadi adab hello hyderabadi adab like this right now here enter city name space 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 bangalore followed by bangalore and then bangalore space 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 any number of spaces you can take at either at the beginning or at the end then happily those spaces by default will be removed how beautiful concept it is that is the purpose of trim method very important for the exam very important for day to day coding what are the methods are trim method trim method like this right so here take a bit very special care what the purpose of trim method to remove blank spaces present again beginning of the string present again end of the string all blank spaces present at beginning present at the end by default will be removed now i have one another small doubt another small doubt take very special care sir sir here i am taking string s is equal to sir this bit this bit there is max possibility to ask in the exam take special care sir here i am taking durga durga and then one space and then one space soft like this i am taking sir durga and then one space and then soft so at the beginning i am not taking space at the end i am not taking space observe carefully right now system dot out dot println s dot trim s dot trim trim dot length s dot trim dot length after trimming what is the length anyone can you please tell yes friends very dangerous point very dangerous point what is the length sir original string length 5 plus 6 7 8 9 10 total 10 characters are there 
total 10 characters are there including this middle space now after trim dot length it is not a short length after trim dot length can you please guess what is the answer 8 9 10 huh what is the answer we are going to get that's what you should aware very important for the exam sake what is the point is trim method can remove blank spaces present yet beginning of the string end of the string but not the middle blank spaces are you getting but not the middle blank spaces if any space present inside middle 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 of the string those things uh, trim method is not going to remove okay so yes uh, dot trim dot length uh, what is the output by default we are going to get same 10 length only because this space is not going to be removed by trim method please make sure you should aware let me execute this code so that you will get confirmation observe that sir here one minute one minute here just i'm taking okay here let me make uh, the changes all these in the same program only like this okay can you please guide sir what is the code i have to take string s is equal to string s is equal to durga soft are you getting string s is equal to durga under then space under then soft okay like that now system dot out dot println okay system dot out dot println out dot println s dot length original length original original length of the string sir s dot trim yes dot trim dot length so in both cases we are going to get we are going to get 10 10 only because here we are going to get in both cases 10 10 only because here trim method won't remove blank spaces present in the middle of the string now observe that happily the code compiles fine what is the answer we are going to get have you observed right 10 10 very important for the exam sake please make sure you people should aware are you getting right what is the purpose of trim what is the purpose of trim trim method can be used to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string and the end of the string but not the middle blank spaces that is the last method last important method we require to talk with respect to string concept and beautiful case studies are better to follow clear Sir, in the last video we covered, sir, what is the need of trim method, what are various important methods are there related to the string. Clear for all of you, right? The next important concept, very important loophole is there related to immutability. Take a bit special care, sir. Here I am taking string S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Take very, very special care. Sir, have you remembered? What is immutability? What is immutability? Already you are the kings in that area. I know that because almost around 10 to 15 videos we covered up to this only on that concept. Sir, what is immutability? Once uh, we create an object, we are not allowed to change its content. If we are trying to perform any changes, with those changes, a new object will be created. Are you getting right? So, once we create string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes. If we are trying to perform any changes, with those changes, a new object will be created. Okay, you know up to that. But for that, some extra masala, spicy, I want to add. Observe that. String, S1 is equal to new string of Durga. Now my target is, string s2 is equal to string s2 is equal to s1 da to lower case or otherwise let me take the first method s1 da to upper case to upper case to upper case string s3 is equal to s1 dot s1 dot to lower case to lower case lower case i'm taking string s1 is equal to string of durga string s2 is equal to s1 dot to upper case string s3 is equal to s1 dot to lower case 
system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s2 system dot out dot print ln s1 double equal to s3 I am taking sir can you please confirm what is the output we are going to get please the most dangerous point I want to talk so it's a very helpful to answer the questions in the exam in the next I will discuss how to create our own immutable class there also this concept must be required can you please confirm what the output we are going to get if I can take like this hmm. false false true false false true or true true like you should appear so very simple once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes if you are trying to perform any change with those changes a new object will be created this is called immutability nature of string okay well let me explain here one more small observation must be required you should aware that what is that is have a look once memory structure string s1 is equal to new string of Durga string s1 is equal to new string new string of Durga like this right now here observe heap area heap area scp area string s1 is equal to new string of Durga sir here Durga object got created s1 is the reference variable now for the future purpose in the scp area one object will be placed internal reference will be maintained by jpm now string s2 is equal to s1 dot to uppercase sir i am trying to change the content of s1 to uppercase to uppercase once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object if you are trying to perform any change with those changes a new object will be created where that new object will be created in the heap area in the last video somewhere i covered because of runtime operation if any object is required to create that object will be created only in the heap area runtime operation right sir now two uppercase means two uppercase means d u r g a okay s2 is the reference variable yes so s1 dot 2 uppercase because of that a new object will be created sir a new object will be created under them for the s2 is the reference variable well sir now listen carefully string s3 is equal to s1 dot 2 lower case string s3 is equal to s1 dot 2 lower case now on s1 i'm calling which method two lower case method sir because of two lower case method is there any change in the content please respond is there any change in the content no change in the content if there is no change in the content what is the need of creating new object so if there is a change in the content with those changes a new object will be created sir if there is no change in the content no change in the content then instead of creating new object for the existing object only this reference variable will be assigned string s3 is pointing to same object only sir this is a small observation what you people should aware are you able to understand right so because of our runtime operation if there is a change in the content with those changes a new object will be created if there is no change in the content existing object only will be reused clear right sir now sop of s1 double equal to s2 s1 s2 both are not pointing to the same object that's why false is the answer in the first case next s1 double equal to s3 both are pointing to the same object that's why true is the answer right very simple straight forward you can ask only one question are you are calling runtime method because of that is there any change in the content yes man there is a change in the content oh create a new object is the reference variable for that new object no change in the content existing object only will be reused this rule is the same whether the current object present in the heap area or present in sap area reuse the same existing object it may be present in the heap area or present in scp area i will go for one more example then you can get much clarity first let me execute up to this right observe that 
here can you please guide the word answer what the what the code string s1 is equal to new string of string s1 is equal to new string of durga durga like this i'm taking sir now string s2 is equal to s1 the two uppercase two uppercase like this i two next string s3 is equal to s1 the two lower case Yes, one dot two lower case like this. I'm taking sir. Now system dot out dot print and then yes one double equal to yes two yes one double equal to yes three yes. What the output we are going to get? If you want, you can cross check, cross check. Happily the code compiles fine. What the answer sir? First one is the false. First one is the false. Second one is the true like this right. Any doubt? Are you in the position to understand right, sir? Let me repeat. Once we create string object. we are not allowed to perform any changes if any person trying to perform the change if there is a change with those changes any object will be created if there is no change existing object will be reused whether the object present in the heap area present in scp area the rule is always the same clear right so this is one example let me go for one more example then you can get much clarity about this point sir here have a look once have a look once here see this one sir i'm taking string s1 is equal to string s1 is equal to okay new r just durga i'm taking string s1 is equal to durga durga like this string s2 is equal to string s2 is equal to s1 dot to string method s1 dot to string method string s3 is equal to s1 dot to lower case s1 dot to lower case to lower case like string s4 is equal to string s4 is equal to s1 dot to upper case s1 dot to upper case like this right i'm taking now system dot out dot print ln s1 Double equal to yes two, yes one. Double equal to yes three, yes three, yes one. Double equal to yes four, yes one. Double equal to yes four. Like this, I'm taking sir. That's all. This is the code. Whatever we have. Now my question is very simple. What is the output we are going to get? Hmm. If you have memory structure, very easily you can able to answer. Nothing will be there, sir. Can you please guide? What the output you are going to get for this requirement? So, if you can able to answer, I think you are the king in the immutability concept. I know each and every point related to immutability. Definitely, you can get that clarity. I'm sure. Yeah. Can I start? Now observe, observe carefully. String S1 is equal to Durga. Durga, like this, right? Here, here, I'm taking heap area. Yes, CP area. Now listen carefully. Heap area, yes, CP area. String S1 is equal to Durga. Can you please tell where this Durga required to create? Where this Durga required to create in yes, CP area? Sir, now in the yes, CP area, Durga created yes, one either reference variable for that. Next, here yes, one dot two string method. Yes, one dot to two string method. Okay, this is I'm taking. If I can take yes one dot two string method, two string method. Now the point here is it is already string. String to string conversion. Nothing, no change in the content. There is no change in the content. Existing object only will be reused. Okay, whether the if you are performing some operation on the current object. But because of that operation, no change. Then the current object only will be reused. Whether the current object present in the heap area, yes, heap area rule is always same. That's why, sir, yes, sir, two is also point into the same object. Because of this operation, no change in the content. Okay, well, string yes three is equal to yes one dot two lower case, two lower case. Is there any change in the content? No, two lower case. Because of two lower case, whether I'm yes one, no change in the content. Because it's already in the lower case, then no change in the content. Existing object will be reused. Oh, 
S1, S2, S3, all are point into SCP object Durga only. Next, uh, string S4 is equal to S1 dot 2 uppercase, 2 uppercase. Now, sir, is there any change in the content or not? Yes, there is a change in the content. Next, uh, compulsory new object will be created because of runtime operation. If a new object is required to create, compulsory that object will be placed uh, only in the heap area but not in SAP. Okay, that's why. So, where Durga will be created uppercase. So, yes, sir, four point into this one. Now, very simple. S1 double equal to S2. True is the answer. S1 double equal to S3. True is the answer. S1 double equal to S4. S1 and S4 both are not pointing to the same object. False is the answer. Getting right? True, true, false. Itself is the answer. Sir, can I execute this code? So that you people can feel more comfortable, I'm sure. Okay, let me execute right. Here, string S1 is equal to, sir, string S1 is equal to just a Durga. Durga, like this, string S2 is equal to S1 dot 2 string, S1 dot 2 string, like this, right. Next, uh, string S3 is equal to S1 dot 2 lower case, string S4 is equal to, string S4, S4 is equal to S1 dot 2 uppercase, 2 uppercase, like, same code, S1 double equal to S2, S1 double equal to S3, S1 double equal to S4. Are you getting, this is the code, I hope whatever I wrote on the board, same code only, right. Now, let me execute the output I'm expecting, true, true, false. Okay, true, true, false. Perfectly correct. So, the important conclusion, what you people should be aware, once we create an object, once we create a string object, we are not allowed to perform any changes in that object. If we are trying to perform any changes, if there is a change in the content, with those changes, a new object will be created. If there is no change in the content, existing object only will be reused. Whether the existing object present in the heap area, present in SCP area, rule is always the same. Clear, right? So, two examples I covered so that you people can get much clarity about this terminology, right? Clear? Last video, we covered very clearly what is immutability, what are various important loopholes related to immutability, right? Now, the next concept, most valuable, very important for the interview room especially, okay, interview, interview room especially, right? What is the, how to create our own immutable class? Is it possible to create our own immutable class or not? Yes, why not? We can able to do that. How you can create our own immutable class? Can you explain with an example? Very important point. Sir, first, before creating our own immutable class, first, what you got, what is immutability? What is the, what is the meaning of immutability? Can you please tell? Once uh, we create object, we are not allowed to change the content. If any person trying to change the content, if there is a change, to those changes, a new object will be created. If there is no change in the content, if there is no change in the content, existing object will be reused. Are you able to get right? Let me repeat again. Once we create our object, no one is allowed to change its content. If any person trying to change the content, with those changes, a new object will be created. If there is no change in the content, existing object will be reused. Clear, right? Sir, now let me go for next a small example how to create our own immutable class. Here, very, very simple, sir. Here I am taking class, class, test. Class, test. Here my target is, observe, observe carefully. Here I am taking one instance variable private int i. One instance variable I am taking private int i. Okay, now, sir, here constructor, this is the constructor, this dot i is equal to i. Constructor I am taking, sir. Next, uh, public, public, 
okay here i'm taking modify modify method i'm taking int i okay return type of modify method is the test return type return type of this modify modify method is the is the test sir now listen very carefully right what's my target is this a test should be immutable class this a test should be immutable class i want to i want to do like that what is the way sir very simple if i'm creating test object i want to create one test test object right now observe test t1 is equal to new test of 10 observe very carefully sir test t1 is equal to new test of 10 so means a uh, test object got created t1 is the reference variable where i value will become 10 because test class contain one instance variable i this rata i is equal to i okay that's why so test t1 is equal to new test means uh, sir here object got created once uh, we create test object we are not allowed to perform any changes in this object if any person trying to perform changes if there is a change in the content if there is a change in the content with those changes any object is required to create if there is no change in the content existing object should be reused remember this one this is nothing but what immutability okay now test t2 is equal to t1 dot modify of 100 i'm taking test t2 is equal to t1 dot modify of 100 can you please modify t1 with the 100 value means uh, can you please change i value as 100 100 can you tell in this case is there any change in the content or not yes 10 should become 100 you are modifying if there is a change in the content compulsory a new object will be created okay you can't perform any changes in this object okay it's a, it's a, it's my requirement right how you can write the code i will explain next uh, test t3 is equal to t1 dot modify of 10 i'm taking t1 dot modify of 10 10 i'm taking can you please tell what the value what the value 10 sir t1 dot modify with the 10 already t1 i value is the 10 only so because of this modification no change in the content if there is no change in the content existing object only should be reused remember this one existing object only should be reused if you can implement the modify method like that then the test class will become immutable clear right now have a look once sir what i have to take so t1 dot modify of 100 t1 dot modify of 10 how you can able to write the code very simple first condition i will check if if current object dot i current object current object dot i means t1 t1 i value t1 i value is a double equal to this i value or not this i value means whatever argument you are passing sir if the current object i value and the your provided i value both are same if both are same no change in the content if there is no change in the content what is the need of creating new object you are not required to create new object can you please return return current object only can you please return this this means what can you please return current object only okay like sir now test t3 is equal to t1 dot modify of 10 so t1 is the current object current object i value what is the current object i value 10 under your provided value 10 10 sir both are same or not both are same return this so in this case return this means t1 will be return so t1 for the t1 only t3 reference variable also will be assigned regarding for t1 only t3 reference variable will be assigned so because there is no change in the content no new object will be created existing object only will be reused clear next uh, else sir else sir do you know there is a change in the content both are not same there is a change in the content what you have to do create a new object with this updated i value and return that object 
so return return sir new test object with the, this i value new test object with the, this i value whatever i value are passing best example t1 dot modify of 100 100 sir t1 i value 10 but here 100 both are not same both are not same can you please create new object new object with the i value yes this 100 and return that object now t2 is a reference variable for that are you getting right now if there is a change in the content new object created if there is no change in the content existing object reuse it right so once we create test object you are not allowed to perform any changes in that if you are trying to perform any changes if there is a change in the content new object will be written if there is no change in the content existing object will be reused are you getting this is nothing but immutable or not yes sir now system dot out dot print ln t1 double equal to t2 system dot out dot print ln t1 double equal to t3 t1 double equal to t2 both are point into different object that's why false is the answer t1 double equal to t3 both are point into the same that's why true is the answer getting right sir that's all can you please tell because of which method now this test class will become immutable because of this modify method are you getting because of this modify method test class will become what immutable immutable right remember this one because of this modify test class will become immutable in string class every method is implemented in this style okay so just uh, either any change in the content yes boss yes create a new object and return if there is no change in the content return existing object like that every method present inside string class is implemented like this that's why string class is immutable remember this one next up because of this method it became immutable right no one is allowed to change its content that's why declare the class yes final final so that no one is allowed to override no one is allowed to change its content that's why all immutable classes are declared yes final string is final class all wrapper classes also final because they are immutable no one is allowed to change its content that's why right sir now let me execute this code observe that here same terminology same final class test private int i test this dot i next and after that modify how this modify method is implemented based on that only immutable is there if this dot i double equal to i return this else return new test of i okay sir public static void bin sir this is test t1 is equal to new test test t1 dot modify of 100 t1 dot modify of 10 now let me execute this code here see this one the code compiles fine next uh, what is the output by default we are going to get sir true if false followed by true itself is the answer so maybe a chance to ask for the integer room especially especially for the integer room sir what is the need uh, is it possible to create our own immutable class or not what answer you can tell yes possible to create our own immutable class can you explain with an example with an example yes take this one sir once we create test class object we are not allowed to change content if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes a new test object will be created in the existing object you can't perform any changes that's why test class will become immutable clear any doubt In the last video, we covered very clearly how to create our own immutable class. Sir, now there is one small misunderstanding is there between final and immutability. So, both are same, both are not same. I want to explain in detail. In the entire room, maybe a chance to ask, what is the difference between string and string buffer? String is immutable, string buffer is mutable. Okay, well. So, how we can make a string buffer as immutable? I want to make string buffer object as immutable.
how I can make non-changeable, right? So very simple. By declaring a reference variable as the final, by declaring a reference variable as the final, so we can make a string of buffer as immutable. Like some people are going to feel, no, no such type of terminology. Final is the different, immutability is the different, both are not same. By declaring a reference variable as final, we won't get immutability nature because final is the different, immutability concept is the different. Immutability related to object, final related to reference variable. Sir, what it means? Let me go for example. Here I am taking a simple example, sir. Class test, class test. Public static void main method I am taking string array args. Very, very important. Take special care. Here I am taking string buffer. String buffer S of B is equal to new string buffer. String buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of Durga. String buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of Durga. Durga like this, right? Now my target is here. Um, I want to make uh, this object as uh, immutable. Sir, SB is pointing to Durga. SB is pointing to Durga. Durga line. I want to make this one as immutable. That's why how I can make? Oh, simple. Declare, declare this reference variable as the final. Some people are going to feel. Okay. If I declare this reference variable at the final, so each of this object will become immutable? No. No. So by declaring a reference variable at the final, we won't get immutability. It is not immutability concept. Where is the proof for that? How you can conclude you are not going to get immutable? Immutable means immutable means what? Non-changeable. You can't change the content of this object. Now observe that. Yes, B. Yes, B. Data append of software I'm taking. Yes, B dot append up software. System dot out dot print ln of S B. System dot out dot print ln S B. Now observe this. If really it is immutable, you can't change the content. You can't change the content. Okay? But still in the software will be added. Software will be added. And the SOP of SB means uh, Durga software, you are going to get basic string buffer behavior only. It is not immutable behavior. Let me show this one. Have a look once, uh, sir. Here, I am taking a small, a small example. Here, just observe that carefully. Same, same example, right? Sir, I want to take class test. I am taking class test. Can you please tell what is the code I took? Final string buffer, string buffer. S B is equal to new string buffer. Final string buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of Durga. Durga. Like this, I'm taking sir. S B dot append a software. S B dot append of software. Software like system dot out dot print ln of S B I'm taking. Regarding final string buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of Durga. S B dot append of software. S O P of S B. S B. Now have a look once. Happily the code compiles fine. But the answer we are going to get Durga software means uh, even even the reference variable is the final still in this uh, string buffer object we are allowed to change the content means uh, that by declaring reference variable as the final we are not going to get immutability in nature final is the different immutability is the different then immediately you may ask uh, if it is the case what is the significance of this final what is the use of this final? Very simple, sir. If your reference variable declared as the final, then you can't reassign that reference variable to any new object. Okay? You can't reassign. We can prevent reassigning this reference variable for the new object. It doesn't mean in the corresponding object you can't perform any changes. In the corresponding object, happily you can perform changes, but you can't reassign this reference variable to new object. Sir, where is the proof? Let me show. Here, have a look once, sir. I'm taking SB. SB is equal to. Now I'm trying to reassign this reference variable. New, new string of buffer. New string of buffer of Ravi. Of Ravi, Ravi, like this I'm taking, sir. 
then immediately compile time error to you are going to get what the reason is hey yes be the final yes be the final how you can perform reassignment cannot assign a value to final variable yes be cannot assign a value to final variable yes be like a compile time error you are going to get let me show this one have a look once have a look here yes b is equal to new string buffer yes b is equal to new string buffer of ravi like this i am taking yes b is equal to new string buffer of ravi ravi like this right now have a look once error cannot assign a value to final variable yes b this is the compatible method you are going to get so terminology is a very clear for you people right so by declaring a reference variable at the final we want to get immutability concept immutability is the different final is the different sir if you don't want to perform reassignment for the variable then it is the final if you don't want to perform any changes in the object then it is the immutable so final terminology talks about variable but not object immutability concept talks about object but not for the variable remember that sir based on this maybe a chance to ask a small point sir which of the following are meaningful words which of the following which of the following are meaningful meaningful which of the following are meaningful first one listen very carefully sir first one final final variable final variable final object final object immutable variable immutable variable variable next uh, immutable object immutable object object like so can you please tell final variable final object immutable variable immutable object okay like among these which are meaningful can you please tell final variable yes you can perform reassignment for this variable final object no such type of terminology next immutable variable no no immutable variable is not there sir immutable object yes yes applicable once we create an object you can perform any changes in that object that's why final word applicable for variable immutable word applicable for objects by declaring a reference variable as the final we never going to get immutability sir how i can make string buffer as immutable impossible because internally the methods of string buffer is implemented for mutability purpose but not for immutability if you change the source code of each and every method present inside string buffer then it will become immutable but which is not going to be happen clear are you able to understand sir the next practice bit related to string concept just observe for certification sake here given given public class test public static void main string ta is equal to a string ta is equal to a ta is equal to ta dot concat of b b i am trying to concat b under ta string tb is equal to c ta is equal to ta dot concat of tb ta is equal to ta dot concat of tb next ta dot replace c with d c with d next ta is equal to ta dot concat of tb sop of ta what is the answer what is the result if i execute this code what is the result a b c d a c d a b c c a b d a b d c these are the possibilities right okay now can you please observe carefully what is the output we are going to get sir do you know i covered each and every method very clearly even how the concatenation immutability all the things already you aware not required to keep much explanation okay well but make sure string objects are immutable 
once we create string object we are not allowed to perform any changes if any person trying to perform change with those changes a new object will be created existing object won't be changed are getting this point you should aware while while solving the questions from string concept okay well sir string t a is equal to a sir here a is there t a is the reference variable t a point into a sir t a is equal to t a dot concat of b are you getting here just a t a dot concat of b t a dot concat of b sir i am trying to concat b to t a so for this now sir a new object by default will be created what is the reference variable t a means now on what this t a point into this object now it is eligible for garbage collection okay after this line t a point into a b now string t b is equal to c sir okay now c t b is point into c t b is point into c next t a is equal to t a dot concat of t b sir for t a dot concat of t b means uh, we are trying to add this content to a b with that a new object will be created that's why a b c will be created because of this one and t a pointing to this new object now onwards t a pointing to this new object automatically this object eligible for garbage collection okay well next t a dot replace c with d are you getting t a dot replace can you please replace c with d now a b c is there now c will be replaced with d a b d with that a new object will be created but this new object we are not assigning to any reference variable we are not assigning to any reference variable that's why this object eligible for garbage collection still t a point into a b c only now t a is equal to t a dot concat of t b again t a dot concat of t b t a a b c concat of t b means c now a b c c a new object got created and for this t a is the reference variable now on words t a point into this one it is eligible for garbage collection are you getting so sop of t a means a b c c is the answer so which one is the correct answer a b c d a c d a b c c okay this is the correct answer so please make sure sir every time if there is a change in the content new object will be created next up for that new object are you assigning any reference variable yes if you are assigning reference variable it will be there if you are not assigning any reference variable then it is eligible for garbage collection any doubt about this one can i execute this code observe carefully sir here let me let me go for here just observe string t a t a dot concat of b string t b is equal to c like this what is the output we are going to get sir happily the code compiles fine now the answer is a b c c is the answer we are going to get okay that's all a b c c is the answer we are going to get okay take very special care so to answer this type of questions you people should have clear clarity on string api methods string behavior like you should have clarity clear sir the next practice question for the certification exam related to string observe sir public class test public static void main string array ox sir string str is equal to observe very carefully double quotes open space double quotes space double quotes means uh, what is the length of this string is one one character is there what is that character space character is there observe now str dot trim trim method we are calling automatically so the spaces if any spaces are there present at beginning of the string 
present at end of the string by default will be removed okay now system dot out dot print alarm str dot equals of empty or not is a str empty string or not okay next uh, surplus dot 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 str dot is empty or not is the string is empty or not yes this is the program what is the result true false true true false true false false regarding which one is the correct answer in this case right so to answer this one only two points you people should be string objects are immutable once we create string object we can't perform any changes if you are trying to perform any changes with those changes a new object will be created will be created which is nothing but immutability okay next uh, trim method the purpose of trim trim method is to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string and the end of the string you know these two points right now here observe string str is equal to spaces so str is always going to pointing to space okay how many characters are there in this string one one character space is there sir now str dot trim we are calling trim method trim method right if you call trim method now this space will be removed but uh, it is immutable right existing object won't be a new object will be created with the uh, empty no no space here empty zero length zero length a new object will be created but for this new object we are not assigning any reference variable if you are not assigning any reference variable this object eligible for garbage collection sir str still pointing to this one length string only okay well sir sop str dot equals of empty str dot equals of empty string no here it is not empty because it contain one length which is the space character that's why here false is the answer both are not same next str dot is empty can you please tell is it empty string no because it contain one character which is the space character that's why it is also false okay so which one is the correct answer sir false false we have to get so false false we are going to get this d itself is the correct answer right sir let me execute this code have a look once i want to execute i want to execute this code here see same example sir same example here observe very carefully sir here space character is there in the in the string space character is there here the length of this string is not zero it's one it contain one character that character is the space str dot trim now str dot equals of here empty 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 is it empty or not next str dot is empty or not i'm asking now observe a bit very carefully sir what is the answer we are going to get compile is fine the answer is false false itself is the answer remember for the exam trim method very very important you should have clarity immutability trim very hot combination for certification exam you should aware clear sir the next practice question related to string concept observe carefully sir public class test public static void main string array arcs string s is equal to durga space soft okay durga space soft int length is equal to s dot trim dot length s dot trim dot length sop of length okay what is the what is the length what is the result sir 10 9 8 compilation fails sir so which one maybe maybe the correct answer which one here observe carefully can you please guess what the answer trim method we are using to remove the spaces then after removing the space how many characters by default will be there very important even in the theory also i covered this bit okay more or less same bit take very special care string s is equal to durga soft string s is equal to durga durga soft okay like now int length is equal to 
బిగినింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ ఇట్ నెవర్ గోన్ టు రిమూవ్ ద బ్లాంక్ స్పేసెస్ ప్రజెంట్ ఎట్ మిడిల్ మిడిల్ దట్స్ వై సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ట్రిమ్ నో చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద కంటెంట్ ఇఫ్ నో చేంజ్ ఇన్ ద కంటెంట్ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్ విల్ బి రియూజ్డ్ నౌ దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ వాట్ ఈ ద లెంత్ వాట్ ద లెంత్ సార్ హౌ మెనీ క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఆర్ దే కెన్ యూ ప్లీజ్ కౌంట్ డిఆర్జిఏ ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ స్పేస్ మీన్స్ సిక్స్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ నైన్ టెన్ సాఫ్ట్ మీన్స్ ఫోర్ సో టోటల్ ఇన్క్లూడింగ్ దిస్ స్పేస్ టెన్ క్యారెక్టర్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ నౌ ఎస్ఓపి ఆఫ్ లెంత్ మీన్స్ టెన్ ఈజ్ ద ఆన్సర్ అబ్జర్వ్ దట్ కేర్ఫుల్ ఈ సార్ ట్రిమ్ మేద నెవర్ గోన్ టు రిమూవ్ ద బ్లాంక్ స్పేసెస్ ప్రజెంట్ ఎట్ మిడిల్ మిడిల్ ఆఫ్ ద స్ట్రింగ్ ఓకే సో టెన్ నైన్ ఎయిట్ కంపైలేషన్ ఫెయిల్స్ దెన్ ఆఫ్ ఎస్ విచ్ వన్ ఇస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ సార్ టెన్ ఇట్స్ ఎల్ఫ్ ఇస్ ద కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఏ లెట్ మీ ఎగ్జిక్యూట్ దిస్ కోడ్ అబ్జర్వ్ కేర్ఫుల్ ఈ రైట్ హియర్ if i can take this code here see string as is equal to durga space soft and s dot trim dot length can you please print as copy of length yes observe carefully here java c test dot java java test what is the answer we are going to get sir 10 10 so the important conclusion what you people should be aware about this example trim method never going to remove blank spaces present at middle of the string it's always going to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string end of the string clear sir the next practice question related to string concept observe that sir given public class test public static void main string array ax string s is equal to hello world string s is equal to hello world s dot trim int i1 is equal to s dot index of okay space space what is the index of space sop of i1 what is this index we are going to get sir here observe s dot trim trim method so trim method what is going to do remove the spaces something like okay and then sir sop of i1 what is the index of space after trim now sop of i1 sir what is the result what is the result an exception is thrown at run time minus 1 5 0 these are the things right sir very simple you should be aware two points one is purpose of trim method second one is index of sir trim method is to remove blank spaces present at beginning of the string end of the string but not the middle blank spaces are you getting in the string anywhere in the middle blank space is there it won't be removed sir okay remember that next index of it is going to return index of first occurrence of the specified character here space space if the specified character not available then we will get minus 1 you know right so now observe string s is equal to hello world okay hello hello world hello world this is my string s is the reference variable for that okay well now s dot trim s dot trim trim sir so either any spaces present at beginning and present at end no no because of trim method no change in the content that's why new object won't be created okay well int i1 is equal to s dot index of space sir in this where is the space is available here here what is the index 0 1 2 3 4 and then 5 yet the fifth place fifth index place space is available that's why what is the i1 value 5 we are going to get sir are you getting yet what is the value 5 5 we are going to get sir what is the output c itself is the answer sir let me 
check this one because there why this 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 question asked for the exam why why this type of possibilities are there just to trap you the reason is most of the people are going to fail ha huh, trim premium space by default will be gone if the space is not there you are you are asking about index of space space is not there minus 1 is the answer we are going to get no such type of terminology this space won't be removed because of trim method you should aware let me execute this code have a look once it the same code or not public class test public static void main string s is equal to hello world s dot trim int int i1 is equal to s dot index of sop of i1 now let me execute this code sir the code compiles fine what is the answer by default you are going to get 5 itself is the answer remember that i hope terminology is the very clear for you people right maybe a chance sir this type of questions take special care while answering sir the next practice bit related to string concept observe carefully sir consider the following code public class test public static void main string s1 is equal to java observe the content very carefully sir sir j capital a v a is the small java string s1 is equal to java string s2 is equal to new string of java sir it is the lower case java lower case sir line 1 oh we require to insert some code here line 1 sir sop of equal else not equal maybe if a statement we have to place with some condition now if that condition is satisfied equal else not equal like that right next uh, to print equal which code fragment should be inserted at line 1 to print equal which code fragment should be inserted at line 1 sir string s3 is equal to s2 if s1 double equal to s3 if s1 dot equals ignore case of s2 second option string s3 is equal to s2 if s1 dot equals of s3 next if s1 dot two lower case double equal to s2 dot two lower case or not that's all these are the four options what we have which one is the correct answer get in the point excellent bit you should aware double equal operator equals method equals ignore case method then you can able to un understand you can able to answer very easily but make sure double equal operator is always meant for reference comparison if both the references pointing to the same object then only returns are true next uh, equals method meant for content comparison in string class but the case also must be important if you don't want to consider case if you want to ignore case then we can go for equals ignore case method equals ignore ignore case method we require to take remember that this knowledge must be compulsory you should aware sir okay now what is the what is the first option second option sir in all possible options what will happen i will i will show for you right sir first string s1 is equal to java java sir where the object will be created have you remembered string s1 is equal to java the object will be created in scp because it is the lateral lateral that's why sir java java this one will be created inside scp area next uh, string s2 is equal to new string of java new string of java here this object will be created in heap area because a new operator right s2 is pointing to this one s2 is pointing one is pointing to scp the second one is pointing to sir heap object right okay well so one more just this java for the future purpose will be will be added to scp also okay ignore no problem now first condition sir string s3 is equal to s2 if s1 double equal to s3 string s3 is equal to s2 so s3 also point into s2 object string s3 is equal to s2 s3 is also point into s2 if s1 double equal to s3 
sir s1 and s3 both are not pointing to the same if both are not pointing to the same this condition returns false okay if this if condition returns false else spot is going to execute not equal is going to be printed but our requirement is what equal that's why option 1 is the invalid let me show this one have a look once here yet a line one sir code is the same same code only string s1 is equal to java string s2 is equal to new string of java yet a line one what i'm taking what i'm trying to take is yet a line one just uh, these two lines i want to take sir string s3 is equal to okay at line one this code i'm taking sir at line one this is the code these two lines i'm taking so if i can take these two lines what output we are going to get s1 double equal to s3 both are not pointing to the same object returns false if it returns false else part is going to execute else part means not equal like this right sir now happily the code compiles fine what the answer by default we are going to get sir simple not equal is the output we are going to get so it is uh, not our requirement okay option 1 is the very clear for you people right it is not going to print equal it is going to print not equal that's why it is not our required option second one sir legend carefully legend legend a bit carefully second one sir sir here i added because of first option this is now this is the original content s2 point into heap s1 point into java now second option if s1 dot equal ignore case of s2 s1 dot equal ignore case of s2 sir have you remember equal ignore case means content comparison where case is not important s1 dot equal ignore case of s2 yes man returns a true because same content even though case is the different no problem yes this condition returns a true sir if this condition returns a true what is the output sir equal oh our required output is coming man that's why b is the correct answer of course c and d i will explain don't worry have a look once now yet a line 1 let me take second option sir what is the second option i'm taking if s1 equals dot equals ignore case like this i'm taking s1 s1 dot equals ignore case of s2 s2 like this right sir what is the output we are going to get sir here lejan observe carefully equal is the answer because s1 and s2 having the same content but the case is the different no problem because we use or equal ignore case that's why second option perfectly it's going to work okay why the third and fourth options are invalid let me cross check even i too don't know observe that sir string s3 is equal to s2 string s3 is equal to s2 s3 is also pointing to the same if s1 dot equals of s3 s1 dot equals of s3 s1 dot equals of s3 equals me the worry about case also here this case is the different this case is the different that's why returns false if it is going to returns false then we are going to get what not equal clear right not equal is the answer we are going to get that's why so this option is wrong option let me show let me show this one sir here lejan very carefully third option what i'm trying to take this is at the line 1 i have to take these two lines sir these two lines right so s1 dot equals of s3 contain comparison case is also important but here case is the difference is there that's why the answer we are going to get not equal remember this one what the answer we are getting sir not not equal okay like this right so that's why but our requirement is equal that's why this option is the wrong okay well sir what is the fourth option we have to take very important observe carefully sir why the fourth option is the wrong here s1 dot to two lower case s1 dot to two lower case yes boss there is a change in the content s1 dot two lower case can you please convert into lower case sir on the string if we are calling a method because of that method if there is a change in the content compulsory new object will be created in the heap area that's why this is the new object created in the heap area okay well sir s2 dot to two lower case s2 dot two lower case means s2 
no change in the content that's why same object will be reused so here have you observed s1 dot two lower case means this one s2 dot two lower case means this one so both are double equal double equal means uh, reference comparison but uh, these are objects are different even content is the same objects are different uh, that's why returns false only because of s1 dot 2 lower case compulsory a new object will be created in the heap area s2 dot 2 lower case no new object this object is the different this object is the different even content is the same double equal operator meant for reference comparison that's why what is the answer we are going to get false false is the answer if it is the false not equal that's why let me cross check fourth one let me let me cross check sir fourth option this is the option we have okay now we have a look ones what is the output by default you are going to get sir false false itself means not equal because this condition fails that's why not equal so to print equal to print equal which which of the following we have to insert at line one means uh, this is the code b this is the code we require to take care everyone can aware a bit dangerous man take special care to understand this uh, terminology okay well In the last videos, we covered very clear discussion, almost post mortem about string concept. Have you remembered, right, sir? Just what is immutability? Immutability, even related to string buffer also. Everywhere I compared, almost around uh, 15 to 18 videos, 20 videos around we discussed about string concept, right? Sir, now the next concept what we have to discuss is. string buffer concept are you getting what is the words are can i can spell out string buffer buffer concept right so the first point you people should be aware already string is there why we should go for string buffer so where string is not good there are some situations where we are not required where we are not recommended to use a string concept to handle such type of situations we should go for string buffer okay obviously but where string concept is not suitable okay well suppose assume if the content is fixed content is fixed what to change frequently sir content is always fixed it's not going to change frequently at run time happily you can go for string concept right if the content is not fixed keep on changing are you getting if the content is not fixed keep on changing never recommended to use string concept what is the reason is sir suppose assume assume that i have one string is there durga is there sir okay one string string s is equal to durga like this s is durga is there if the content is fixed it never going to change frequently happily you can go for string concept right but uh, content keep on changing keep on changing never recommended to go for string concept what is the reason for that is suppose if i can take if i can take string s is equal to durga durga sir after that i want to concat software i want to concat soft soft like this right so s dot concat s dot concat of soft i'm taking so if you, if the content i want to get soft if you want to add soft compulsory a new object by default will be created are you getting with this change because the reason a string object is immutable in the existing object you are not allowed to change the content that's why because of this a new string object will be created okay like sir after that again i want to check yes dot concat a ah, sir where also i want to add sir yes dot concat of where then automatically for the again a uh, new object will be created durga software like sir now solutions also i want to add again a new object by default will be created with the durga software solutions like so means that if the content is not fixed keep on changing never recommended to use string concept right what is the reason is for every change 
compulsory a new object will be created a new object will be created suppose if the content you are changing 10 times 10 times 10 new objects will be created internally unnecessary performance is going to be down memory problems also will come in the picture that's why when we should go for string concept when we should go for when we should not use string concept you should have clear clarity content is always fixed never going to change at runtime like city name like a college name college name it's not going to be changed throughout project same content only address address of the college throughout the application same address only will be there same city name only will be there so that's why if the content is always fixed never going to change frequently better to go for which concept string concept right if the content keep on changing then never recommended to go for okay string concept to handle this type of requirement we should go for string buffer remember this one if the content keep on changing happily we can go for string buffer like then immediately mask when compared with the string what is the advantage we are getting with the string buffer when compared with this string what advantage you are going to get yes man in the case of string for every change compulsory new object new object new object but in the case of string buffer all required changes will be performed in existing object only suppose assume it is a string buffer object assume it is a string buffer object durga sir later i want to append a soft so for that a new object is not required to create in the existing object only soft will be added later i want to add where soft where okay in the existing object only sir later i want to add solutions in the existing object only we can write so all required changes will be performed in the existing object only that is the biggest advantage of string buffer concept if it is a string buffer how many objects are going to be created even you are performing 10 times a change only one object will be created because all required changes will be performed in the existing object only clear right but if it is a string buffer but if it is a string buffer if it is a string concept for every small change also new object new object new object memory waste performance is going to be down that's why even string concept is the too good but certain area string concept is not good where sir if the content keep on changing never recommended to go for string concept to handle this requirement we should go for string buffer everyone can able to understand can you please tell in a single word what is the biggest advantage of string buffer when compared with a string all required changes will be performed in existing object only regarding all required changes will be performed in existing object only for every small change new object is not going to be created so for such type of requirements we should go for string buffer concept any doubt clear when we should go for string when we should go for string buffer last video we covered when we should go for string buffer already string concept is there now i have to explain what are various important constructors are there in string buffer observe that sir important constructors of string buffer but uh, before discussion of these constructors there is one small point i have to discuss what is that is very important sir if i can take string s is equal to durga or new string of durga i am taking sir no issue either literal style or even with the new operator yes no issue sir durga, string s is equal to new string of durga now we are creating what string object yes what is the content what is the content durga is the content now i want to create string buffer object string buffer object for the same content string buffer sb string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga like this i am taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga like this right now here if you observe s sub b is the reference variable for the durga okay well 
there is one small point you have to highlight you require to understand this point sir sir once we create string object is there any chance to change its content no no string object is always what immutable are you getting string object is always what immutable you can't change the content now if you can't change the content then the length what is the length sir 5 5 what is the capacity what is the capacity capacity of this string is always 5 only 5 only because you can't add something you can't remove something are you getting right so whatever number of characters are there at the beginning that is the final are you getting so that's why length means 5 capacity means 5 you can't add some other this is the only capacity that's why capacity such a type of terminology is the same as a length that's why in string we never going to use the word capacity because length capacity everything is always same size everything is always same right but for the string buffer there is a small difference is there can you please tell what is the length what is the length how many characters are there yes length is 5 sir length is 5 so now is it possible to add some more characters or not yes you can add in the case of string buffer you can you can add you can add something in the existing object only sir max how many how many characters it can accommodate this is string of buffer how many characters it can able to accommodate that the number of characters is called capacity are you getting it? that number of characters is called capacity remember this one that's why length concept is the different capacity concept is the different length means the number of characters already present but capacity means total how many characters this object can able to hold this string buffer can able to hold is called capacity suppose best example there is a classroom is there sir assume assume carefully there is a classroom is there in this classroom max 100 members can able to accommodate 100 100 members can able to accommodate can can accommodate sir capacity of this 100 members so total how many students can sit in this classroom 100 members but currently only 20 members only there only 20 members only there remaining 80 chairs are vacant can you please tell sir if it is the string of buffer what is the length what is the capacity observe the difference right length means currently how many students are there in this classroom currently how many characters are there okay this 20 members is the length is the length next uh, sir total how many members can accommodate can accommodate this classroom can accommodate total how many members uh, is a 100 members up to 100 members you can sit man this 100 is a nothing but capacity remember this one so if it is a string uh, you can't add something you can't remove something so that's why capacity such a type of terminology generally we never going to discuss in the case of string but in the case of string buffer length is the different capacity is the different please make sure you should have clear clarity any doubt are you in the position to understand right okay so that's all so while talking about constructors this a small point you have to be aware in string buffer length is the different constructor is the different clear right now let me explain the constructor of string buffer sir first constructor okay observe carefully string buffer string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer sir we are creating an empty string buffer object sir an empty string buffer object but what is the default initial capacity very very important sir what is the default initial capacity is 16 is the default initial capacity are you getting once we create an empty string buffer object how many objects how many characters it can able to accommodate 16 characters it can able to accommodate remember that suppose sub this 16 characters completed suppose assume that 16 characters completed completed so if the string buffer is full but still we are trying to add 17th character 
17th character. What will happen is, in the case of collections, what will happen, same concept is going to be happening here. One such string of buffer is full, full of its capacity. A new string of buffer object will be created. A new string of buffer object will be created with a bigger capacity. All these 16 characters will be copied. Plus this 17th character will be placed, will be placed under this SB point into this object. Are you getting? Now automatically this object by default eligible for garbage collection. But this total thing is going to be happen internally. We are not required to worry. Are you getting? But uh, so for the for the existing, so you can able to add, you can able to accommodate. But internally, a new object will be created with a bigger capacity. This total is going to be happen internally. Now my question is, take very special care. What is the capacity of this new of this new okay string of buffer object? Very simple new capacity is equal to new capacity is equal to current capacity current capacity plus one Cur current capacity plus one into two sir current capacity plus one into two into two sir the 16 already completed 16 plus one 17 17 into two its value is nothing but one 34 are you getting 16 plus 1, 17 into 2, its value is 34. Everyone can able to understand? Observe very carefully, sir. Now, once 16 completed, what is the next capacity? 34. Assume 34 also completed. 34 also completed. Now, a bigger string buffer object will be created. What is the capacity of this one, sir? So, very simple. Current capacity plus 1 into 2. Current capacity 34 plus 1 into 2 means uh, 70 is the next capacity. So, at the beginning 16 capacity, next uh, 34 capacity, next uh, 70 capacity. Sir, these are internal things at memory level, what will happen? But anyway, I will show all these things with, with respect to the program. Don't worry, sir. Code wise, uh, I, will, I will execute and I will show these capacities also, right? Sir, now just uh, let me show with a small example so that we can we can able to understand a bit clearly like you people may feel. Here, see this one. See, observe carefully, right? I want to create an empty string of buffer object. Are you getting? I am creating an empty string of buffer object. String of buffer S B is equal to new string of buffer. That's all I created an empty string buffer object. Now I will ask, hey, what is the capacity of this string buffer? What is the default initial capacity? Respond man, why you are silent? What is the default initial capacity? Default initial capacity is 16. Default initial capacity is 16. Now, system.out.println sb dot capacity. Are you getting sb dot capacity? Then what is the default initial capacity? 16. Practical proof internally. What is the default initial capacity? If I execute this code, 16 is the answer we are going to get. Clear right? Do you want me to execute? Observe carefully. Here. Here observe that a bit carefully, sir. String of buffer. SP is equal to new string of buffer system.out.println sb dot capacity okay now let me execute this code sir the code compiles fine the code compiles fine and uh, what is the output we are going to get sir do you know 16 16 itself is the answer are you getting what the answer we are going to get 16 itself is the answer so the important conclusion what is the default initial capacity for the single buffer 16 clear now let me add 16 characters okay sb sb dot append sb dot append append a append a a b c d e f g i j k l m n o p <laughs> are you getting so total how many characters are there can you please count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 
regarding total 16 characters I added sir okay well so after adding 16 characters what is the capacity what is the capacity system dot out dot print and sb dot capacity sb dot capacity after adding 16 characters what is the capacity sir sir very simple the capacity is still 16 only because the reason is when the new string buffer object will be created whenever we are trying to add 17th character but up to 16 16 only sir it can able to accommodate 16 characters no problem at all now what is the capacity 16 only okay well sir now let me add let me add the 17th character regarding sb done append a here q i'm taking sir so up to p 16 character now i'm trying to add 17th character whenever string of buffer reaches its max capacity a bigger string of buffer object will be created internally with the what capacity sir current capacity plus one into two current capacity plus one into two now system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity sb dot capacity if i can take like this what is the answer sir 16 plus 1 into 2 its value is 34 remember that its value is 34 sir where is the proof can you please execute this code like you may ask observe carefully right here sir let me add let me add some characters sp dot append of a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p okay total 16 characters i added are you getting 16 16 characters i added right after adding 16 characters what is the capacity what is the capacity now have you observed right still 16 only still 16 only okay now let me add the 17th character are you getting so if i'm trying to yard 17th character sir default initial capacity full full a new string of buffer object will be created with the new capacity current capacity plus one into 16 plus one into two means 34 now observe what is the answer we are going to get okay here happily the code compiles fine now the capacity will become 34 are you getting right sir any doubt any doubt up to this now how many characters it can able to accommodate sir 34 characters it can able to accommodate now okay now let me add 34 characters let me add 34 already 17 is there 17 is there now let me add let me add okay another 17 okay another 17 17 17 plus 17 what is about total 34 characters 17 plus 17 total 34 34 right sir 34 what is the capacity so up to 34 up to 34 it has capacity right that's why no problem until 34 it can able to accommodate right what is the answer what is the answer here observe carefully observe carefully still 34 only still 34 only okay let me add the 35th character 35th character so 34 max capacity already completed still you are trying to add 35th character what will happen sir 34 current capacity plus 1 into 2 into 2 34 plus 1 35 35 into 2 means uh, 70 capacity this is the next level capacity right now let me cross check here what i'm trying to take is okay happily the code compiles fine now it will become 70 are you now it will become 70 this is what uh, you people should be aware how the growable nature is coming for the string of buffer because of internal this story clear right what is the default initial capacity for string buffer respond what is the default initial capacity for string buffer 16 if a string buffer reaches its max capacity a bigger string buffer object is going to be created with what capacity current capacity plus one 
into 2 is the formula. You people should aware clearly. Sir, I hope practical proof also I covered. Do you know, I thought that in my regular classes, unnecessary, this much internal things I am explaining, like that I felt unnecessary student time, I am wasting, like I have some feeling. One fine day, one student came, sir, today I attended interview, in the interview room, interview person asked, what is the default initial capacity for string buffer? So once a string buffer reaches its max capacity, internally what will happen? Can you please explain? Then immediately, this person already aware, he explained, he gave left and right to the interview person, interview person felt very happy. So sometimes in the interview room, you require to talk about these internal things also. That's why you people should have clear clarity about this terminology. So first constructor, is the clear for all of you, right? Well, String buffer, the first constructor is the very clear, right? So, string buffer SB is equal to new string buffer of default initial capacity 16. What is the incremental capacity? 16 will become 34, 34 will become 70. Like that I covered very clearly, right? Sir, so sometimes my requirement is, I know, I know 1000 characters I want to add in this string buffer. 1000 character I want to add, then first create 16, under then 34, under then 70, under then 142, under then 286, okay like uh, never be recommended, unnecessary performance is going to be down, keep on create, 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 create new object, performance is going to be down, memory problem will be there, why don't you create a bigger string buffer object at the beginning only. Regarding you know 1000 characters we are going to add, then obviously create a bigger string buffer object at the beginning only. So we have such a type of flexibility also. What is that? Is string buffer, string buffer, buffer S of B is equal to new string buffer of string buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of in the in the initial capacity in the initial capacity sir how much capacity you require how much capacity you require thousand capacity i require specify then a bigger string buffer object will be created at the beginning only so like a thousand sir let me show this one have a look once i want to create i want to create string buffer with a thousand capacity so if i'm not mentioning here any any capacity what the default capacity please respond what the default capacity 16 16 okay let me compile let me compile yes what the answer we are getting 16 is the answer sir sir i want thousand capacity i want thousand capacity now now what is the capacity a bigger string buffer object got created with how much capacity sir thousand that's why if i can ask sp dot capacity thousand by default you are going to get observe Carefully here, see. Now, what the answer we are going to get, sir? Sir, thousand. Is it clear for all of you, right? So, based on our requirement, we can create bigger string buffer object at the beginning only if you want to add more number of characters. Okay, well. Sir, now, what is the next thing we have to discuss? Sir, once a thousand completed, once a thousand completed, Whenever we are trying to add 1000 one character, then a bigger string buffer object will be created with the current capacity plus 1 into 2. The formula is always same. So up to 1000 characters rule, happily you can add. So once 1000 characters completed, then only the formula will come in the picture. Okay, well. Sir, so next, the third one. Okay. Take very special care, a bit a dangerous thing, a bit a dangerous constructor, observe that. Have you remembered, for the given string buffer, I want to create an equivalent string object. In the string class constructors I covered, string s is equal to new string of string buffer. For the given string, I want to create an equivalent string buffer. Sir, this is about my requirement. For the given string, String, can you please create an equivalent string buffer? How you can? String buffer, string buffer, 
एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर आफ न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर आफ सर स्ट्रिंग एस रिगार्डिंग स्ट्रिंग एस सर नौ फॉर द गिवन स्ट्रिंग एन इक्वेल स्ट्रिंग बफर विल बी क्रिकेटेड रिगार्डिंग फॉर द गिवन स्ट्रिंग एन इक्वेल स्ट्रिंग बफर विल बी क्रिकेटेड बट हिय वन स्मॉल ट्विस्ट इज देर वट इज दिस्ट इज यू हेव टू ऐडेंटिफाई वट इज दट वन इज अबर्व दट अबर्व वेरी केरफुली सर स्ट्रिंग बफर एस बी इज ईक्वल टू न्यू स्ट्रिंग बफर आफ दुर्गा वैलिड आर नॉट वैलिड फॉर द गिवन स्ट्रिंग आम क्रिएटिंग एन इक्वेल स्ट्रिंग बफर आबजेक्ट ओके नौ सिस्टम डाट औट डाट प्रिंट एस बी डाट कैपैसीटी एस बी डाट कैपैसीटी फॉर द आंसर अरे रेस्पॉन्ड मैन वर द आंसर एस बी डाट कैपैसिटी वर द कैपैसिटी ऑफ दिस स्ट्रिंग बफर फाइव इज द कैपैसिटी आर सिक्सटीन इज द कैपैसिटी आर सिक्सटीन इंटू फाइव एटी इज द कैपैसिटी आर सिक्सटीन प्लस फाइव ट्वेंटी वन इज द कैपैसिटी कैन यू प्लीज कंफर्म वर द आंसर वी आर गोइंग टू गेट so what is the what is the capacity for this string buffer default initial capacity is 16 now that 16 story is applicable in this constructor or not yes i'm sure among these four options definitely two options we can able to remove two two options you can remove if i can ask the same question in my offline sessions huh? everyone is going to tell sir very simple can you please remove these two The answer can be either five or sixteen. Either five because five characters are there. Durga, D U R G A. Five characters are there. That is the capacity. Or otherwise, default initial capacity sixteen. Maybe sixteen is the capacity like. So please make sure if you are creating string buffer for the given string, what is the what is the capacity of this string buffer is hmm, five or sixteen. Get something. Hey, get something. Keep keep one answer in your mind. Five or sixteen. Hundred percent paka. The answer is twenty-one. <laughs> Are you getting what the answer, sir? Twenty-one itself is the answer. How, sir? How like? Very simple. Observe the formula. String buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of string S. Creates an equivalent string buffer for the given string with the capacity is equal to with the capacity is equal to yes a dot length yes a dot length what is the length of the string plus a sixteen this is the capacity yes a dot length plus a sixteen this is the formula which is going to be happen internally now. Sir, what is the s dot length? S dot length means five, five, five plus a sixteen. Its value is twenty-one. Sir, is it real? Can you please execute and show? You people may ask. Now observe carefully. Here, string buffer S B is equal to new string buffer of Durga. Are you getting Durga? S B dot capacity. Okay. What is the answer we are going to get? Observe very carefully, sir. Is it five or sixteen or twenty-one or eighty? Observe. What is the answer we are getting? Twenty-one itself is the answer. I hope everyone can able to see. So these are three constructors present inside string buffer class. Of course, one more is there. Not that much important. Mainly these constructors are there. What is the first one? Default initial capacity sixteen. Next, the second one with the specified initial capacity. Third one, third one, sir, create an equivalent string buffer for the given string. 
width of capacity is equal to s dot length plus 16 these are the things what you people should be aware related to constructors concept clear right all the people are in a position to understand yes the last videos we covered very clearly constructor of string buffer now let me talk about what are various important methods are there related to string buffer object okay very very simple the first method the first method public public int length are you getting what the first methods are length length means how many characters present in string buffer are you getting it is the length length number of characters already i told next uh, sir public public int capacity are you getting public int capacity capacity sir now capacity means uh, total how many characters string buffer can accommodate total how many how many characters a string buffer can accommodate is the capacity capacity of the string buffer okay well sir now third one sir already this method we discussed uh, in string case same method public public care public care sir care yet public care care yet yet character yet specified index character yet specified index index like this right suppose i am taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga like this i am taking system dot out dot print then sb dot sb dot char yet r three three sir in the string class same example we took i hope you remembered sb dot char yet of three yet the third index which character is there are you getting a third index which character is there 0 1 2 3 ok 3 means uh, G is uh, there sir ok well now system dot out dot print then s of b dot uh, char get of 30 s b dot char of 30 30 in the case of string we got string index out of bounds exception have you remembered string index out of bounds exception because 30 index not possible here 0 to 4 is the only valid range of indexes total 5 characters means 0 to 4 now sp dot caret of 30 30 like this right now what is the which character locating at 30 index 30 index is not there that's why immediately we are going to get exception can you please tell which exception we are going to get huh. string index out of bounds exception or string buffer index out of bounds exception can you please guess what is this concept is it the string concept or string buffer is it string or string buffer string buffer that's why we are going to get string huh. can you please tell string buffer index string buffer index out of out of out of bounds exception string buffer index out of bounds exception but make sure there is no such type of exception in java we have only string index out of bounds exception only whether it is the string or string buffer we are always going to get what string index out of bounds exception okay let me show this caret method observe that sir here sb string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga sb dot sb dot char get sb dot caret caret of 3 i am taking sir if i can take sp dot caret of 3 3 what is the answer 3 what is the answer g g itself is the answer sir now sp dot caret of 30 30 i am taking if i can take 30 yes the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what the answer sir it is the string index out of bounds exception string index out of bounds exception 
but not a string of buffer index out of bounds exception are you getting so there is no string of buffer index out of bounds exception just a simply string index out of bounds exception everyone can able to understand right so which methods are there length method capacity method care get the method you should aware so the next important method related to string buffer observe that here public void the return type of this method is void sir set set char yet set char yet can you please set character yet int index comma char new char char new char like this right what is the meaning of this one whatever character locating at this index can you please replace uh, with this character can you please replace uh, set uh, set uh, char yet uh, can you please uh, replace the character present at specified index uh, with uh, this uh, new character that's about my requirement right okay how you can very simple very simple here string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of java like this i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of java like now sb dot set char yet sb dot set char yet boss can you please share sir get zero index character zero index character with the y with the y y like this can you please replace the character present get a zero index zero index means j can you please replace this with the y okay now system dot out dot print ln s of b so here java zero eth character replace with the y now automatically what is the answer by default you are going to get sir java don't ask what is java sir just i am telling some small example for you have a look once sir here string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of java is there sb dot set the char get of zero can you please replace the character locating at zero index with this of y sop of sb what answer we are going to get sir the code compiles fine very simple the answer is yava itself is the answer we are going to get clear friends any doubt so this is set the char get the method okay next the most commonly used method you people you people should be aware sir append method append method even we use multiple times append method sir append for string buffer append is the most commonly used method public public the return type of string buffer uh, append method is string buffer only public string buffer append append is the method append can you please confirm what is the output for the append method i mean what is the argument for the append method hmm -hmm. what the argument sb dot append of software something like are you getting so string is the argument string is a is the argument like this right observe append method string is the argument now take a bit very special care the append method argument need not be string you can take any type boolean you can take string value you can take int value you can take byte value you can take there are multiple append methods are available okay append append of byte value you can take next uh, int value you can take long value you can take are you getting float value you can take double value you can take so multiple append methods are available okay all these methods if you observe method and name is the same but the arguments are different method and name is the same but the arguments are different this type of concept is called overloading these methods are called what overloaded methods are you getting overloaded methods remember this one sir now let me go for a small chota example then you can able to understand right but please make sure 
there are multiple append methods are available for the string buffer all these methods any type of argument you can append for the string buffer acceptable okay here very very simple example let me take sir i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer i'm not taking anything sir sb dot sb dot append of append of pi pi value is i'm taking sir pi value is okay what is this one what the argument i'm passing string argument so append method string argument is allowed next uh, sb dot uh, append of append of 3.14 i'm taking now which argument i'm passing double argument 3.14 is what type double type double type right now sb dot append of pi value is 3.14 sb dot append a it is uh, it is exactly it is exactly exactly again string argument sp dot append a true true i'm taking sir true means boolean value are you getting so method is the same sometimes string argument sometimes double argument sometimes string argument sometimes boolean argument now system dot out dot println of sb are you getting sop of sp what is the answer sir pi value is 3.14 it is exactly true this is the answer by default we are going to get so don't feel append is always going to applicable only for string argument for double argument boolean argument int values like for any type of argument happily you are allowed to take for append method let me execute this code have a look once here i am taking sir string buffer sb is equal to like this sir sb dot append a uh, sp dot append of pi value is pi value is is like i'm taking pi value is sir here sp sp dot append a uh, sp dot append a uh, sir 3 point pi value is 3.14 3.14 sir it is it is exactly it is exactly next and after that it is exactly true true i'm taking sir it's exactly true like observe that so sometimes we are adding string argument sometimes we are adding double argument sometimes string argument sometimes double argument right yes op of yes b for the answer by default you are going to get just have a look once observe carefully sir now pi value is 3.14 it is exactly true like this it's going to provide means that sir any type of argument happily we are allowed to take for the string buffer any doubt are you in a position to understand right clear in the case of append the data is always going to be at at last position every time at last next 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 slide but now my requirement is boss i don't want to add my data in the last position can you please add the at a specified location second index third index like i want to specify then we should go for insert method are you getting then we should go for what insert insert method right public public string public string of buffer public string of buffer insert insert of int index int index comma string s yes. can you please insert this string at this index position at this index position like this right do you know get the specified index in the middle maybe in the second index fourth index onward i want to add then we should require to go for insert is the method but append is always going to add at last but i don't want at last at the beginning our second index position third index position i want to do that then we should go for insert method okay like right? sir for the insert also you can take sir any argument type need not be string always need not be string always int index comma comma double value comma double value comma 
boolean value are you getting boolean value next uh, char value like uh, sir you can so insert the uh, method is the same argument types are different instead of string you can take double instead of double you can take boolean char that's why it is also overloaded methods are you getting it's also overloaded methods so multiple overloaded insert methods are there multiple overloaded append methods are there sir it is exactly same as append only only different instead of adding content at last it is going to add at our specified position beyond that nothing let me go for a small example here observe that i am taking string buffer sp is equal to new new string buffer of a b c d e f g h this is about my string buffer content now s b s b dot insert s b dot insert of two comma x y z i am taking sir can you please add x y z at a second index place at second index place like so if i print s o p of s b what the answer sir so 0 and 1 index a b a b and then get second index uh, x y z like that second index onwards now the remaining c d e f g h this is the output sir observe that so x y z where it is added sir second index position like this right sir it is the need not be string if you want you can take boolean value if you want you can take int value you can take double value acceptable right let me show this one have a look once here i am taking so string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of abcd efgh sb dot insert of at a second position at second position just i am trying to add x y z are you getting at a second position i am trying to add x y z sir sop of sb now have a look once sir the code compiles fine the code compiles fine what is the answer sir have you observed a b x y z and then c d e f g h observe that where x y z added at the second index position onwards this x y z added sir instead of string you can add anything sir boolean value i want to add true true i want to add can you please scratch check where true got added okay have you observed right a b here true came in the middle are you getting true came in the middle suppose instead of true 10 point 10 point 5 6 i'm taking sir now have a look once now have a look once 10 point 5 6 uh, added at the second index position onwards so insert the method is exactly same as exactly same as append method but the only difference is sir append is always going to add at last but the insert is always going to add at our specified position clear sir now it's very clear what is append what is insert what is the difference between these two things right sir now next method if you can able to insert the data you can perform delete also sir you can insert you can delete content also from the string buffer because it is mutable right happily you can allow to change the content that's why delete also possible if you want to delete data from the string buffer what is the way here very simple public public string buffer public string buffer okay delete delete of int begin int begin comma int end are you getting int begin comma int end sir it deletes characters it deletes characters from begin index to it deletes the characters from begin index to end minus 1 index it deletes the characters from begin index to end minus 1 index remember this one sir begin index to end minus 1 index okay like this right so can you let me explain a small example then you can able to understand but make sure not end end minus 1 index 
suppose i am taking string buffer string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of a b c d e f g h are you getting string buffer sb is equal to like sir sb dot sb dot here delete delete of sb dot delete delete of sir here very very simple i'm taking some 225 sb dot delete of 225 225 like this i'm taking sir now system dot out dot print ln sb are you getting sop of sb what the answer sir 225 means 224 begin to n minus 1 Begin to n minus one, two to four, two to four means uh, which one, sir? Can you please observe? Two, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, this part by default will be gone. Now what is the answer we are going to get? A B F G H. Are you getting A B F G H by default we are going to get? So to delete the characters from begin index to end minus one index like this, right? Sir, let me let me cross check this one. Have a look once here. A B C D E F G H S B dot delete two two five two two five. If I delete from two to five two to five means a two two. Five minus one means four. Two to four characters by default will be removed, sir. By default, by default will be deleted. Remember that. That's why, sir. What is the output we are going to get? Observe that. Two to five character. Two to four characters by default will be removed, sir. A B F G H is the answer we are going to get. So everyone can bear. What is the purpose of delete? Delete means that right. Okay, well. Sir, now next point. Take very special case, sir. I want to delete only one character, which is locating yet a fourth index, or which is locating yet a fifth index. Sir, normal delete method to delete a group of characters. No, I don't want to delete. Can you please delete char yet fourth index or delete character yet fifth index? Like what is the way? Very simple. Public, public. string buffer public string buffer delete delete char yet delete char yet have you observed delete character yet int index int index automatically the character locating yet specified index by default will be deleted only that particular character will be deleted right now have a look once have a look once a b c d e f g h like this right yes b dot delete char yet yes b dot delete char yet of 3 i am taking sir 3 3 can you please tell which character is available at third index respond which character is available at third index 0 1 2 3 okay d is there automatically d by default will be removed sir now let me print uh, sop of sb what the answer we are going to get a b c e f g h like this we are going to get sir d by default will be gone observe carefully here have a look once let me execute this code sir public delete char get okay Delete char yet delete char yet sir what is the index I am taking sir delete char at of three three sir so yet the third index means sir zero one two three okay D character by default will be deleted D character by default will be deleted now have a look once have a look once what is the answer sir what is the answer we are going to get A B C E F G H D by default will be gone. Everyone in the position to understand clearly. So what is a delete under delete care yet? Okay, like. So now next method very important. I want to reverse the order. I want to reverse the content. Content like what is the way? So in string we are not having a reverse method. But in string buffer reverse method is there. 
public public string buffer reverse method regarding what is the method name reverse method then the order of characters will be reversed automatically what is the method name reverse method right sir let me go for a small example a small example then you can able to get sir string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of durga new string buffer of durga sb dot reverse sb dot reverse reverse like this right now system dot out dot print ln of sp sop of sp sir what is the answer sir durga durga reversed reversed then automatically sir a g okay r u d by default we are going to get sir only order of characters will be reversed not character sir a is there after reversal then a will become something like this no <laughs> characters won't be reversed sir only order will be reversed agreed like this is the output we are going to get so reverse how to reverse the content okay have a look once what is the method string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of durga sp dot reverse Yes, be dot reverse, reverse like this. I am taking, sir. Now, what the answer we are going to get, sir? Here, very simple, sir. A grod. Are you getting? Instead of Durga, now it is reverse, sir. A G R U D like this. We are going to get clear, right? So this is just the how to delete, how to delete, how to delete a particular character, a group of characters, and how you can able to reverse the content of string buffer. Clear? Yes. Next set of important methods related to this string buffer. Three important methods are there. A bit special care you have to take. What is the first one? Set length. Second method, ensure capacity. Next, trim to size. What is the meaning of these three methods? I will discuss. Observe carefully. First method, sir. Public. Public. void public void set length what is the method set length of int length we have to specify public void set length of int length we require to specify what it means what is the meaning of this one sir very simple suppose assume i have string buffer is there it contain huge content it contain huge content i don't want all just i want only first five characters just i want only first eight characters something like so can you please set the length of this string buffer is eight eight if any extra characters are there remove i don't want if for less number of characters are there you add the space you add the spaces like sir i want exactly eight characters only eight characters length only for this string buffer like how you can set length method now string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer of assume that sir aishwarya aishwarya abhi abhi is there sir aishwarya abhi is there can you please tell how many characters are there there are almost around the 40 uh, 8 plus 4 okay maybe maybe 12 characters are there i'm, I'm not sure sir more number of characters are there but now my requirement is sb dot uh, set length sb dot set length of 8 of 8 sir i want only 8 characters only if any remaining characters are there can you please remove can you please remove something like uh, how you can sir abjad 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 up to aishwarya up to aishwarya eight characters will come the remaining four characters by default will be gone now system dot out dot print ln okay yes p what the answer we are going to get sir aishwarya like we are going to get are you getting if you want to set the length of the string buffer for the specified length happily we can go for what set length method clear let me execute this code observe carefully here i am taking here i am taking string buffer aishwarya aishwarya abhi like this i am taking sir sb dot 
set the length of 8 i am trying to take set length of 8 so sop of sp so first 8 characters only it is going to be considered are you getting first 8 characters only 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 only first 8 characters will be considered let me execute this code let me execute this code okay like very simple observe that observe carefully what the answer by default you are getting sir i swear you are like so terminology is very clear for you people right what is the purpose of set length method okay well next uh, one more method is there sir very dangerous very useful method like what is that method yes now observe that public void public void ensure capacity what is the method name ensure ensure capacity of int capacity ensure capacity of int capacity like this right sir what is the meaning of this one ensure capacity of int capacity what it means sir very simple very simple sir suppose assume i created an empty string buffer string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer can you please tell what is the default initial capacity respond what is the default initial capacity the default initial capacity is 16 16 an empty initial an empty string buffer object with the default initial capacity 16 sir okay well 16 like this now the next thing what we are going to sir after creating this i came to know that thousand characters we are going to add are you getting i came to know after already i created but now i realized that thousand characters we are going to add oh okay can you please increase dynamically based on your requirement sir i want to increase up to thousand thousand capacity i want to take that then sb dot ensure capacity are you getting sb dot ensure capacity ensure capacity of thousand are you getting how much capacity i, I ensured sp dot ensure capacity of thousand system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity like this i'm asking so if i can ask sp dot capacity now what is the capacity now it is not 16 it is a thousand remember so based on our requirement if you want to increase capacity dynamically then we require to go for what ensure capacity method any doubt any doubt are you in the position to understand let me execute this code observe carefully right here i'm taking sir string buffer sp is equal to new string buffer like sp dot capacity sp dot capacity capacity like this right sp dot capacity okay sir what is the default initial capacity ah, what the default initial capacity 16 you know you know already 16 is the default initial capacity right but now my requirement is sb dot ensure capacity ensure capacity of thousand sb dot ensure capacity of thousand now let me check uh, what is the capacity now here see this one what is the capacity capacity now observe at the beginning it is a 16 but uh, now sp dot set ensure capacity are you getting what the what the method there is a small mistake is there just observe a bit a bit very carefully am i doing any mistake one minute any any spelling mistake ensure have you observed have you observed ensure capacity ensure capacity sp dot ensure capacity Spe small spelling mistake is there what it is telling ensure are you getting there is a small spelling mistake is there a character don't worry sir now what is the answer we are going to get sir yes can you please scratch check now it is a thousand are you getting but at the beginning it is 16 but after executing this method it is a thousand like this right so what is the purpose of ensure capacity to increase capacity based on our requirement on fly then we can go forward ensure capacity clear right next there is one more method is available sir what the next method is okay 
very very important method take a bit special care scenario i will explain so that you people can able to understand easily right sir i am taking sb string buffer sb is equal to string buffer sb is equal to new string buffer of 1000 right to can you please tell what is the capacity of this string buffer respond man what is the capacity of this string buffer 1000 how many characters you can add 1000 characters you can add no problem because i thought the 1000 characters we are going to add to this string buffer that's why bigger string buffer object i created right okay well now sb dot append of okay a b c i append appended right now sir sop of sp dot capacity sp dot capacity it is a thousand only it is a thousand because up to thousand characters you can add but you added only three characters thousand characters you can add but only three character so what is the capacity thousand only thousand only right but now i realized that i want to add i don't want to add no more characters this is enough this is enough no more characters i don't want to add no more character then immediately what you about remaining 997 memory locations waste you took a thousand capacity string buffer you added only three and you won't add any more extra then the remaining 997 memory locations waste to deallocate that memory to deallocate that extra allocated memory what i have to take is sb dot sb dot can you please guess what is the method respond consider up to length only remaining memory allocated memory can you please deallocate sb dot trim trim to size what is the method name trim to size up to these three characters only it is going to consider remaining memory will be deallocated now let me cross check system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity sb dot capacity now what is the capacity sir only three capacity because the remaining 997 memory locations deallocated now capacity is the three length is the three like this right so to improve memory utilization even this type of support is also there in the case of string buffer so what is the next method sir public void void trim trim to size are you getting public void trim to size method extra allocated free memory can you please deallocate extra allocated free memory can you please deallocate then we should require to go for trim to size method any doubt are you in the position to understand clearly right this is what what you people should be aware clearly right let me execute this code observe carefully right here i'm taking string buffer sb is equal to sb is equal to string buffer of thousand thousand capacity i created sir sb dot append of a b c sb dot append of a b c like sir after adding three characters what is the capacity obviously thousand obviously thousand thousand capacity only okay let me execute let me execute what is the capacity thousand only right now i decided now now i decided i won't add any more characters i won't add any more characters yes be done trim to size trim to size yes be done trim to size like this right now system dot out dot print ln sb dot capacity are you getting what is the capacity now trim to size so all extra allocated all extra allocated free memory will be deallocated only three length capacity only it's going to consider remaining memory location will be deallocated then obviously what the answer we are going to get only three three capacity only observe that carefully sir here i'm taking now compiles fine the answer we are going to get only three 
Are you getting? Only three. I'm not printing length. I'm trying to print capacity only. Now the capacity will become one, three, three, like this, right? Okay. These are very important special methods for the string buffer. Set length method. So to consider only specified length. Extra characters will be removed automatically. Or if less number of characters are there, spaces will be added. Next, ensure capacity. To increase capacity, on fly based on number requirement, ensure capacity method. Trim to size, if any waste free memory is there, will be deallocated. So then we should require to go for trim to size. Clear, right? These are various important methods related to string buffer concept. Clear, right? Sir, in the last videos, we covered very clearly about string buffer, what methods are there, what constructors are there. It's very clear the behavior of string buffer. Sir, already string buffer is there. Why we should go for next level string builder? Okay, what is the next string builder? Builder, what is the need of this concept in Java? Very simple, there is a problem with the string buffer. Okay, there are some situations where string buffer cannot be used. Sir, what problem? What is the problem with the string buffer? Very simple, sir. Every method present inside string buffer is synchronized. Remember this. Every method present inside string buffer is a synchronized. Sir, you discussed several methods. You never wrote the synchronized keyword. Yes, I know I didn't try it. But at last, as a single line conclusion to conclude, now I'm telling sir. Every method present inside string buffer is synchronized. Sir, if a method is synchronized, at a time, how many threads are allowed to operate that method on the given object? Sir, only one thread. That's why only one thread. So, on the string buffer object, string buffer object, at a time, how many threads are allowed to operate? Only one thread. Only one thread. Once a first thread completed, then only second thread is going to get in the chance. Once a second thread completed, then only third thread will get the chance. The threads are required to execute one by one. It increases waiting time of the threads and the performance is going to be down man. Are you getting? So, what is the problem with the string of buffer? Every method present inside string buffer is a synchronized. Hence, at a time, only one thread is allowed to operate on the string buffer object. So, because of that, it increases waiting time of the thread and creates performance problems. To overcome this problem, in 1.5 version, some people, Java people, introduced a string builder concept. Are you getting what is the concept, sir? In Java, in 1.5 version, Sun people, Java people introduced a string builder concept, right? Okay? Sir, what the advantage? That part I will take care, don't worry. First, every method present inside string buffer is the synchronized or not. Let me show, sir. Observe carefully. Here I am taking Java P command to check profile of a particular class. Java dot, lang dot, string buffer I am taking. Java dot lang dot string buffer Java p Java dot lang dot string buffer buffer like this I am taking sir now observe now observe this one there are multiple methods are available sir have you observed multiple methods are there length method synchronizer capacity method synchronizer ensure capacity method synchronizer trim to size set length care get code point like a offset like a get cares like all these methods have you observed append 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 like a all these methods are synchronized methods only. Remember that. I hope you people are able to see synchronized. Synchronized here. I hope you can you can able to see synchronized here, sir. Synchronized, synchronized, synchronized. Like uh, everywhere you can able to see synchronized. So every method present inside string buffer is synchronized. At a time, only one thread is allowed to operate on the given synchronized string buffer object. So, mere 
performance problems and the increases wait in time of threads that's why for multi threaded environment string buffer concept cannot be used okay because performance wise it's going to be affected like anything to overcome this problem we should go for what string builder concept which came in 1.5 version clear right then what is the difference between string buffer and a string builder do you know just between string buffer and string builder only two differences are there how many differences right only two differences what is the first difference is listen carefully sir actually it is not a complete brand new concept the java people made a small change what is that is sir i have string buffer dot java file is there <laughs> what is this one can you please observe string buffer dot java file is there sir dot java file is there do you know what they did is what the java people did is they open string buffer dot java they open this one string buffer dot java first change what they did is wherever buffer is there replace with the builder <laughs> are you getting wherever buffer is there replace with the builder replace with the builder wherever synchronized keyboard is there okay remove that synchronizer keyboard wherever synchronizer keyboard is there remove that synchronizer keyboard now sir instead of string buffer save string builder dot java are you getting so it is not brand new concept so what they did is in the string buffer in the string buffer wherever synchronizer keyword is there remove that remove that now all the methods will become non synchronized wherever buffer word is there replace with a builder word beyond that nothing so that's why every method present inside string buffer is exactly same as string builder method only all constructors all methods exactly copy paste sir string buffer methods and constructors into string builder that's why for string builder we are not required to discuss any methods we are not required to discuss any constructor whatever constructors we covered in the case of string buffer same applicable for string builder whatever methods we covered append method insert method delete method like whatever methods we covered for the string buffer same methods copy paste in the string builder only one difference what is the difference they are synchronized method but these non synchronized methods in string builder that's why non synchronized version of string buffer is nothing but string builder sir multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously no problem at all if you have such a type of requirement better to go for what string builder sir at a time only one thread is allowed to operate data consistency problem at a time only one thread is allowed to operate then we should require to go for what string buffer concept observe the different non synchronized version string builder synchronized version string buffer but methods constructor everything is always the same like uh, no other difference right clear for all of you that's all string builder concept completed are you getting string builder you spend almost uh, 4 to 5 hours on string concept next uh, at least 1 hour or 1 and a half hour on string buffer but string builder matter of 2 minutes matter of 2 minutes only two changes remove synchronizer keyword replace buffer word with builder word nothing will be there sir clear now i will explain all differences between string buffer and string builder very important question for the entire room what is the difference between string buffer and string builder you should be in a position to answer very clearly right observe that observe carefully sir most of the methods present inside string buffer are synchronized almost every method almost every method present in sign ha huh? string buffer are synchronized are you getting but what you about string builder no method is synchronized string builder is non synchronized version of string buffer that's why no method present in sign string builder is a synchronized if you open synchronized string builder dot java you never going to see synchronized keyword first observe that carefully right next uh, sir hen yaz uh, every method is a synchronized uh, at a time how many threads are allowed to operate 
only one thread only one thread first thread once first thread completed then only second thread once a second thread completed then only third thread that's why thread safety is there for the string buffer object okay at a time only one thread is allowed to operate on string buffer object and hence it is a thread safe are you getting at a time only one thread is allowed to operate on string buffer object and hence it is the thread safe remember sir what about this one at a time multiple threads are allowed to operate because methods are not synchronized uh, threads are not required to wait uh, all the threads are allowed to operate simultaneously on the same string buffer object sir at a time multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously to operate on string builder object and uh, hence uh, it is not thread safe thread safety is not there for string buffer but the string builder but thread safety is there for the string buffer clear right okay well sir next uh, threads are required to wait to operate on string buffer object yes obviously threads are required to wait to operate on string buffer object and hence relatively performance is low sir after completing first thread then only second thread after completing second thread then only third thread threads are required to operate sir do you know one by one one by one performance is going to be down because threads are required to wait so until getting the chance performance is relatively performance is low but what about this one threads are not required to wait to operate on string builder object and hence relatively performance is high are you getting and hence relatively performance is high okay well sir next uh, introduced in which version sir string buffer from 1.0 version onward string buffer is there but string builder is the new concept which came in which version sir 1.0 5 version okay it is a newly added concept in the 1.5 but string buffer from beginning onwards it's already there clear for all of friend so what is the difference between string and string buffer and string builder the most valuable important question you should be in a position to give left and right to the interview person clear for all of right last videos we covered very clearly about the string string buffer string builder almost this is the time to combine the things sir here when we should go for string concept string buffer concept string builder concept can you please explain okay string versus string buffer versus string builder right sir very very simple when we should go for string concept just observe if the content is fixed sir content is not going to change if the content is fixed won't change frequently the content is not going to change frequently highly recommended better to go for string concept right so because if the content is always fixed highly recommended to go for string concept so because this same content can be reused multiple times we are not required to create separate new objects obviously performance improvement memory utilization by default will be improved that's why so if the content is fixed won't change frequently then we should go for what okay string concept okay well but uh, my requirement is observe that carefully content is not fixed content is not fixed keep on changing just like a comment 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 uh, tomorrow we can add edit the comment with some more add now we can remove some part of the comment like right? so it is not fixed keep on changing if the content is not fixed uh, keep on changing but but thread safety is required at a time only one thread is allowed to operate then we require to go for string buffer concept are you getting then we should go for string buffer concept okay when we should go for string buffer if the content is not fixed keep on changing but thread safety is required at a time only one thread is allowed to operate then we should go for string buffer because every method present inside string buffer is always synchronized at a time only one thread is allowed to operate that's why by default string buffer object is always thread safe sir i want thread safety 
content uh, keep on changing content is not fixed uh, then better to go for string buffer concept right okay then sir when we should go for string uh, builder concept when we should go for string builder very simple sir content is not fixed uh, keep on changing content is not fixed uh, keep on changing but i don't want the thread safety multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously on my object then we require to go for string builder concept are you getting if you don't want the thread safety and the content keep on changing then we require to go for string builder concept can you please tell how many threads are allowed to operate simultaneously how many threads are allowed to operate simultaneously multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously that's why then we should require to go for what string builder concept remember this one sir so if the content is fixed won't change frequently then string is the concept if the content is not fixed keep on changing then we can go for either string buffer or string builder if you want a thread safety string buffer if you don't want thread safety then would be better to go for what string builder clear for all of you now i have one small doubt can you please tell string object is it thread safe or not string object is it thread safe or not string buffer is always thread safe but string builder is not thread safe because multiple threads are allowed to operate simultaneously what about string object is it thread safe or not the people who don't know thread safety so just as of now assume sir we can't we can't uh, modify multiple people simultaneously okay such a type of nature is called thread safety in multi threading i will explain in detail sir can you please tell string is a thread safe or not respond is it thread safe or not okay string is always a thread safe always a thread safe the reason for that is once uh, we create a string object once uh, we create a string object we are not allowed to perform any changes in the existing object if any person trying to perform any change with that a new object by default will be created so is it possible to perform any changes in the existing object no no that's why so it is always it is always a thread safe not only string sir all immutable objects in java all wrapper class object tomorrow if you are going to create you were won't test class immutable object sir all immutable objects by default thread safe because no one is allowed to perform modification in the existing object clear right so when we should go for string when we should go for string buffer when we should go for string builder next and after the string and the string buffer objects are thread safe but string builder object is not a thread safe clear there is another beautiful concept related to string string buffer string builder method chaining what is the concept name method chain method chaining sir so for most of the methods present inside string class string buffer string builder the return types are same type only suppose if you consider string builder sir if i consider string builder class do you know string buffer and string builder all methods are always same all constructors are always same already i covered in the last session sir string builder append method if you consider what is the return type of append method is the string builder only next are reverse method if you consider what is the return type of reverse method string builder only next the insert method if you consider what is the return type string builder only reverse method okay delete method if you consider what is the return types are string builder only sir for most of the methods present inside string string buffer string builder the return types are always the same type that's why after applying a method after applying a method now which thing will be written string builder is going to be written same type will be written on that result you can call another method yes itself you can call another method so which forms a method chaining okay what it means observe that sir suppose i have string builder object is there assume that on this string builder i call m1 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 may be 
yeah append or reverse or delete something like sp.m1 if i call m1 method if i call m1 method m1 method return type is same string builder only that's why sir the return type is string builder again on the i want to call m2 on the return type of m2 again string builder on the result i am calling m3 method dot 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 are you getting this type of concept is nothing but method chaining are you getting for most of the methods present in string string buffer string builder return types are same type after applying a method on the result you can call another method after applying a method on the result you can call another method which forms a method chaining concept so in string string buffer string builder method chaining concept is very very common you people should be aware right okay let me go for a small example then you can get much clarity right here observe that here i am taking let me take a string builder okay string builder builder sb is equal to new string builder just i am creating an empty object just i am creating an empty string builder object sb dot sb dot append a uh, durga append a uh, durga 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 like this i am taking can you please tell sp dot append if sp is a string builder the return type is what string builder only on this again append method on this again append method of solutions durga solutions like sir now the return type of append is again string builder only now i am taking reverse method reverse method now the return type of reverse method e string builder only that's why on the i want to call insert the method are you getting i want to call insert the method at the two comma x y z like this what is the return type of insert method what is the return type of insert method string builder only on the again i want to call delete delete from 3 to 7 like this i am taking delete from 3 to 7 like dot 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 sir you can take one kilometer length method calls also no problem at all sir now take a bit very special care sir in the method chaining which method will be executed first uh, which method will be executed first sir left first m1 after that on the result m2 after that on the result m3 so in method chaining all method calls will be executed from left to right remember all method calls will be executed from left to right so first append next append next reverse next insert next delete like it's going to be executed now system dot out dot print ln yes b i'm taking now the result by default you are going to get everyone can able to understand right so this is sir is it going to work or not let me show this one have a look once sir i'm going to take a small example string builder string builder sb is equal to new string builder like this i'm taking sir with the string builder sb dot append of sb dot append of durga sir durga dot append of okay solutions durga solutions dot append a reverse reverse dot append a insert two comma x y z two comma x y z dot delete dot dot delete delete three comma seven something like this right okay sir s o p of s b s o p a s b what is the what is the result now what is the result now you can ask you can ask like this right sir now just uh, take a bit very special care okay first first here just uh, sp dot append of durga durga like this i am taking sir let me save this code d colon durga classes d colon durga durga classes i am taking okay d colon durga classes in the test dot java like this i saved sir okay just only durga is there what is the answer we are going to get java c test dot java java test what answer by default we are going to get durga durga perfectly it's going to work no problem right now on this dot append 
of solutions like this I am asking. Now Durga, now solutions also will be appended. What answer we are going to get sir? Durga solutions. Perfect. Durga solutions. Now on this result of Durga solutions, I want to perform reverse, reverse operation like this right. Now happily this Durga solutions by default will be reversed. Have you observed right? Durga solutions got reversed right. Now dot dot insert of 2 comma 2 comma x y z dot insert of 2 comma x y z like this right. Now observe that. Now observe this one. What answer by default you are going to get? Sir from second index onwards x y z added or not? Yes added. Now dot dot delete dot delete of delete of 3 comma 7. So from third index to Sir, 7 minus 1 means 3rd to 6. 3rd to 6 by default will be removed. 3rd index to 6th index will be removed, sir. 0, 1, 2. 3rd, 4, 5, 6. Sir, 3, 4, 5, 6. Y, Z, O, I by default got removed, sir. Are you getting? So, this is already removed. Like, you can call any number of methods. Any number of methods, no problem at all. This type of concept is called method chaining, which is the very common in the case of string, string buffer, string builder. Clear for all operate? So don't fail. Whenever you are seeing this type of lines, sir, we never saw this type of code. Oh, it is invalid. Compatible method, runtime exception. No, 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 no. Sir, it is perfectly valid. First this method, on the result of this method, on the result of this method, this method. All these method calls will be executed from left to right. That's why method chaining is possible in the case of string, string buffer, string builder. Even you are seeing this type of thing. So don't worry. It is valid. Clear? Sir, the next practice question related to string and string builder, take a bit special care. Here, given the code fragment, public class test sir public static void main string array ox string builder sp is equal to new string builder of 5 what is the meaning of this 5 you know capacity capacity creates an empty string builder object with the 5 capacity empty now string s is equal to sir just empty remember this one empty string one is empty string builder, of course with 5 capacity, you can add up to 5 characters and then here empty string. If sb dot equals of yes, sir match 1. Else if sb dot 2 string dot equals of s dot 2 string, s dot 2 string, sir match 2. Okay. Else no match. Else no match. What is the result? What is the result? Match 1. Match 2, no match, null pointer exception is thrown at a runtime. Okay, just observe carefully. Sir, this is what 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 you should. Can you please guess what the answer? Ayo. Respond. Can you please guess what may be the answer? Match 1 or match 2 or no match or null pointer exception. Yes, I too don't know. Just I will trace. But anyway, to answer this compulsory, you have to aware one thing. Even in the last videos I covered somewhere, equals method is overridden in string class for content comparison. But equals method is not overridden in string buffer for content comparison. Hence, object class equals method will be executed whether it is the string buffer, whether it is the string builder. Because internal implementations of string buffer, string builder always same except a synchronizer. That's why in string builder equals method is not overridden for content comparison. Object class equals method will be executed. First you should evade. Sir, in the object class, how the equals method is implemented? Listen very carefully. Sir, here object obj1 dot equals of obj2. Assume that object class equals method. In the object class equals method, if the arguments are different types. 
if the arguments are different types assume one is string buffer another is string or one is string builder another is the string different types it is always going to return false sir remember this so in object class equals method which is meant for reference comparison if objects are different types obviously obviously false is the answer okay well next if the objects are do you know different types and if the objects are not point to the same different types means not point to the same object then false because object class equals method meant for reference comparison you know that point okay well now string builder sp is equal to new string builder sir so an empty string builder object got created of course with five capacity string s is equal to sir an empty string object an empty string object created okay like sir sb dot equals of s we are calling equals method on sb sb sp means a string builder string builder not having equals capability which is uh, so hence it is coming from object class object class equals method returns uh, sir false returns uh, false because both are different objects different types that's why so it is false if if it returns false if it returns false uh, this if block is not going to execute else if sb dot to string sp dot to string means uh, sir on the string builder object if you call to string method now an empty string will be created an empty string object will be created okay empty string object dot equals of s dot to string s dot to to string means uh, already it is a string empty string same only now sp dot to string method return type is string now equals method on the string object we are calling which is meant for contain comparison sir sp dot to string means empty string that equals of s dot to string means empty string empty string empty string content is always the same if the content is the same because string class equals method meant for contain comparison that's why so content is the same sop of match to is the answer because here this equals method returns a true sir if for this equals method returns a true match 2 is going to be printed to the console so which one is the correct answer match 1 match 2 no match null pointer exception sir match 2 itself is the answer b is the answer right everyone can able to understand sir very simple in this sp dot equals of yes which equals method will be called object class equals method object class equals method meant for reference comparison and objects are different types different objects false is the answer if is not going to execute but uh, sp dot to string 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 class equals method we are calling string class equals method meant for contain comparison here content and content both is the same empty string that's why match 2 is going to be executed it is going to be printed to the console because this condition returns a true observe let me execute this code have a look once have a look once string builder sp is equal to new string builder of 5 with the capacity string s is equal to empty if sp dot equals of yes match 1 match 2 and then no match like this whatever i explain on the board is the same example only now have you look once sir happily the code compiles fine what is the answer we are going to get sir match 2 itself is the answer any doubt very important for the exam sake take special care about this one sir the next possible question for the for the exam sake observe that given the code fragment public class test public static void main string array args string builder sp1 is equal to new string builder of durga durga string str1 is equal to sp1 dot to string method next insert code here at line 1 sop of str1 double equal to str2 oh we have only str1 that's why so str2 maybe maybe here we require to declare some code which code fragment 
when inserted at line 1 enables the code to print to true sir which code fragment enables the code to print to true true is the answer string str2 is equal to str1 string str2 is equal to new string of str1 string str2 is equal to sp1 dot 2 string string str2 is equal to durga like this so our requirement is to print to true true sir sir have you remembered here double equal operator we are using double equal operator always meant for reference comparison if both the references point into the same object then only double equal operator returns a true you know right sir now the point is which 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 one is the correct answer can you please guess first one or second one or third one or fourth one dangerous compulsory you should have clear internal internal knowledge then only you can able to answer such type of questions observe that string builder sp1 is equal to new string builder of durga okay so sb1 sb1 okay pointing to string builder object durga durga like string str1 is equal to sp1 dot to two string okay on this string builder if you are trying to convert into string now sir durga durga str1 got created okay in the heap area heap area yes str1 got created with the content of durga okay well now insert the code here at line 1 sir now string str2 is equal to str1 string str2 is equal to str1 observe the option i want to print to true string str2 is equal to str1 means uh, str2 is also point into the same object if str1 and str2 both are point into the same object then obviously returns a true oh option a itself is the correct answer okay like but why the remaining are invalid we will discuss don't worry sir let me execute up to this sir what i want to take is yet a line one yet a line one i want to take first option yet a line one i want to take first option i'm taking this option sir this option at line one what is the output we are going to get sir happily the code compiles fine yes but the answer true itself is the answer because once if i can take this line both the str1 and the str2 point into the same object that's why what output we are going to get a true is the answer okay well sir why second one third fourth fifth uh, fourth are invalid let me show sir string str2 is equal to new string of str1 whenever we are using new operator compulsory it separate new object will be created sir okay str2 str2 is a separate new object with the content of str1 what is the content of str1 durga durga so if i use a second option a new object will be created one is point into okay this durga but second one is point into another durga both even content is the same but objects are different that's why double equal operator returns false do you know right okay let me check this one instead of this option i want to take second option second option now what will happen is observe carefully observe carefully string str2 new string of str1 okay like what answer we are going to get sir false itself is the answer okay well sir why third option is invalid why the third third option is invalid observe carefully right string str2 is equal to sp1 dot to two string are you getting sp1 dot two string sir on the sp1 if i call two string method if i call two string method again a new string object will be created so str2 is again a new string object will be created in this case also str1 and str2 both are not pointing to the same object that's why what is the output by default we are going to get sir false itself is the answer let me cross check even the third option 
even even the third option if i can take like this again a new object will be created again a new object will be created so the answer we are going to get sir false is the answer okay well sir now let me go for fourth option why the fourth option is invalid because valid cases invalid cases also we have to discuss why the fourth one string str2 is equal to durga i am taking string str2 is equal to durga means uh, where the subject is required to create scp area so str1 is available in the heap area because because of method of call if an object is required to create compulsory that object will be created only in the heap area sir sp1 dot 2 string because of that str1 created now string str2 is equal to durga where this object should be created sir in the scp area okay that's why str2 point into scp area str1 point into heap area both are different objects both are different objects even content is the same so that's why the output we are going to get false is the answer even in this case also observe observe carefully here legend legend a bit carefully sir i'm taking here i'm taking so just just i'm taking string str2 is equal to durga observe observe that what answer we are going to get false is the answer okay like so you should aware where the object will be created inside str1 i mean inside heap area inside scp area when double equal operator returns true if you know all these things you can able to answer this type of questions very easily clear sir the next practice bit related to string builder observe carefully a bit small theoretical api method right sir which statement will empty the contents of string builder variable named sp which statement will empty the contents of a string builder variable named sp sir there is one string builder is there sir variable name is sp so which method which method is going to make that string builder empty means the total content will be removed the length of string builder should become zero zero which method right so first option sb dot delete all second option sb dot delete of zero comma sb dot size sb dot delete of zero comma sb dot length next up fourth option sb dot remove all can you please tell which is the correct answer because already i covered string buffer methods which are same as string builder do you know there are multiple methods i covered 12 methods i discussed right i hope you people may remember sir now can you please observe what is the what is the correct answer in this case very easily you can able to answer sir for the string builder delete all such type of method is not there okay if i'm trying to call sp dot delete all cannot find symbol method delete all like you are going to get error next uh, this one is also wrong because the reason is delete okay delete method is there but internally sp dot size sp dot size size method is not there for the string builder we have only length method capacity method length method is available capacity method is available but not size that's why invalid sir sp dot delete okay we will consider this as c sir sp dot remove all it is also invalid because for the string builder remove all such a type of thing is not there it is related to collections method okay like now sp dot delete zero comma sp dot length length method is available right of course it is the valid because only one option is the remaining then obviously that may be the correct but how sir it is going to be correct very simple just aware sir do you know sb dot delete sb dot delete method delete method if you consider begin comma end assume sir for the string builder begin comma end it removes the content from begin index to end minus 1 index 
from begin index to end minus 1 index index right so now assume assume i am taking string builder string builder yes b is equal to new new string builder of durga like this i am taking sir assume assume durga like i am taking sir how many characters are there five five characters are there now let me apply sb dot delete of 0 to 0 to sb dot length 0 to sb dot length sp dot length means how many characters are there five that's why zero to five zero to five zero to five means uh, from zero to n minus one n minus one means five minus one four zero to four all characters will be removed all characters will be removed from zero to four so d u r g a is there 0 gone, 1 gone, 2 gone, 3 gone, 4 gone. Then what the remaining is? Nothing is there. What is the length of result is nothing but 0 length. Empty. Empty content. Yes, perfectly. This one is the valid answer, right? If you use the remaining 3 cases, immediately we are going to get error. Delete all. Next and after that, size, remove all. Such type of methods are not available. That's why please make sure you should aware. Now we have a look once, sir. Observe very carefully. Here I am taking string buffer. SP is equal to new string builder. String builder SP is equal to new string builder of Durga. Durga I am taking. Now here, here I am taking first option, sir. First option. What is the first option is SP dot delete all. Are you getting? SB dot delete all I am taking. If I can take SB dot delete all, immediately error we are going to get because delete all such a type of thing is not applicable. Okay. Have a look once. Have a look once. Sir, have you observed? Method cannot find symbol. Which is symbol, sir? Method delete all for variable SP of type string builder. For string builder type delete all method is not available. That's why first option is the wrong option, right? Okay. Well. Sir, now second option let me take. Now let me take the second option instead of this one. If I can take second option, yes, second option is also compared to matter because on the string builder, size method is not applicable. Size method is available in the collections concept, not in the string builder. Now have a look once. Have a look once. Yes, cannot find symbol. Which is symbol, sir? Method size. Okay. That's why obviously it is the wrong. Okay. Like let me use fourth one, sir. D option. D option I'm taking. Of course, it is also wrong. I know. It is also wrong. SP dot remove all. SP dot remove all. Immediately error cannot find the symbol. Which is symbol, sir? Method remove all. So fourth option is also wrong. Then only one option I'm taking, sir third option sp dot delete 0 comma sp dot length sp dot delete 0 comma sp dot length now my question is sir after deleting sp dot length means uh, 5 0 to 5 means 0 to 4 all characters will be removed after removing all characters if i can ask sp dot length compulsory 0 is the answer we have to get if really sp is a empty now observe that now have a look once happily the code compiles fine happily the code compiles fine what the answer sir zero is the answer because string builder became empty because of this call okay so among all these things which one is the correct answer sir c itself is the answer any doubt about this one clear right Sir, now the next practice question related to certification, observe carefully, right? Given the following code, class my string, string msg, okay, there is one instance variable is there, msg, my string, string msg, this dot msg is equal to msg, like just one instance variable, it is the constructor, we are performing assignment, right? Sir, public class test, Public static void main string array asks. SOP of hello, hello, new, hello plus new string builder of Java SE8. Hello plus new string builder. I am creating string builder object. 
and I'm trying to print the content. Okay? Hello plus new my string of Java SE 8. Okay, like, sir, my string object, string builder object, two objects we are creating. Sir, concatenation with the hello, it is going to print that. Now, what is the result? What is the result, sir? Sir, hello Java SE 8, hello my string at the rate hash code. Of course, hash code like, hello Java SE 8, hello Java SE 8. Next, hello java.lang.stringbuilder at the rate hash code. Hello, my string at the rate hash code. Next, the compilation fails. Observe carefully, sir, compilation fails. Now, can you please tell among these, which one is the correct? Are you respond? Among these things, which one is the correct answer? First one or second one or third one or fourth one? Compilation fails. Remember that. Take very special care. What you have to do, what you have to, what you should aware is, have you ever heard about two string method? Yes. Whenever we are trying to print any object reference, two string method will be called. Suppose, suppose I have, sir, here, test t1 is equal to new test. Test t1 is equal to new test. Can you please print SOP of t1? SOP of t1? Now internally, which method will be called? Two string method. Whenever we are trying to print any object reference, internally two string method will be called. Sir, this line will become system.out.println t1 dot two string method. Now listen very carefully, sir. This is. So, if the test class contain two string method, it will be executed. If the test class doesn't contain two string method, object class of twisting method will be executed which is always going to print a class name class name at the rate hash code class name at the rate hash code in hexadecimal form class name at the rate hash code in hexadecimal form this is the output we are going to get if you are giving the chance to object class twisting method right sir let me repeat again Whenever we are trying to print any object reference, internally two string method will be called. If our class test class doesn't contain two string method, object class two string method will be called. Okay? Which is always going to print class name at the rate hash code. Remember that. Sir, now up to this let me show. Then you can able to answer very easily, right? Observe that. Observe this one, sir. I don't want to take any, any code. Just uh, let me change, sir. I am trying to take test t1 is equal to new test. Test t1 is equal to new test. New test. Here system.out.println t1 I am taking sir. SOP of t1. What is the answer sir? Internally two string method will be called. And our test class doesn't contain two string method. Object class two string method is going to be executed. What is the output sir? Abjan, happily the code compiles fine. What is the answer, sir? Class name, test, at the rate, sir, 7852 922 Hash code in hexadecimal form, we are going to get. So, in this case, which two string method will be called? Can you please tell? In this case, which two string method got called? Object class two string method got called. Sir, I want. No, no, no. I don't want this Greek and Latin. If you don't want this Greek and Latin, for meaningful string representation, we can override two string method in our class. Okay? Have a look once, sir. In the test class, I'm trying to override. I'm trying to override. Okay? Public string two string method. Public string two string method. Okay? What you want to take? Return. Return. Sir, test object. Return. Test object. I have to return. Are you return? Test object. Sir, whenever we are overriding two string method, then which two string method will be called? Which two string method will be called? Our own class two string method will be called. Now, that Greek and Latin you are not going to get happily test object like that we are going to get. Have a look once. Observe very carefully, right? Observe. Hear it very carefully. 
Yes, see this one. The answer is surtest object instead of instead of this Greek and Latin. Now we are getting test object right. Sir, now the important conclusion what you people should aware, sir. Okay, for meaningful string representation, highly recommended to override to string method in our class, sir. Do you know in string class, string buffer class, string builder class, all wrapper classes, all collection classes, to string method is already overridden for meaningful string representation. Remember that, sir. In our classes also highly recommended to override what to string method. Up to this is the clear, right? Next. Uh, I want to take a small continuation of this one. Sir, instead of SOP of T1, instead of SOP of T1, I am taking system.out.println, hello, 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 plus, plus T1 I am taking. Hello, plus T1 I am taking. Do you know, hello, string plus object. Whenever we are performing concatenation, between string and object for this object again two string method will be called again two string method will be called this two string method returns a string string plus a string concatenation is going to be happen sir now have a look once sir here i am taking i am taking hello hello plus hello hello sir here plus a t1 hello plus a t1 t1 like this right now can you please observe what the answer hello t1 test object hello t1 means a test object test object t1 dot two string method got called test object suppose if we are not overriding two string method if we are not overriding two string method what the answer we are going to get observe that hello test at the rate like this we are going to get hello followed by two string method result will be will be concatenated Everyone can able to understand, right? So, what is the behavior of twisting method? How to override twisting method in our class? If we are not overriding twisting method, object class twisting method will be executed. How it is going to provide the result? Clear, right? If you have this knowledge very easily, you can able to answer this question, sir. Observe carefully. Here, yeah, this is my string. This is the class my string. Yeah, my override twisting method. Can you please confirm? No, we didn't override twisting method. If we are not overriding twisting method, if you are trying to print my string object, object class twisting method will be executed. Remember. So now public class test may. Here SOP of hello, hello, new string builder, new string builder of Java SE 8. Sir, do you know, I told already. In string class, string buffer class, string builder class, in all wrapper classes, in all wrapper classes, in all collection classes, okay, collection classes, two string method is already overridden for meaningful string representation. That's why overriding version of two string method will, will be called, uh, which is going to return simply Java 8, Java S8 content. That's why first case what is the answer we are going to get hello java se8 okay well now hello hello new my string of java se8 new my string of java se8 can you please tell in my string class have you override two string method no i didn't override two string method if you are not going to override two string method class name hello hello followed by class name my string at the rate at the rate okay hash code whatever hash code in hexadecimal form we are going to get for the second one okay then obviously which one is the correct answer first case hello java se8 second one hello my string at the rate hash code then obviously it is the correct answer remember this one sir sir let me execute this code so that you may get much clarity have a look once have a look once here yeah. just uh, i have i have the code like this observe carefully sir same example same example like this sir class my string string message okay my string this dot message is equal to message like this we are going to take sir what is the output what is the output sir 
here meaningful string representation we will get because in the string builder two string method is overridden but in here just a class name at the rate hash code we are going to get because in my string class okay two string method is not overridden now observe carefully observe carefully what is the answer we are going to get sir first time meaningful hello java s8 but second time hello my string at the rate 78 this is the hash code in hexadecimal string form we are going to get can you please confirm all the people are in a position to understand right okay well then immediately some people may ask sir can you please show how to override to string method in my string class yes why not i will override have a look once have a look in my in my string class i'm trying to override public string to string public string to string what i have to return return some string return msg are you getting because msg is the instance variable whatever you are passing okay this this one here just simply return that message whatever you are going to pass simply return the message whatever you are going to pass so in this case which two string method will be called sir you are not going to call object class two string method my string class two string method will be called in this case what is the output we are going to get sir here have a look once have a look once sir hello java se8 hello java se8 like this perfectly the output, output we are going to get so any doubt about this one so it's a highly recommended to override two string method in our classes for meaningful string representation clear or sir the next practice question related to string string builder observe carefully right sir you are developing a banking module sir it is a beautiful use case so where exactly our string and string builder helpful this use case is going to help like anything that's why please take a bit special care you are developing a banking module you have developed a class name mask test what is our class name mask test and has a mask method so mask test is a class name and the mask is a method that class contains sir given the code fragment sir class mask test public static string mask string credit card regarding string credit card oh sir have you observed right if you if you observed if you, if you can take a mask sir mask is going to take a string credit card like this right sir in the string x is equal to x x x x iphone x x x x iphone x x x x iphone like this and uh, some code we have to place here line one maybe boss i will give my original credit card number can you please mask this credit card credit card number so that it is not visible to outside person that may be maybe the requirement let me consider public static void main okay system dot out dot print we are calling mask method with this credit card number one two three four iphone my five six seven eight iphone nine one zero one iphone five nine seven nine like this right sir you must ensure the mask method returns a string mask method should returns a string that hides all digits of the credit card number except the last four digits have you observed right that hides all digits of credit card number except the last four except the last four means 5979 except that all these things and iphones that separate each group of four digits so except the last four digits and the iphones remaining digits should, should be masked should hide maybe this one two three four should be hide five six seven eight should be hide and then 9101 should be hide but this 5979 happily you can display no problem at all now except the last four and the iphones now which two code fragments should you use at line one independently to achieve the requirement at line one which 
code fragments if we can use at line one to achieve the requirement like this right this is sir now first option second option third option fourth option there are four options they are providing sir which thing is going to return is going to hide all digits except the last four digits this is about our requirement right now please consider first option second option third option fourth option you should be in a position to answer clearly right sir now first option if i can take here just observe observe the code parallel sir observe the code parallel okay like what i will take is let me let me take this one on the screen so that you may get much clarity because all the things should be together simultaneously right observe that i'm taking mask test let me code this let me let me take a small java class i'm taking guess what is the name of this java class i'm trying to take here is just a one minute sir mask test what is the name i'm taking sir mask test dot java okay well sir at line one what is the first option they provided okay this is the first option they provided sir this is the this is the first option they provided okay if i can write this code at a line one if i can write this code at a line one is it going to hide all these digits all these digits except the last four is it going to hide all these digits this is about my requirement right okay well sir what this code is going to take sir string buffer sp is equal to sorry string builder sp is equal to new string builder of credit card it is going to create it's going to create string builder object with credit card information sp dot substring of 15 comma 19 sir first question i have a small doubt is there java c mask test java c mask test dot java okay like sir if you if you observe that if you if you observe take very very special care sir sp dot substring of okay return x plus sb now java mask test like this i'm taking sir sir do you know what what will happen what will happen here is observe very very carefully sir what will happen in this case here see sir in the first case listen carefully sir in the first case what what thing happening observe that so i provided my credit card information 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 next the 9101 this is the information i provided okay with this information can you please create can you please can you please create string builder object okay when sb dot substring from 15 to 19 from 15 to 19 means uh, yes here from 15th to 18th index begin to n minus 1 it is taking 5979 okay well but this result we are not assigning to any variable this result we are not assigning to any variable that's why this part whatever we got 5979 eligible for garbage collection still my sb is pointing to this one only so return x plus sp sir what is x what is x x already you people aware x already you people aware x means uh, sir this is so x means uh, x x x x x iphone x x x x iphone x x x x iphone sir this part is called x this part is called x x x plus sp sp means uh, already pointed to the original credit card number instead of sir it is hiding it is going to display all 16 digits uh, after this xx and so on that's why it is not going to work remember this one have a look once observe a bit very very carefully about this one sir here what what it will do is sir it is going to create string builder object with the provided credit card 
with a provided credit card it is going to create a string builder object but uh, you are selecting 15 to 15 to 19 excellent you are selecting only this part but the problem here is sir this object you are not assigning to any reference variable that's why eligible for garbage collection still sp is pointing to this uh, original credit card number only return x plus sp means uh, sir this x uh, plus uh, this credit card complete data by default will be displayed to the end user have you observed right this is x plus this is the sp credit card number so total thing is going to come so which is not going to fulfill our requirement any doubt any doubt related to the first option is it going to fulfill our requirement no no chance at all so first option is the wrong okay well second option x plus credit card credit card is already string object dot the substring of 15 comma 19 so credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 means uh, 5979 we are getting can you please add 5979 to x x means already this only x x iphone 5979 definitely b option is going to fulfill our requirement if you want observe that carefully sir instead of taking this option a let me remove option a now i'm taking option b option b very important sir return return x plus credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 so credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 means uh, 5979 x means uh, this part so this total part plus 5979 means uh, yes sir except the last four digit all the remaining digits will be masked with uh, only x symbol now can you please observe can you please observe that happily the code compiles fine but the answer we are going to get yes sir only last four digits are going to be visible and except that all the remaining are hide hide with the x symbol okay this is clear it's going to fulfill our requirement right sir observe that very carefully x means a string next a credit card dot substring of 15 comma 19 means uh, sir this position is called 15 to 19 now we are trying to add uh, this 50, 5979 to this x then automatically all the remaining things by default will be gone so perfectly sir second option is going to fulfill our requirement okay well sir what about third option what about third third option observe carefully sir string builder sb is equal to new string builder of x x means uh, sir this original x x x x and so on right sp dot append of credit card comma 15 comma 19 in string builder append method is there from this string can you please take from begin to n minus 1 characters and append that append that to the string buffer append that to this x are getting of course string builder or string buffer same so append that to this string builder then automatically last four digits will be appended to x return sb dot to string method can you please convert into string and return that string yes definitely it is also going to fulfill our requirement okay if you want to observe that so from 15 to 19 take a credit card substring from this and append that to the string builder okay here begin index end index from begin to end minus one in this credit card it is going to take and append that to the string builder so x followed by last four digit can you please return perfectly this is c option also going to fulfill our requirement have a look once have a look once here just uh, let me copy paste here just uh, instead of this line instead of this line like this i'm taking sir so here just uh, have a look observe that so first one with this x with this x i'm creating string builder 
and then for the string builder i am appending from the credit card from 15th to n minus 1 19 minus 1 index characters now can you please return that uh, in the in the string form because the return type of mask method is string that's why right okay now what is the output by default you are going to get observe that perfectly it is valid now except the last four digits all the remaining digits are masked no problem at all okay well sir what you want fourth option third option is also going to work third option is also working sir what about fourth option where is the problem string builder sp is equal to new string builder of credit card oh with the original credit card i created string builder string builder s is equal to sp dot insert of zero comma x in the zero at the place can you please insert x can you please insert x now now do you know zero at the place all all the things by default will be inserted and then remaining credit card will be there as it is so complete information will be visible to the end user first x followed by credit card same as first option right so return s dot to string okay like uh, which is not going to hide uh, all the digits uh, observe carefully sir if i can take if i can take like okay fourth option i'm taking sir of course answers are visible <laughs> just uh, don't worry observe my explanation okay here just uh, i'm taking have a look once i'm sure it is not going to fulfill our requirement okay what answer sir this is the x value followed by remaining credit card so it is not going to fulfill our requirement right are you in the position to understand right i want to mask i want to hide all digits of credit card except the last four digits which approach we have to follow this is the approach right okay like which two options are correct either you can go for b option or we can go for c option like compulsory these type of use cases are going to help you to improve your programming clear right Hi friends, myself Durga. I'm working as a Java trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Soft. So I worked more than five years as a software engineer in IBM, sir. Now I want to introduce my new course, sir. String, string buffer, string builder for Java certification. String, string buffer and string builder for Java certification. The more Hi friends, myself Durga. I'm working as a Java trainer for the last 16 years in Durga Soft. So I worked more than five years as a software engineer in IBM, sir. Now I want to introduce my new course, sir. string string buffer string builder for java certification string string buffer and string builder for java certification the most valuable concept the most important concept for interviews for java certification for day to day programming 
so this string string buffer string builder especially this string concept is the most most helpful that's why i want to perform post mortem related to this string what i did at the part of this course okay so in this course what syllabus sir what i covered here observe that difference between string and string buffer if you go to any java interview the first question the people are going to ask uh, what is the difference between string and string buffer most commonly asked question crores of times asked question in the interview room sir string and string buffer okay then immediately you are going to tell mutability immutability sir why what is the meaning of mutability immutability can you explain with an example next of why string objects are immutable various string buffer objects are mutable like you should be in a position to answer all those things i covered at a part of this course remember next uh, equals method yes there is one more difference other than mutability and immutability difference between string and string buffer equals method right in string class equals method meant for content comparison but in string buffer class equals method meant for reference comparison remember this one because in string buffer equals method is not overridden so all those things i clearly explained right next um, sir string object creation heap and scp regarding string objects creation heap and scp sometimes object will be created in the heap area sometimes object will be created in the string constant pool when the object will be created in the heap when the object will be created in the scp i explained almost around four to five examples so that you will get much perfection right sir so after the importance of string constant pool sir so what is the need why scp like concept is applicable only for string what advantage you are going to get what problems are there with the scp this concept i explained very clearly right sir so next uh, important faqs on string on string buffer there are three faqs i discuss here especially based on this string constant pool so very very clearly that the something like scp concept is available only for string 
but not for single bob for next of why string objects are immutable whereas string buffer objects are mutable why why immutability is required for the string sir similar to string objects any other objects are immutable in java that part also i explained right okay well sir next uh, important constructor of string class regarding what are various constructors are available in the string class with examples i explained next uh, important methods of string class almost around the 13 methods i explained sir most commonly used methods do you know char get concat equals method equals ignore case method next is empty length replace substring next index of last index of two lower case two upper case trim are you getting so almost around the 13 methods most commonly used methods i explained sir trim especially trim almost 25 minutes i explained with a beautiful case study about this trim method compulsory you should aware clearly right next uh, important conclusions about the string immutability sir strictly speaking what is the meaning of immutability okay internally what things are happening i explain very clear conclusions right next after this the most beautiful question for the entire room is it possible to create our own immutable class or not yes we can create our own immutable class also sir explain the way how to create our own immutable class sir creation of our own immutable class i covered right okay this next uh, final versus immutability final versus immutability what is the difference between final and immutability by declaring a reference variable as the final can i get immutability nature or not okay you should aware that thing i explain very clearly right sir so up to this so almost a uh, uh, minimum around uh, 18 videos i did only for string and string, string concept right next uh, after that sir already string is there what is the need of going for string buffer why why we should go for string buffer concept sir like i explain next what constructors are there in the string buffer next uh, important methods of string buffer 
okay length of method is there capacity method is there carrier method set carrier method append method insert method delete delete carrier next uh, reverse set length ensure capacity trim to size are you getting all these methods uh, almost around uh, do you know 12 methods i explained very clearly sir very important method especially last three set length ensure capacity trim to size like uh, these methods are explained very clearly right next uh, need a string builder why we should go for string builder concept next uh, differences between string buffer and string builder sir why what the what the difference one is synchronized version the second one is non synchronized version all differences in the table form i explained very clearly sir next uh, string versus string buffer versus string builder when we should go for string when we should go for string buffer when we should go for string builder we covered very clearly next uh, method chaining concept okay so is it possible on applying a method sir on the result another method another method another method chaining of method is it possible or not how to use i explain very clearly with the example right i hope all the people are in a position to understand almost these are 16 topics i explain you people can expect uh, around uh, 30 plus videos only on this concept are you getting 10 practice questions i explain line to line 10 practice questions i explain line to line code wise very important for java certification also okay be ready sir take care sir very understand very clearly these things 